Hello Fated Master. Hello Lord Lesser. Hello Crifty. Thank you very much for the 10 months. Hello Mob the Snack. Uh, I thought it would be 100 at least. Probably probably only 100 because after that I want to uh, come back to silent. But I do... Um, after the city I do I try and defect like side by side. So uh, 53 more iron clad runs. No, not only 3. Okay, probably common relic. Uh, Hexagosin, there's no shock at the end, yeah. So uh, definitely need to be a little bit cautious. The three lead path has to go through here or here, but uh, there's a shop right before. And this shop is definitely stronger than this shop. It is later, so you know about a potion situation, you have more gold. Of course, you don't get to uh, have the strength boost the shop through the hallway fights, but we can probably already have common relic for that. If the common relic is terrible, uh, and we uh, scale this advanced hallway into shop into 47 elite. Uh, maybe we can start here. Start here, take 3 fights, avoid the shop completely. Get fire here or here into 1 elite, 2 elite. Which is not terrible. We still do get 2 fires, 2 elite, and a decent year bonus. If we take no bad time question, evaluate Neo Bonus on Silent Floor 6 or 7 Elite when you take something bad to uh, ensure I don't die. Yeah, if it's the, the Force Elite, if I am forced into a Floor 6 or Floor 7 Elite, I definitely want something that um, has a higher chance of improving my extreme early game, like, like the only the first few floors. And usually the situations when I pick three three potions are just like that, you know. Like you get one extra elite. Uh, potentially you get one extra elite out of the act. Or uh, straight up you just like, instead of dying to the floor 7 Lagavulin or something, you don't die. Then then of course that's good. Also dying take a strong bonus and up not immediate pull pull. The problem is the... Those actually are not strong bonus, like... Uh, Maybe maybe you're talking about something like Rare Relic. It depends on... I guess it also depends on whether there's like a shop or not. Usually if there's a shop... If the first Elite is forced on like floor 7, yeah? But if there's a shop on like floor 3 or floor 5 or like whatever, if they can go to a shop before that, I feel a little bit safer. Because at the very least, they can go there and buy some potions. So I uh, eliminate the low road chance of like not getting any potion in the first few fights. Also, of course, it depends on the path after the force elite. Like afterwards, are you immediately getting to safety, and then is the the act layout like really bad if you get like completely crippled by the first elite, or is it not? Everything is like weighted, really. But um, yeah, a pretty like me being forced into an early elite is a pretty significant factor in me deciding to take a bad new bonus just to survive. You, you can also see it, like in the last 100 with Silent, I think have picked um, honestly even something like choose a card or, or three random potions over a free rare catalyst or maybe a um, or, or maybe a uh, rare relic. Just because it gives me a higher chance of like not immediately dying. Even even if I generally read the, the rare relic or rare catalyst like way higher, I would actually still take that. Sometimes. But yeah, like the, the condition you list are um, pretty accurate. But yeah, here we just take the common relic, yeah? Right, Carlos, why entire is not even that strong. And uh, lose overall immediately makes this shop like completely bad. And then we cannot even go to, to the left even if we high roll. Oh, really? <laughs> well, I guess we can kill the, the more bang, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 floors. So we can kill this for 60 gold, but it's worse than a 100 gold start. Or we can completely ignore this and uh, go this side. Now, if we start right side, yeah, it's minus 1 elite. And we never go to the shop in the entire act. But uh, in exchange, we gain... If we go here, it's like 60. 
if uh, we completely ignore the shop in Act 1 and let the mobile build up to full, it's uh, the earliest shop we are going into is going to be what? For 17 is the boss? For 18, for 19, right? So, at the very least, it's like uh, 150 gold plus. <laughs> as I thought, better, no, 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 kappa. Like, it's actually true. The shop is better if uh, you want to go into the shop. I don't see, see. But the, the difference in here is like 150 gold, yeah? So do we want to play with an, uh, a completely empty Neo Bonus? But gain 105 and one less elite, but gain 150 gold. That's the, that's the question here. What's the... Uh, is there any, any other difference? Now, of course, the first elite in here is way later. So you have more time to prepare. You get time to stock up potions. And you also get maybe the upgrade before the, the advanced always. And you can still pass into the burning elite here. So let's start this side. Three fights. Fire upgrade, advance the hallway number one, advance hallway number two, chest, and then we get our first elite. So the, our first elite is we have two potions fully prepared. Uh we have one relic and we have one upgrade. Should be relatively easy. And then second upgrade into burning elite. So it's just the, the, the difference is just like this. Like uh the upgrade is still the same. Number upgrade is still the same difference exactly one one elite versus 150 gold. May not get a shop that early next to make it more go head more bang. Yeah, don't worry, me too. I mean I mean I don't hate it that much uh, as much as like some of the the the, the uh, Omega cringe like uh, common relic, maybe the tiny chest. I mean catch any stream congratulations and cloud, yeah thank you. Mm, this is also a fast advanced hallway with an empty Neo Bonus, which is not uh, ideal. Yeah, one elite is worth more than 150 gold, is, is the thing. <laughs> Honestly, one elite is worth more than 150 gold. And uh, this is a real shop. If we if we go in here, it's already a real shop. 60 gold plus uh, 4 5 is another 60, so it's actually 120. 120, 219, so we cannot do a relic plus a remove, yeah? But we can uh, buy any short relic, any common relic. So left, yeah, if, 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 if only uh, the game is that, that simple. <laughs> I know, I, I know left has the highest value. Like, uh, honestly, yeah, 180 is just stronger than 150. Particularly because the, even, even if we spend all our gold here, the early shop next to is still alive. It's not like the shop we are going to uh, somewhere here anyway, uh, or something. And then we spend all go and then early actual shop is dead. That is not true. We go here, we kill the mob bank, but then our early actual shop is still what? 1, 2, 3 elites plus uh, 3 hallway fights is 135 plus the boss is 75. So 210. 210 plus 1 more hallway fight, 225. Absolutely fine for early actual shop. So of course you cannot buy the, the mega busted broken stuff like no rare relic uh, or like uh, meat on the bone toxic egg or anything but we can buy all the small stuff and then farm the elites. Uh, what is the... okay if if things go really wrong for example first of all yeah, we are playing with an, an empty neo bonus so we lose more life in on, on average like in this force and then of course we lose more life than usual here. So if things go very wrong and by the time we beat this elite, we are crippled. I guess there is a safety option, like triple question mark. Oh, that is so bad. <laughs> but there is a safety option. Or maybe we can do double question mark to fire here to this elite. So we take one more fight. But uh, yeah, if we are like literally dying, we can also take the safety option. Yes. So it's not um, that we run into a like, certain death. Uh, if we low roll the, the first portion of this map. I can see it. I can see committing to four semi elite here. Because the, the shot is alive. Let's do that. Like, uh, it's just higher value. As long as we don't die in Act 1, like, this is worth it. The committing to the left part. And uh, how often do we die in Act 1? Yeah, impossible to say. <laughs> Yeah, how, how often do we die if we start here? Like, it's impossible to say. If I know that, I would uh, probably win a little bit more 9 class. 
Oh, we rolled the boost line combination, but we get all next turn. Yeah, thank you. Oh, minus 10 force, guys. Insane. And there's nothing I can do about it with this draw. <laughs> My god, man. Like, what, what are these 4 ones? Like, it's like classic uh, main character, but like, why, why does this always happen on 4 one? <laughs> no, really. Why does it always happen on 4 one? Like, what, what is going on? I get. I, I thought this was a defect thing, you know, but uh, apparently it's not. It's, it's an, also an ironclad thing. But I mean, it's true, right? Ironclad start on deck is like five strikes or six offensive with uh, one defensive, and then your 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 mass is also two cost and it's not effective immediately. Like, yeah, I guess you do take more damage in whole phase, and that's why you don't heal by six, of course. But uh, this is pretty annoying that you draw a head like this, you know, next time you take ten, there's nothing you can do. That is, uh, that, that is, like, really annoying. But what can you do, guys? We take 10. <laughs> like, there, there's no line here. I mean, okay, there is a line. You can take 14 next turn. I don't know why you would do that, but, uh... Sure. <laughs> but for the shop, I, I sure hope not. I, I sure hope the, the, the shop relic in here is not waffle. It's like, something you, more useful, please. The, uh, yeah, the, the, that's not a shop relic, but maybe a rest call. But a shop relic can be like Orary, that would be insane. No, I would like that. I think that's not the, that's not a strike yet, I don't even know. Is it much better? Probably is, right? We play one strike, next turn is already one more damage. Ow. Yeah, but yeah, force, 10, force minus 10. Uh, potion. This potion is not amazing early game. I guess it's okay against the knock, but uh, yeah, not the best. It doesn't actually give us output. Oh, Carnage though. Carnage is very good. Of course, we take Carnage over all the other crap. Carnage is not literally the best card we can see here, but it's uh, one of the better ones, of course. One shot? Yeah, one shot. Well, it would have been better if we don't have the carnage. Like, that's uh, also another minus... Uh, force minus nine. But we do, guys. So it's only minus one. I no potion. Pomo try, yeah? Pomo try definitely better than skip. Even if our upgrade is already eaten with the carnage. And before the hexagon, we probably also upgrade bash. So this Pomo Strike will not be upgraded for a while, but uh, sure. <laughs> Hello, the Jolly Jagamo. Thank you for the good luck. Ow. Okay, minus 7. Uh, I mean, Carnage is definitely better than Bash. This is uh, plus 12. So even if we play 3 Strike next turn, it's only plus 9. What did I say? The best card you see from first reward will win probably Anger. Uh, mainly because Anger performs even without the upgrade. Like, the, the Carnage, if you actually want this card to perform the ADs, you, you kind of want to upgrade. You kind of need to upgrade it. Performance between Carnage plus and Anger minus is, of course, uh, day and night. But, uh, it's, I mean, I guess it's true. It's plus one upgrade. So, so, I guess to be fair, you can say, like, Carnage plus is definitely way, way better than Anger plus. But uh, with Anger, you have something else upgraded. If they are both unupgraded, I would say honestly Anger can't even outperform. So yeah, I uh, probably prefer to see Anger over Carnage on floor 1. But uh, not complaining too much about this. Like here already you see like with the, the, the Anger, I can even do like Anger, Pomo, Strike and be drawn to a defense and save 5. But here I need to actually play the Carnage, otherwise they get all in, in, in here. We draw Carnage every time. Okay, not five, but minus two only. It could be worse. Uh, no potion, so 50%. Uh, we, we never get to upgrade this, like, holy. Actually, never get to upgrade this. Like, uh, first of all, you probably has to go on Carnage. And then the will win up with, like, here. And then Master Upgrade is here, so we never get Pomo Strike upgraded. Not like Pomo Strike upgrade is super urgent with Carnage and Whirlwind in the deck, yeah, because they both eat energy like no tomorrow. 
Uh, I mean, it easily opens up at like KMX in the shop, right? If we see KMX in the shop, one of 17, and then... Yeah. Not too bad. To, honestly, to have a win in, uh, in our deck, like, right before the advanced hallway is no, no less. The like, advanced hallway is here. Uh, after I pick up a whirlwind, I guess I can even pick up something like a bloodletting. Having an excuse to sneak bloodletting in the deck in Act 1 is also good. In reverse, what do you think? What's card reverse would be? It's just, really, it's just like 3 uncommons and then you skip, right? Like something like a uh, dual wheel, fire breathing, maybe uh, sentinel, yeah. Yeah, dual wheel, fire breathing, sentinel. You see 3 uncommons, you skip. So your right chain stays exactly the same, and uh, you don't get any card. Now that would suck. We we had the we had been in that situation before, but uh, it, it doesn't it doesn't last for that long. If you are asking like what's the worst card that I might take would be that is probably that would probably be uh, Wild Strike. But that's probably the, the the worst card that I might be forced to take. Hello, Pharaoh. But oh, yeah, so you can still pick the whirlwind, right? I mean, Strap is not too bad either. Um, Fiber thing be uh, okay because of sentries and if slime boss, no. If I pick the uh, Fiber thing because of the slime boss, it's on like floor 15 or something. Because otherwise, I'm dying there. Like, uh, I do not want that kind of my deck. Ever. If I can help it. Any card that doesn't actually play at all in, in early Act 2 is, uh, is a curse in my opinion. That's basically it. And later on, they unlike the other powers, like for example, Rupture, maybe the Demon Form or, or whatnot, it doesn't even solve bosses. So you need, you pick some crap, you pick some crap to like solve exactly one, maybe two fights, and then it's a burden for the entire Act 2. And then in the Act 2 bosses, again, it's a burden. And then yeah, in the Act 3, it's still a burden. Like how much damage does that thing actually deal? Right, yeah, not enough. If I try ChatGPT, is that the, the open AI chat or something that I have seen like several screenshots of? But um, I haven't tried it myself. But but if that is the thing, then I have seen a lot of it. Uh, Struck, mm, yeah, Struck is also decent. Now, Struck also means that we, we have freedom to upgrade these and we uh, zero cost cards so get stronger. We, we pick up any zero cost. Uh, but Strong is a common. Now, if we pick up the Whirlwind here, yeah, we are probably fine against North. We are probably also fine against Sentries. By fine, I mean maximum maybe uh, 30 damage taken. Uh, Lagavulin, we are completely own Because we cannot block. Advanced always, if we don't... Uh, I guess if we top deck Whirlwind, we also kill them. So, whenever we would draw Strong, we draw Whirlwind and then they die. Right. Cool. So if you say it like that, then Whirlwind is still better than Strong in advance always. <laughs> yeah, only three upgrades. I mean, we can see Living War in like some of the question marks, but uh, pretty low chance. I wouldn't count on that. Hmm, we are only taking a lead though. Like we are taking one advance away here, two advance away, and maybe three. We in the entire act. But yeah, Wolverine opens up more stuff in the shop. Yeah, Wolverine just opens up more stuff in the shop. And it's not even set in stone that we would upgrade Tarnish here yet. Yeah, take the Wolverine. Ow. Uh, if we don't can't actually this thing runs away without go, and that is the, the worst possible thing that can happen before the shot, yeah? That we lose 40 gold here, I would not like to uh, do that. And I mean, if I play the Carnage, next turn we still cannot kill, unfortunately. But we can double block and then we can kill turn 3. So, the 50% chance that this thing, uh, right us on turn 3 never even happens. Uh, that it hits us for 14 and we cannot block. But if I block here, deal 6 is 34, 34 next turn double defend, maybe one strike is 28, 28, the turn afterwards if I attack, we cannot do anything. 
Um, expected uh, damage taken would be 7 because 50% is 14. So it's worth more than the defense. If we draw a single defense, it's uh, less because then again it's like 50% to deal 9. So it's better to defend here. Only if we can kill in time. So can we kill in time or not? Uh, 34, yeah? Next turn, we maximum block goes to 28, 28, and then it blocks, so we need to deal 34 over 2 turns. But that has no carnage. Uh, if we draw bash on turn 2, then we cannot even redraw the bash. So at turn 3, maybe we'll win 34 over 2 turns, so then we'll win plus a strike, maybe 16. If we draw double defense, then it goes to 18, 18 turn after. If we draw all defense, then we have combo strike, maybe bash, and then it still kills. I probably defend here for five. Yes, because uh, Carnage doesn't even have lethal next turn. If Carnage actually leads to to potential lethal next turn, then that we play Carnage. But here we just defend. Yeah, we might not even draw a second defense in the first place. Uh, exactly. Yeah, strong will be good here. Minus six. Okay, now we redraw back, so it should be uh, easy. Right, next turn, guarantee lethal. No potion, so potion change right now is 60. Uh, which means you can buy one potion here pretty comfortably. Second tannin, yeah, no thanks. Uh, flex, like this is a zero cost, but again, it kind of requires an upgrade. <laughs> we we are we are extremely upgrade staff at the moment, like one, two, three, four. All four of these cards need to be up uh, want to be upgraded at some point, like in 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 the run. Like uh, I mean, bash is only required before hexagos. Flex, flex will perform in the short term. If, if we upgrade that over Kindness, it will actually it will actually kind of play. Uh, it doesn't play enough though for, for me to pick it up and upgrade it at this point. I mean, chair is actually good over price office chairs. Uh, if somebody actually has a gaming chair in the chat, maybe they, they can tell you. I have no idea. I have never bought a gaming chair in my life. So, uh, I, I wouldn't know. But yeah, we skip, yeah? Okay, two box. Oh, Finfire. But uh, two box has to be stronger, right? Yeah, Finfire is another card that works. That was an upgrade. Are you kidding me? So I guess we, yeah, we take the two box. Man, I really want this Flash of Steel. But uh, Flash of Steel remove uh, probably just weaker than, than the two box. So we take the two box. After the two box, I can still afford on potion. We spend our go to like zero here. This potion is actually very good for one fight. Uh, like a Wolin, maybe we can upgrade our defensive card against the sentries. We can upgrade our whirlwind, and against the knob, yeah, it's just some damage. But maybe against the knob, we use gambler's brew. Don't have to upgrade if we don't do it. Yeah, okay, that's a that's a good way to look at it actually. <laughs> if we pick the feed fire and we exhaust everything else, then yeah, who cares what the other upgrades? Inflame isn't interesting. No, not over two box. Like maybe you can say inflame because of the hexa ghost, but uh, inflame doesn't work as well for like punish plus. If we can maybe rely on this. And yeah, we would not pick two inflames. Is the thing. So if we see a free inflame after we buy this, we are extremely sad because now it's just minus one two box. I take a toolbox, and then I also can see one of the potions. Probably upgrade. Uh, something like next spot or speed pot is better for like a woolly. Not necessarily better for sentries. Is it strong over pot? No. Like, I mean, maybe. Probably not. Because I, I don't think I don't think I would even like to pick two strucks, right? Maybe I do. The potion definitely saves more life in the elite fight compared to the struck. Okay, not definitely. Sometimes, of course, if the if it's Lagavulin and you never get a chance to upgrade your defense, then sure, struck can save more. But uh, for the very short term, the potion is a lot higher value, and we are entering like, elite number one into elite number two immediately. Yeah, I take the potion, and uh, it is upgrade over defensive potion, right? This is honestly just better than deck spot. Like we upgrade our defense and it's more than two decks. But uh, this potion can be worth 10 HP in Lagavulin. So does this be, is this worth more than 10? Honestly, it's not even it's not even that. Um, it's like we play three upgraded defense. That's already nine. 
and then in the other two fights, just straight up just battle. It's also cheaper, one gold. Okay, so no no capex but one uh, upgrade pop, which uh, probably tells me I do upgrade the. Actually, I don't know. Like, what do I upgrade? Uh, two box against Lagavulin is also sometimes solving the fight for us with the uh, apotheosis, maybe the the bomb. Even chair from a wound, mm, when I cheap of his chair, get what you pay for. Yeah, it sounds about right. You get what you pay for. Like, honestly, that, that... Definitely, I can believe that. If you, if you buy, probably the same as, like, uh, headphones, right? You buy uh, a gaming headphone, but... Uh, it's like maybe, maybe a cheap one for only, like, 50 bucks. So, you don't really get anything different from, like, a 10 buck... Uh, Ear for ear port or something, but then you pay like three hundred, and then it uh, becomes a noticeable difference. That definitely can believe that. Yeah, with upgrade port, like what is the best upgrade here? Probably still Carnage, right? Gaming keyboard, yeah. I actually have, I, I would have no idea. I mean, I have played in some land cafes before, so maybe they have those, but. Uh... Over all my life, like the equipment I have used, uh, it's all really, it's all really cheap. Like I use a uh, ten dollars Logitech mouse for I don't know how many years now. Maybe, maybe different, like uh, different models, but uh, they all cost roughly around ten dollars. And the keyboard also like the same. Like uh, my most expensive keyboard I have ever used is probably like twenty. There's no problem, guys. Like, uh... It's just because you are playing with, like, a $300 mouse doesn't actually make you better at everything in games or anything. <laughs> yeah, we, uh... It's probably Carnage Upgrade with the Black Sing Wizard Forge. And before the Hexa goes, uh... This upgrade is not that important anyway. If we can skip this upgrade completely, yeah? In, in Act 1 at least, and just use the Blessing of the Force to get through the Sentry's fight. Um, then these are more important upgrades before the Hexa goes, definitely. Sentries. Oh, Apotheosis. Man, man, man. Like, uh, yeah, well, Frozen Eye would be good here. Uh, the other thing I can do is just secret weapon. Like honestly, secret weapon is not bad. Apotheosis, we probably take uh, 10 this turn. The uh, upgrade potion becomes useless. So if we use a potion, here's the gambler's brew. And potion chain 60%, so we should use one. So gambler's brew is used second deck cycle to maybe save a little bit of HP, but then... Yeah, whatever. Or we take secret weapon, get the whirlwind right now upgraded, uh, and then uh, just go in for three, and then Kanes kills one of them, and then we redraw to go win, and it's over. So we lose probably like maybe fifteen to twenty HP in this fight. So with anything better, I would probably agree because our deck actually cannot block. If we actually have a struck in our deck, yeah, like honestly, like if this is a struck, I definitely take the apotheosis. We because we can block twenty. But uh, as of this moment, like, either we take 10 this turn or we take the full full 20 next turn. Like we, the chance that we draw all 4 defense is uh, already pretty low. And then afterwards the fight is low and then second deck cycle we have no block so we just like get taxed like 10 here, 10 there, we are another 10 and then everything is bad. If Whirlwind is already in my hand and that's even, then it's even better because I can upgrade the secret weapon, maybe secret weapon away a strike to have a better draw next turn and then in the redraw, I have like two draws for the whirlwind. Uh, unless you tell me there's a threshold with the flash of steel somehow, but I don't believe it. Yeah, like this. We just upgrade on the entire hand. Oh, I take the the strike and then upgrade it, but I don't think so. I think I want to upgrade the secret weapon. Unfortunately, we also draw the carnage, so carnage goes away. Yeah. Uh, is that a problem? Or are we only world winning for one? Hmm. 
Yeah, drawing both will win and Carnage here is definitely a low roll. Unfortunately. If I don't have the Carnage in my hand next turn, I still actually have to train 3 energy, so it's another minus 10. He got 3 energy on the Whirlwind, uh, 24, so this is 17, this is 18, I cannot kill with 2 energy. That just uh, does not happen. If I do Carnage with the Whirlwind, then the upgrade is not super valuable, but it is still dealing 36 to 1 guy. So I can do 1 energy on one thing, and this goes to 32, this goes to like uh, 33. So Carnage Redraw will still kill them, but Whirlwind Redraw doesn't end the fight immediately. Yeah, I still have to be going for two for 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 three, right? Still have to be going for three. So I do the, the the line I I do, yeah. If next time we don't draw three attacks, and maybe we draw three blocks, and then sure we take another five, and then maybe we rejoin to win immediately, and just kill them all. So uh, we upgrade this hand. Upgrade this hand, secret weapon for a strike, and then we'll win for three. Ignore the carnage. That's the that's the line. Here. So in this line, we are basically, yeah, we are, we are accepting 20 damage here in total, and that's fine. Ah, drawing a defense. Oh, drawing a defense, the, the, the worst draw of the three. Hopefully we don't get taxed for buy another 10. Okay, that's fine. Minus 20. Uh, ceramic fist. Yeah, thank you. More bang first relic into ceramic fist, second relic. Mm. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, the, the, the gold build. Oh, limit break. Oh, don't mind if I do. Uh, armaments though. Armaments... <laughs> oh, the card that kind of wants the upgrade. I guess in this deck it's not that important. Because um, if we upgrade the other cards, then it's all, all, also on the upgrading base cards. And whenever we get apotheosis from the two box, the armaments are completely worthless. It's still fine though. It's probably still okay. I do want to add a block card to this deck at some point. Ubox got here ready for his prize, yeah, definitely. But we also sacrifice like the the, the... if we ignore this small bank completely yeah, and we don't go to this shop. Uh, we talk about this at the start of this run, but it's like minus one hundred fifty gold. Who take the one extra elite here? So uh, otherwise, the we get a two box in act two, and then this thing is like plus one hundred fifty gold. The boss can't go into hand drop power, it goes to the head. It's very strong. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna it's fine. Okay, we do want to add a blocker at some point. This can be knocked, doesn't matter. We have to gamble through. Potion chain still 50%. And it's 9 gold. Like, come on guys. Like, cannot re can can cannot like uh, reject 9 gold here. Yeah, I also have to pick one. Exactly. Like, you, you see this 9 gold, you cannot say no. Zero chance, guys. Oh yeah, uh, nice. Uh, 159 go. Yeah, I love like one events, guys. Frozen egg is fine too. Yeah, we, we definitely don't need it. Uh, yeah, two potions. Uh, so I mean, technically one potion and 61 HP, we definitely take the edit. Discordia yeah, doesn't exist. Probably would exist uh, for a while. I mean, I, I don't know why I would create a, another Discord, but... Uh, uh, another like streamer discord but may maybe at some point just for like uh going live notification or something but yeah as of now i, I don't see a purpose to create another discord channel like that uh, i'm not going to be even be active in but yeah maybe at some point not now though Discovery, hand of greed, thinking ahead. Um, hand of greed, um... I don't so... Make sure that we kill in three turns, yeah? Educational Discord? If I, if I actually able to create a Discord channel, maybe that is the way I would, uh... I don't know, no no promises, but, um... Maybe something I would do if I able to create a channel would be, like, playing my off-stream runs there. Just without, uh, without talking and playing, like, really fast. 
instead of just playing or stream that alone or something. But yeah, no promises, so don't get your hopes up. Because uh, that honestly sounds like... Uh... It, it, it's that more than something, maybe it's not. But yeah, I'm um, honestly generally pretty lazy if uh, it's not something I'm like super interested in. Now, um, thing ahead is just to prevent Bash Tarnish from being drawn on turn 1. Yeah, again, Frozen Eye gonna be good here. Well, what a surprise, guy. Like, uh, I, I would like a Frozen Eye, please. Yeah, I think in ahead is only, is only if we draw exactly Bash Tarnish. In ahead, yeah, I think in ahead is World Cry Plus. And it is only the pick if we draw exactly Bash Tarnish in the opening hand. Uh, if we draw Bash Carnage and Hand of Greed is terrible because we are still playing the Carnage and then we get no value out of uh, anything. On the other hand, well, Discovery, I guess we can do Discovery Carnage. Discovery maybe can give us Von Bo if it gives us Bludgeon and I also can play Bash. Maybe Discovery is just better than Hand of Greed. Because the, the chance to actually redraw into the Hand of Greed is uh, a bit more here. We need to use the Gander's Blue if we even want the chance to redraw into it. Okay, we can also even upgrade the card with the, the armament. Like, yeah, what is this? Give me. Well, that's pretty bad. Taking your hand is pretty also decent, only if uh, I draw exactly bad cards. If not, then the hand of wheel is just more more value. And then probably discovery is also more value. Searing blow plus, yeah, because we can do that. Or we can just play searing blow uh, strike whirlwind, you know, because otherwise armament is like 4 damage. We we are losing 1 damage by playing the armaments on this searing blow. I mean, yeah, sure, we are picking the searing blow, but... Uh, we, we are losing 1 damage here, you see. <laughs> So it's only worth it if we actually redraw into this thing. Uh, does that happen? Now, this one how much damage are we dealing? It's 1823, yeah? 23? 23 and optimal draw order is uh, 42 plus another 13. So 55, 55, 63, 63, 72. So if we draw optimally, we actually kill in 3 turns. And then we never redraw into this. Ah, I mean, I just play the same bro. Oh, cringe. Yeah, this is why I hate Carnage, guys. <laughs> yeah, I exhibit A, why I hate the, the Carnage. And you can also see uh, why I say that the uh, anger is probably just better. Because here you, you upgrade your Carnage and then uh, what? Yeah, you don't play Bash because uh, you cannot lose this. So it's a uh, formal strike Carnage and then... Yeah. What happens next turn? I don't know. Maybe we take a hit, but we can heal up. Like one big hit? No, no, uh, there's, there's a chance, there's a chance. We draw one card yet, so uh, if we redraw two cards next time we do another 34. Which uh, would actually kill this. But uh, we probably take the hit. I, I will just use the blood potion before I, I waste the potion here. Yeah, redraw card, I mean, would have happened. 1 out of 11, it's not that unlikely. It's actually higher than that because we can draw into Pomo Shrine. We draw Pomo Shrine, we definitely play that. Here the only draws like Carnage, right? So if we use the Gambler's Blue, we have like a 50% chance to save this. 50% only, yeah, it's not 100. Uh, it's higher than 50 because, uh, again, Pomo Strike, but... <laughs> yeah, Frozen Eye would be good here. <laughs> Man, holy crap, where the hell is the Frozen Eye? Why is Frozen Eye so good, guys? Like, uh, you, you... People always say that the yeah, Frozen Eye Act 1, yeah, okay, maybe not that good. You don't have draw, you, you cannot manipulate it, and then, uh, what, 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 what can you do, right? When you see your draw power. <laughs> yeah, it turns out you do a lot when you, you know the draw order. Oh, it's your next one. That was triple strike. We probably don't even need to triple strike. Yeah, our deck has no bluff. Our deck doesn't actually have bluff here, so I can actually play one defense here. Worst possible hand next turn is the uh, Armament uh, Defend, Defend, Strike, Whirlwind. That hand doesn't kill, but with the Gambler's Rule, we always have a kill next turn. No matter what. That is a very small risk. Always here? No, not always. Like, we need to draw all three defense, and then um, two card combination between some Bash, Strike, and Whirlwind here. 
Withdraw and assume like, lower window also don't kill, yeah. So it's actually maybe slightly higher than I thought. Uh, what is this? Like 10, choose 5, yeah. And choose 5 is uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is um, uh, 9, 4, 7. 9, 4, 7, 1, 252. So, how many hands do we do? Don't we kill? Because it's over 252. I don't know, that's from the, the toolbox. <laughs> that, that's Discovery. <laughs> that's from Discovery, like, uh, I, I do not have a Searing Bow in my deck. Put Rainbow Spot and draw Carnage? Yeah, 50%. Like, 50% chance of the, 50 of the time it saves at 23. So, it's potting for like 11. Not that terrible, but we can also just save this. Because I don't know, if we actually have to kill Hexagons with this Carnage and Carnage only, yeah? This Gambler's blue, game blue is extremely important. Because we probably need to upgrade Bash at some point, and if we draw these together, then we need to redraw into the Bash faster, or we play the Bash and then we gamble the Carnage away, so then we don't lose it. More Bank Broken? Yes, we already use it. We get more Bank from Neo, and we uh, go into the Super Early Shop to take one extra idea. Okay, so 252. How many hands do we fail? Um, the first hand is like with uh, 3 defense here, and then how many combinations? Like, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4... Within these 4 cards, any combination is failing, so it's like 4 choose 2. Uh, 6, 6 hands already. 6 hands, and then, um... Searing Blow plus Whirlwind, um, 7. Searing Blow plus Bash is 8. And then, what? Um, that's all, right? Yeah, so 8 out of 220... Uh, 252, which is, uh, what? Uh, 126, 63. Yeah, 2 out of 63. 1 out of 30, like 3%. Yeah, 1 out of kill next turn, sure, not this turn, fail block as much as possible. Yeah, as much as possible is a nice, uh, is a nice way to say, uh, uh, 4, uh, four damage. <laughs> it's not even 4, we actually block for 3 extra. Like, if we fail to kill, we are using a potion for 3 HP. If we are successful, so 50% of the time we save, um, it's not even the other 50, we are not even guaranteed to get the armaments. So it's like, 50% of the time we save like 24, so it's like 12, the other 50, we maybe we save like 2. 13, 13 damage Gambler's Blue, but I think Gambler's Blue is just more important, to, to be honest. I think this gambler blue is just way more important in the hexagon fight itself. And there's already the, the freaking black potion we can use. Sixty is yeah, kind of like that. It's not it's not actually sixty, but it's uh, it's close to that. So the value of this potion probably goes to it's actually like maybe fifty. Yeah, I don't think so, right? We uh, double strike and then single defend here is. Um, Single defense here saving 1 HP, but opens us up for 3% low roll next turn that we are forced to gain plus proof. So is that worth it? The... If we say it's not worth it, it means that we are valuing the gameless proof at over 30 HP, yeah? That doesn't seem correct to me. But um, that is only if you are playing towards expected value. If you are not playing towards expected value and we, we say that we need to keep this gameless pool no matter what, then we just triple strike. If we triple strike, we never fail to kill. Like no matter what we draw next time, we will always kill it. We triple strike. And you're like, uh, why, why suddenly open myself up to a 3% chance for, for this run to, to go like completely down the drain, right? Double defense, no, the second defender doesn't even do anything. Is the, the the unfortunate thing. This thing goes to 28 and then it goes to 33. Your, so your second defense blocks of 5 against 5 damage. It doesn't do anything. So if you play any defense, it's only one thing. But I think I just triple strike. Like, uh, yeah, like uh, open myself up to the 3% low row and then cry when I get to the 3% low row. Like, why, why would I do that? Yeah, why, why would I get into the situation where I can even get unlucky in the first place, you know? It's a triple strike. 
And if this thing give us a sustained relic, uh, maybe a tonal feather, maybe middle of the bone, maybe the um, a, a lizard tail or something, then we don't even yeah, it would have it would have saved the HP. Then we don't even need to to drink the blood potion yet. Oh. Oh, I don't want to die, guys. Oh, I really don't want to die, guys. Ah, uh, no potion, by the way. Yeah, so potion chance sixty percent. Hello, P. Jospo? Uh, yeah, yellow and green. Yeah, for our deck. Hmm, interesting. Man, I want a bridge. I want a bloodletting, I want a dress, I want a shockwave. I want uh, something to freaking upgrade my entire deck. Would would be good. But yeah, real talk though. The I'm I'm just thinking like do I do I want this iron wave or not? Like is iron wave positive or is it negative? Yeah, I'm not even looking at the jack or not. Like uh, complete trash. Our deck doesn't block anyway, and uh, even if our deck does block, like it deals how much damage does it deal compared to the carnage? Uh, and we is not negative in the hexagos fight if we are just talking about nine times two. But uh, overall, it does lower the deck's damage because we redraw to the bash and the, the carnage less often. It does give us nine gold. Is the direction? Yeah, direction is next run. <laughs> exactly, we picked the jungle not here, and our direction is the, the next run. Like, pretty quickly, actually. It, it doesn't... We don't need to wait for long for, to, for the jungle not to kill us. Like, I'm not even kidding. You pick this jungle not right here, you see a man advance away, fine, you understand immediately what I'm talking about. Yeah, if I pick a block card, it's like a, a race, right? I'm a little bit scared, though, that if I do not pick this Iron Wave, a block Nifty is like way too low for the Hexagos. So even if our damage is like kind of sufficient, the, the problem with this tier is that we also need to play Carnage whenever we draw into it. We also need to play Bash whenever we draw into it. So whenever we draw into this maximum, we can block with like one energy. So we already take some cheap damage, even from like maybe 6 times 2, maybe even the, the 6 damage hit. Whenever we draw burn, we can even take damage, and then we die to 9 times 2. That is the, the, the scenario I'm like the most scared of at the moment. And Iron Wave does uh, mitigate a little bit. Now, of course Iron Wave, yeah, as I said, Iron Wave just opens us up for the chance to yeah die to the Inferno, because we, we don't kill in time. But maybe we can save the Incense Burner. Maybe. We do have 35 HP at the moment. Um, Incense Burner, if it can be set up, can mitigate a big hit here. And then we have enough HP to maybe still survive the Inferno if I add the, the Iron Wave. Yeah, it's probably okay, right? It performs... It, it probably is positive immediately in the advanced always here. Like, no matter what it is. Around 60 to 80 damage. Yeah, yeah, but how much does it cost you? You, you say like, you say like 60 to 80 damage as if like playing defense doesn't cost you like the, the strike. So you actually have to, to wonder like how many, how much energy are you playing defense that otherwise you would actually put into attacks. <laughs> so how much damage does the jungle not actually gain you in that case? Yeah, and then uh, you realize that the, the card is like complete garbage. <laughs> That's the thing, right? you spend 10 energy on defense and then jungle not deal 70 damage. Okay, cool. So what do you lose? You spend 10 energy on strike, that's already 60. So Jack of is what? 2 energy, deal 10. Okay, cool. <laughs> and that's assuming we only play strikes, yeah? It's not even true. Without vulnerable. If we have uh, automatic block, maybe the self forming clay, then sure, you can say it's actually real damage. Like, no, no, kidding. No, not kidding. Like, the self-forming play with Jacques or not is a, is a real thing. Jacques or not heals the hexagos. I mean, it, it, I wouldn't go that far, but uh, it's pretty bad. Smack defense to Iron Wave. Yeah, yeah. At the cost of 2 energy. Uh, Violet's probably better than thinking ahead. 
Um, next fight is Burning Elite, yeah. We know this is not knock, so Incense Burner probably on 4. The Jaguar run with Panacea, Jaguar not confirm OP. Was that the... That was like pretty long ago, right? Or was that the recent run? If it was the... the... Uh, if that was like the co-op, like... Um... Quite a while ago, then I, I have seen that. But uh, yeah, if it's a recent one, then I, I think I missed it. Violence is better than thing ahead, right? And yeah, with the Iron Wave now, we can actually... Oh yeah, Iron Wave, the, the, the Incense Burner, of course. Iron Wave also makes the Incense Burner better, because we can store the, the Advanced Always still with the uh, Iron Wave. And so on to the Jaco Floor Zero to try to move. Yeah, okay. If you transfer to Jaco Nolan on Floor Zero, I can see that. And because early game, you can also pick like uh, Red, you can pick Iron Wave, you can have me Tally Sign, and it actually deals a decent amount of damage. And then later on, you have like maybe Power 2 Second Win. It can scale. The main. There are, there are two main problems with Jaco Nolan. Like, number one is that. Uh, Panacea, Jaco, no, no, Panacea is the, the streamer's name. <laughs> but there, there are mainly two problems with the Juggernaut. Problem number one is that Body Slam exists, and usually they serve the same role. So, if your late game damage solution is like Juggernaut, you can probably do the same thing with the Body Slam, and that kind is common. So, you uh, don't actually have to give up the other rare cards for it, and you don't also don't need to commit to energy. Problem number two is that it usually comes at an awkward time because early game you uh, add damage early game you add damage and you already don't have energy you, know? like, you look at this crap like two energy two energy you know, infinite energy like uh, yeah where are you finding the energy to actually play the juggernaut and then you don't even have block card so they just come at the, the awkward time and there's also a, a common alternative which leads to it not really being picked that often Everything you wanted, fear no pain, mentality side, second win, yeah. Yeah, yeah, fear no pain, fear no pain with second win with Juggernaut is actually like, very fun. At least, I don't know whether it's actually like uh, super, super strong, but it looks extremely satisfying. And that, that's what counts. But that's what really counts. Yeah, you play the second win and you see, yeah, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you just see like kind of a machine gun to the uh, enemy, you know, like, it looks very cool. Oh yeah, violence, yeah. Oh, drawing all blocky, I don't like that. But at least we can one-shot this. Still do, right? Next time it's only 11, if we draw any two blocks, we can block. At most, we lose six. The other line is what? One-shotting this and then take five. Uh, yeah, that sounds very stupid. Let's not do that. I do draw though. Okay, did not draw a defense, that's good. Yeah, take zero. Uh, we got burner on four. Four is the, the magic number here. Unfortunately, drawing all three blocks might mean we get all next turn. Hopefully not. We can play one here. Like, burner on three is not the worst possible for this burning elite fight. If it's lack of lean three, is probably better than four. Uh, if it's sentries, then sure, three probably sucks a little bit, but it's still it's still blocking something. But uh, yeah, I, I do play one attack so that I just have guaranteed lethal on this next one in case I draw no block. I would not play eleven HP for one burner advance. But here is good. Here is good. Burn on four. Oh really? Oh thank you. Oh insane. Thank you very much guys. Like the uh, the potion drop. 60% chance for us. <laughs> so now it's back to 50 and we have a smoke bomb. Uh yeah, if I can smoke hex ghost, I would I, I would actually maybe maybe I would actually do that. Actually no, that's minus 75 gold and a red card. Why the hell would I do that? <laughs> yeah, that's stupid. What weakness? Well that Probably can deal with hexagons, and it also makes that uh, make us not super reliable, re reliant on the carnage. So we pick the sword weakness, we upgrade, we can upgrade the bus, and then if we lose the carnage because we draw them together, sure, fine, whatever. We still have enough damage to not die to the ghost. 
And again, it's 9 gold. 9 gold cannot be that bad. So do I actually even want to, to have this smoke bomb? No, seriously, because if we bring the blood potion inside the Hexagos Fire, that's extremely good. We drink it right now, it's half value. But uh, we bring it inside the Hexagos Fire, we get full value out of it in the fire. We're actually dying to burns. Uh, but for that to happen, we either need to use the Gambler's Rule here, or we need to lose other potions. I guess if we draw another real potion here, we'll still drink the Blood Potion and keep the Gambler's Rule. Because Gambler's Rule is, again, extremely good in this fight still. So, uh, the only case where we don't pick up the Smoke Bomb right now is that we say that these fights will not draw potions. Because maybe, I don't know, maybe we run into an extremely nasty hallway fight here. Um, oh, we, oh, we Smoke Bomb to preserve the Burner setup. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. That we run into this fight, we put burner on the, the correct number, and then we just smoke. Now, I don't know whether that's good or not, but uh, it's an idea. It is certainly one of the plays possible. Honestly, how bad is that? No, really, how, how bad is that? Now that I think about it, like, we lose a little bit of gold. And potentially lose an upgraded power, but uh, other otherwise uh, no harm done. Right? Just an uh, just, just an upgraded power, right? Like uh, what 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 can it be? Like yeah, corruption plus. Like, who cares? Like ooh, garbage power. But yeah, uh, if we don't pick up a smoke bomb, it's like uh, we need these fights to not drop potion. So right now it's fifty percent. It's fifteen to sixty. We are not going to question mark yeah? So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fish value is so that's also minus 9 gold. So we minus like 15 gold, minus another 9, so minus 24. And minus maybe a potion drop. <laughs> Two piece of the murder. I mean, may maybe that's not so bad if we are saying we die to hexagos otherwise. Because this run also again is like super high potential if we live. So uh, I would probably try to do everything in my power to not die in this fight. Like when coming, yeah, we need to not die to hexagos first. Right now there's still a chance. But yeah, 50 into 60, so we need to roll the 50 and then we need to roll the 40. It's 20%. 80% of the time, this blood potion is just uh, getting used. Turn 2 happen entering combat is... No, no, it's, it's on turn 2 itself. So you enter the fight with, uh, let's say, uh, 37 HP, yeah? But you use smart on turn 1, go down to like 34. And then turn 2, it calculates on the, the 34. But it doesn't work with brutality, right? You need to actually lose the HP on turn one. Yeah, I think I think it doesn't actually work with brutality. So you enter the fight with like 36 and you play brutality on turn one, turn two, you are still getting owned. But uh Brand that thing hemokinesis or offering uh, definitely work. Wait, I just use Blood Potion and take the smoke one. I, mean, I don't know, maybe this fight goes insanely wrong that we, we would smoke away. Uh, yeah, hopefully not. This is either Sentries or Lagavulin. Uh, Sentry is probably better for us because of the Incense Burner being completely set up. And the Sorgen is always landing and our deck also has more damage than, than Block and maybe two boxing also so. If we say that Lagavulin is the worst fight, uh, do we upgrade past then? Because, uh, unless we see a second vulnerable source, we definitely want to upgrade Bash before Hexa goes anyway. So this upgrade is like preemptive. And it's not, it's not so bad uh, if it's Lagavulin. If it's the, the sentries and the burner is already set up. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, if I get away with not upgrading Bash, I definitely would like to. Because the yeah, the, look at this freaking cast, man. Like, once upgrade, once upgrade, once upgrade. <laughs> And this upgrade also falls off, so this was an upgrade for now, but later, yeah, we don't care. Yeah, what if we see a shockwave, right? Like, like, come on, if, if we see a shockwave, we would be like very sad that we upgrade this bash, right? One hour? Like, is that... Mm. Ah, not one hour yet. Honestly, it is a pretty standard like one. I think on average, I spend roughly like one hour in inside act one. Because Act 1 is actually when the run has the highest chance to die. I'm not even kidding. 
Let's go later on. I'm kind of shocked with it. Yeah, definitely. And we don't really rest. Yeah, like the, the chance that we actually have to rest here is uh, basically zero. We burn the setup and the smoke bomb. If we never rest, then bash upgrade comes later. It, it doesn't come now. Yeah, if the yeah, yeah if, if we always upgrade here, then we upgrade the the, the bash later if we are forced to. So what is the upgrade then? Pomo strike upgrade doesn't play immediately. Um, fusion hammer. I don't even know if. With Fusion Hammer, would I like the Pomo or the, the Whirlwind upgrade? Because later on, in, like, late Act 3, Act 4, we already have the Incense Burner to, to mitigate a lot of the low rolls the first few turns. So card draw usually mainly is get your, your turn 1 and turn 2 better, but uh, we already have the Burner to cover for that. And inside Act 2 itself, the Whirlwind upgrade is stronger. Yeah, I can, I can definitely see upgrading Whirlwind first. I can FAC, I'm going to go with first. There's also plays here. This is like a balloon. Uh, we need to wake up on turn 1. <laughs> we, we definitely need to wake up on turn 1 here. Yeah. Okay, Frozen Eye could be good here, again. Because uh, if we know that we are drawing Bash Tarnish, we definitely take Enlightenment. Otherwise, we take Secret Weapon. Oh man, Frozen Eye. Uh, but yeah, it's probably secret weapon over discovery, right? Because we need to work this thing up on turn 1 immediately so that we get the incense burner value. And I don't know, do I get the carnage or do I get the bash? I guess it depends on what I draw. But getting the bash, and if I have bash combo shot in my, in my hand, I immediately risk drawing into the carnage. Have we already seen frozen eye? No. <laughs> but, but I just say like every single fight I can use a frozen eye, you know. But I guess that's true because we, we already pick up the toolbox. Like every single fight I just wish we have a frozen eye right now. Um but yeah, probably still a secret weapon. Because enlightenment enlightenment plays on like two cards and two cards only. And only has value this turn if we draw both of them together. In the redraw is most likely garbage. Yeah, single weapon. Um, Pomo Tribe first. Oh yeah, I can get the bash here. Ideal scenario, I get the bash and play Pomo Tribe and then next turn I have Carnage. But uh, real talk though, I probably just Pomo Tribe and then see. If I draw the bash, I play the bash and keep secret weapon in the redraw. Or I secret weapon for a strike. So I draw Carnage more for next turn. Or the, the Sword Weakness. If I draw immediately into the bash, I guess minus 4. Yeah, yeah, armament the bash is also a consideration. With the armament bash line, we do have a very small chance to... Yeah, bottom deck and stop for all the carnage on our 11. Uh, if that happens, we don't utilize the vulnerable on the carnage, and then we get completely destroyed here. Okay, not destroyed, we have smoke bomb. And we have gambler's proof. But uh, we would need to, to, to use potion. But it does increase the chance of the Karnas lining up with the, the Bastion. And I don't even I don't even know. Like is that is that actually stronger than just grabbing the Karnas? If we just grab the Karnas right now, play Pombo Strike Karnas. And next time if we draw Bastion, we can still play it, yeah? If not, um, next time we don't need to block. So we, we put all the energy on damage. Turn 3, we need to block. So if we draw Carnage on turn 3, it's already awkward. And if we grab the Carnage right now, there's also a 0% chance that we shuffle it out. I think I just prefer to, to, to grab my Carnage instead of... Uh, Otherwise, we are losing like 15, 16, right? We are. If we grab the Bash here and upgrade the Bash here, and we uh, draw Carnage on turn 3, we are losing 15 on that turn, and we are losing 1 the turn before. So, in total, that's 16. If we bottom deck the Carnage and shuffle it out, we are losing way more. 1 out of 11. Pomo might give us in for the we need to play the 
problem with playing formal first is that it shuts down the line of ammo and bash, but I don't think I do it anyway. So I think, yeah, yeah, I think I just do formal strike first. The only bedrock with formal strike first is Fort Weakness. <laughs> One out of 12. Uh, if that's the case, what do I do? Yeah, I guess I can also see the hand accent because we have the incense burner set up. And uh, worst come to worst, smoke bomb is always here. But yeah, I, I do think I start uh, this fight with like formal strike. Oh, really? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's actually the freaking spot weakness on the hotel. Well, uh, this fight is just got interesting. <laughs> Yeah, the fight certainly just got interesting, guys. And this thing is this thing is a burning laga bullet. It's not a normal laga bullet. Like if we if it's normal laga bullet and we um miss a four minutes and we play Kanes two times, it still dies. Burning laga bullet is different. Burning laga bullet and we draw all our block already. So turn three, we are already getting it right. Uh, only for like maybe ten or fifteen. In the redraw, maybe take one more hit, it's at 30. Burner 0, burner 1, burner 2, burner 3, burner 4, we kill. I mean, there's also no line, right? So we just secret weapon for the, the, the Carnage now. Definitely Carnage over Bash, right? Otherwise, uh, if we get the Bash right now over the Carnage, um, it means the next turn, 50% chance if we don't run the Carnage, we are game, uh, using Gambler's Proof on the Carnage. Just to play Carnage with the round ball and then shuffle faster. I still dream of a scenario where we preserve the game this book. Probably doesn't really happen at this point, but maybe maybe we can. Ah, uh, but then yeah, 50%. Yeah, now honestly, yeah, it's true. Now that I already missed the spot weakness, my, my our damage is actually lacking, right? So maybe I am forced to to shoot for the button into Carnage now. Like before that, we do not care if uh, Bash lands on, on the Carnage, you know? as long as we can play the Carnage, but uh, because we have spot weakness. So the, the only thing I did not want to do is to, to shuffle the Carnage out, but now that we know that the spot weakness is not landing at all, it's uh, it's different. Yeah, maybe I should shoot for the, the thing. What's the chance that we drop two potions from here? Like 50 into 40 so is 20% that we actually get to refill our potion before the hexa goes if I use the, the gambler's brew. Yeah, not not likely. So this gambler's brew is just uh, getting used. Oh yeah, we also draw our block on turn one, which is uh, pretty sad. At least I picked the secret weapon and not the other thing. Yeah, maybe, maybe I do get a pass. Maybe, maybe I do take weapon for the pass now. Right, Carnage is just not enough damage. We we do Carnage here, it's like 28. Uh, it goes down to... Like what? 1... Uh, uh, 86, 86, 89, 89, 92. Uh, 92, 95. 95 and then 98. So 98 and we have 1, 2, 3, 4 turns. 98, 4 turns. Next turn, let's say we do bus strike, and then the turn after we just do 36. So... We do it 4 turns. 1, 2, 3 off turn, yeah, yeah, we do it 4 turns. So 17 into 36 is uh, 53. 53, 53, and then the off turn, no more vulnerable, yeah. Um, so we need to deal 42 damage over 2 turns, no secret weapon, redraw, Swan is a miss on the off turn, but Carnage redraw kills immediately. And Gabriel 2 is still unused. But that is only if we land much before the whirlwind. If we draw much on turn 3, then maybe we can land it on the Carnage on the off turn, not very likely, but it's possible. Barely have enough damage actually, even if I get the Carnage right now. If we... Get the bus and then we win the 50-50 next turn, we definitely have enough damage over 4 turns. So we never take the, the, the hit after the debuff. Okay, what's the chance of the Carnage redraw? Um, 2 turns in here, yeah? So then off turn and then after we draw 10 cards. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
5 plus 10, 15. 2 out of 3. 2 out of 3. Carnage after debuff is dealing 26. 26 with a strike is... Um, 26 with a strike is like uh, 30. 30 and we say we are short by like 42. So 12. So if we draw bash next turn again, 50-50, we have it. If we draw bash together, we will win, then maybe we don't have it again. Because that's like what? That is plus, um, plus 3, but minus 9. So minus 6. So then we actually need 18. Hmm. So even if we redraw the carnage with 2 out of 3, there's still not a guarantee that we can kill in time. If that's the case, they probably just take the 50 50. Then. And then secret weapon for, for the bash. But that sucks. This fight sucks, guys. But uh, Carnage, please. Okay, thanks. Okay, never worry, guys. Minus 15, but we um, defend will win, yeah? This guy goes down to. Okay, can I actually defend here? I can, right? I'd say that we have 3 turns to deal. Um, 67 and we deal 16 right now so we have two turns to deal uh 51 51 wait wait did i count one extra turn or what like why are we so far off i did count one extra turn oh i did actually count one extra turn like, what the hell am i doing oh that would that would actually be bad if we if we did not land tennis on the vulnerable then yeah that would actually have been awful <laughs> Holy crap, but uh, okay, would 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 <laughs> would think that it did not happen. So uh we we'll win here for two, it goes to 45, we need to do 51 over two turns. Redraw into Carnage is only uh uh it's 20 28, maybe 26, but uh, yeah it doesn't matter. We count this as 28 first and then we need we deduct the, the strength um, penalty. So yeah, 64, 67, 67, 51. 51 with 6 energy. So 23 with... Um, 33 with 4 energy. That actually just does not happen. So actually we need to eat 20 here. If we play the whirlwind for 3, I'm right, not defending at all, uh, it goes to 37, 37 is 40, 40, and then 40... Wait, no, no, it only heals for 2 times, it only heals for... Yeah, yeah, only heals for 2 times. 67, minus 74, 43. 43, yeah, 43, we can't just redraw, we can do it. Worst come to worst, we still can gamble through all smoke bomb. But uh, if, we, if we defend, we just don't make it, right? Unless we redraw again until, like, bash into Carnage. Uh, yeah, let's... Yeah, uh... Probably in Dreamland. <laughs> so we don't need to redraw to Carnage here. Fifty percent again. Uh, we wins two off. No, we wins four off. But uh, with the potion, we always have a kill this turn, like no matter what. But we did win the fifty-fifty again, so we don't need to potion. So that's good at least. Uh, Dream Catcher, yeah, what a garbage. But maybe, maybe for the next, Ceramic Fish can play in Act 2. It doesn't play in Act 1. Brock Potion is good though. Brock Potion is very strong in Hexagos. Uh, Complete Trash. Unless you want Ghostly Armor. I don't. <laughs> oh, we skip, yeah. That was... <coughs> Actually, like, um... We load up 1 out of 12, but then we win 1 out of 4. The, so the result at the end is that we probably lose a little bit more HP than a very good fight could have been. But we did not need to potion. Black Zia, no, not, not, not here. Not when we are in uh, such a big upgrade deck, we already have the spot quickness. And uh, I also don't really want to add more damage cards. Uh, at least not, not uh, this kind of damage cards at least. Okay, real talk though. Do we take the fight? Like, burn on 3. Burn on 3 is hitting the, the 9 times 2. Burn on, hit, uh, burn, burn on 3 is actually hitting the, the, the 9 times 2. It's, uh... Actually, is it? Yeah, it is, it is. Burn on 5 is hitting Inferno. Burn on 4 is hitting the Divider. Burn on 3 is hitting the uh, 9 times 2. 
So if we say that we always kill by Inferno, which I sure hope we do, we have the um, Carnage. We, we have the Carnage, we have the Spot Quickness, and we have the Bat probably are going to be plus. And with the Block Potion, we are also like completely safe to on turn 2. Like, like we, we don't die to cheap before night time 2, and then night time 2 we have Burner. If we run into the advanced hallway fight and we cannot set up burner to either 3, 4 or 5, um, things are bad and we only get the potion refill. So we have currently 2 potions. All the healing events are still there, yeah. The question mark we have stepped into in this act, we have only been to one question mark, was the, the complete trust event. Was the, um, the serpent. So any life loss event in here is an empty node. But, uh... Healing is still fully possible here. Yes, well, Clary can remove a strike. Clary is actually fine. The Dead Adventurer. The knob, we have perfect uh, incense burner setup for the knob here. And I would probably just take the knob fight, even if burner slightly messed up for this. Okay, that's actually pretty bad. But uh, if we have burner setup for the knob here, we also never need to use the rock potion. And then maybe you say that we use rock potion to get through the hexables. Just plus 180. Worst come to worst, just work and even rest. So the adventure already has a 1 out of 3 to be a, a free fight. The sentries, I don't know whether we should take them or not. Because sentries will cheap us down and the burner 3 is also not perfect there. And it's also like pretty hard to get the burner in play for the hexagon. The good thing though is that burner for hexagon, you can, it can be on like 3, 4 or 5. So you have some, some leeway there. Honestly, realistically, it's just better to, to, to keep the burner as is, right? If we're going to like one more one more fight. Even if the value of this is probably higher than this. I want to keep my burner on, on a good number for this fight. And 3 is fine. Blocking 9 times 2 and maybe some burns can block up to probably 18 damage. On turn 2, we are only being hit for 18. Uh, so it only actually blocks for 12. Hello, Path player. Yeah, burn burner for uh, the night time two is just blocking more than burner on the divider. Of course, burner on the inferno is blocking the most, but uh, maybe we can kill before that. I mean, I hope we can. Oh, yeah, we skipped it. Yeah. Then with two potion, I go to question mark. And it's sentries. Oh, it is sentries, guys. If it's Lag of Lin, we definitely leave. If it's not, we definitely fight. But if it's this fight, I don't know. Oh, minus one elite. Oh, really? Minus one elite or what? Like, we're freaking elite. <laughs> Potentially a free elite too, yeah? It's, it's not even... Okay, how bad is it if we uh, if we press? 1,200 hours new when elite show up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you know from here. You, you know by this part. It's not mentioned anywhere in the game, but if you see this event enough, you can also you can also maybe see the pattern or you uh, read the wiki. But yeah, scour by fame is sentries. Uh, I don't know, like uh, horn beast is the the knob, and the other thing is the lagavulin. Ah, uh, we take this right. Uh, how bad is it if we if we rest? I mean, if we, if we rest in the fight, it's not even that bad. Dreamcatcher, Fish, Frozen, Four Frozen Egg. So if we rest, if we say that we are resting in the fire and we maybe we are allowed to use the Blood Potion here, then we definitely want the burner on 4. Yeah, yeah Giant Claw is the, the Lag of Wood. There, there's no way we turn down the Elite, right? Like, come on. Uh, surely not. Yeah, surely not. We definitely don't turn down the elite. And, and it's not even always the elite, you know. Maybe we just get all the stuff for free. Okay, we don't get stuff for free, guys. Uh, there's no such thing as free stuff. Uh, Flash is still definitely better than the trip, or is that true? Trip on the armor and strip artifact on all of them, but the only other debuff we have is a bash. So, not too interested. I would take, just take the Flash of Steel. Uh, next turn burner is not set up, so we still want to kill one of them. Or maybe do a little bit and then block ocean. 
this turn the most sensible line just dealing 14 here is like uh, perfect because 14 sets up for the carnage next turn oh so i guess it's just we, we just do the obvious line <laughs> well interesting draw we have here but uh, next turn only good card threat and if we draw like i'm gonna defend defend we can even block for 18. Uh, this thing is now in in Kanish range because of the rock potion that we are willing to use potion chance right now is still 40 percent uh we definitely do that yeah Kanish, perfect right and then next time we have incense burner so either we have whirlwind for three or we have almost right into whirlwind uh Ammon's on what on uh the try yeah over over the bash uh, the debuff never matters, so the strike is just plus 3, and then if we draw Bath together with Karnesh, or the Whirlwind and redraw, we play the other card. Spot Wingness, uh, yeah, literally doesn't matter in the redraw. I mean, okay, it does matter, it's, it's not literally, but it's not as much impact as this. Yeah, just Whirlwind for 3, next time we have a defend. But no wants to be on um, what? I still have no idea because we don't know whether I... I still don't know whether I should rest or not. I still kind of want to upgrade Bash, you know, if we preserve the block potion like this. Oh, no, no. Four is if we, four is if we rest. If we rest, we set it on four. Otherwise, it's like, what, two times six. Like, why why would we set Burno for that? It block for six damage. I guess we'll see. Like, we, we don't really always have a choice anyway. So we, we can just see. Potion chains 40. These potions are very good for extra though, so I would not like to use them. And yeah, here the bash upgrade would be completely worthless. Apparently, the spot witness upgrade is not worthless. Spot witness upgrade would actually let us do iron wave on, on this guy. Uh, but yeah, I probably want to do it on 3 or 5. Taking 2 more damage is fine here. But it need to be on to block 6 and 6 on 5. 3 blocks the 9 times 2, 4 blocks the turn 2 attack, and then 5 blocks the Inferno. Actually, is that true? Wait, wait, wait. Inferno is on turn... Yeah, what am I talking about? 5 is the thing that blocks 9 times 2. 3 is what blocks the Inferno. Yeah, yeah. 3 is what blocks the Inferno. What the hell am I talking about? <laughs> right, right, right. It's 9 turns. Yeah, 9 turns. So 3, three blocks Inferno. 5 blocks the uh, 9 times 2. Okay, that would actually be a uh, pretty embarrassing way to die, you know. That I believe that I have the burner set up uh, for the night times two when then I don't. <laughs> would be would be a pretty sad way to die. I mean, if we don't get the burner on, um, if we are not resting and we don't set the burner on four, then I would maybe like to take three damage here. How could we take three damage? <laughs> Not really possible, right? Like, the, the number just doesn't work out. Because we don't have a defense plus. And wave is not plus, it's not defense plus, so we can only take like 5. And there is still a chance that we can full block on turn 2, yeah? Even if it's like, uh, dealing 18. Because maybe there's like a blind on turn 1 or something. Maybe there's a blind turn 1 from 2 box, maybe there's a apotheosis, and then turn 2 we full block. So, taking 3 to block for... Taking 5 to block for 6 seems uh, very stupid. And maybe we are forced to kill with burn on 4 anyway. But yeah, it, if we are on 26, it's doing 3 times 6. So, now the burn on 4 actually blocks for like 12. Which is not a, a terrible amount. So, if we are forced to kill with burn on 4, I would also still take that. But yeah, 3, 4, or 5 is, is still fine. Like, we just do the line that never takes damage. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we are forced to take the end this turn. But yeah, here we just kill, right? Burn on 3. So burn on 3 blocks Inferno. And we know that night comes through, we never die to with the, the block potion. So, uh... He said, actually play the next ghost. Like, now even if we draw Bash, Kanesha, no one can have both. Anger. We still want anger. It's uh honestly it's still good. <laughs> it is still kind of good. 
uh it's better when we upgrade the formal strike which is probably our next upgrade target unless we get pyramid then maybe it's like the armaments instead but i mean we get pyramid that's already the good case so like who cares it'll be that bad right if we uh, sometimes have to lose the carnage in the hexagos fight anyway okay next question do we need to upgrade bash now if we pick up the anger if we if we pick up the anger and we have the um so in techno i die on like run uh, 40 run run 40 or something no need anger <laughs> pick love instead yeah if only love i should kill sex circles <laughs> i would i wouldn't do that current streak right now is like uh four or something i'm, I'm not sure it's probably four yeah it's still good and no seriously, like if we get a trip from the two box, for example, or our apotheosis, then the mask definitely does not need to up be upgraded. I take the anger and then just upgrade for more strike, right? Yeah, like why why not do that? Ammon's upgrade doesn't doesn't actually play so much in the hexagos fight if this is our deck at least. Yeah, just take the anger and then upgrade the, the Pomo Strike, like why not do that? Especially with the ancient T set. Like ancient T set Pomo Strike upgrade also value also increase. Well, 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 like what do we have here to blind? Uh, Panache doesn't actually do anything, right? Yeah, Panache actually doesn't do anything. And if we say that Inferno is already blocked with the burner, then we never need the panic button. So here's the blind that blocks for six next turn. Uh, yeah, let's take that. And this is exactly what I talk I'm, I'm talking about. Like, if the two box give us blind is the best option, then maybe even full block next turn. Like, who knows? I mean, okay, to be fair though, Panache with the 5 energy on turn 1, maybe it plays immediately for 10 damage, but then it never plays again. Because the anger and whatnot, but we also get burn shot for it. And there's also two cost cards that we want to play. Ah, cringe. At least we upgrade to Bash, but we miss spot weakness. That's slightly annoying. Probably still fine though, because we have uh, more than 9 turns here. And Bash is green. But uh, missing spot weakness, yeah. Spot weakness uh, doing its job once again, guys. Absolutely amazing job. Oh, thanks. Minus 12. We can potion for 12. Exactly. <laughs> I just can play one. Yeah, it, it's very rarely placed. With like maybe two or three angles with a pomo strike, it plays one more turn. But yeah, third one just now it also did not play. So, uh, yeah, it's even worse than, than expected. Potion chance right now is what? We did not get a potion here. So 50% here, we got a potion, which goes down to 40, and then it goes up to 50. 50% chance of potion again, and this block was full 12. Uh, 12 is actually only 3 into the next act, yeah, so we are effectively using the rock potion for 6. It's fine. It is okay. It's a exactly average EV. It missed the EV exactly and this uh, if we use this right now we also have no chance to basically no chance to die to nine times two. Uh otherwise we lose twelve and we go to fourteen and maybe we need to use it to block for like I don't know six or, or eight damage on the nine times two to not die because we take cheap afterwards. And then it's weird. Yeah, here of course we, we play World with for 3. Like, trade 1 for 12 and we are healthy enough and definitely do that. Line again. Excellent. And I do play Iron Wave for Pomo Strike. Oh, these are very good draws. Like, the, the draw in this fight so far has been very good, except the spot weakness. Everything else is, is like spot on until the night comes through. L looking at this draw, night comes through, we get completely old. But uh, we never die because of the game that's proof. I was lost to XR 6 times 2, starting with 5 with 38. Break every draws, yeah. Can definitely happen. Like, this fight is nasty. Like, even, even here, I say that there's no chance to die, but it's not even true, you know? Like, 9 times 2, for example, we draw 2 burns, no block, and then I gamble again into another no block, and then suddenly we are we are dead. 
Like, extremely possible. Uh, maybe just kill beforehand, you know? Can we? Next turn is uh, blocking, yeah? Next turn is blocking, and the turn after is hitting for 9 times 2. So, Swap Nips again never lands. I'm going the anger minus 12, 78, 78, another 36, 42, yeah, we never kill. Because it also gains uh, 12 block. But we also never die. Okay, almost never. But upgrading anything other than the anger here also doesn't, doesn't make a lot of sense. Because we gain output immediately. Oh, we draw both defense. So next turn, we, yeah, we do get old. Spawn grenade once again completely miss. And uh, our damage is slightly behind. <laughs> yes, good. Spot wing is so sick the ghost guys, by the way. Uh, also, thank you very much for uh, the give the talk to Baylor, like whoever you are. Like, thank you very much. I appreciate a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, spot wing is so sick the ghost, yeah? Like, everybody, everybody says that. This thing attacks you for uh, like uh, 7 turns out of the 9 turns. So surely you land spot wing at some point. Yeah, yeah, except that we, we miss it both times. <laughs> yeah, I play spot zero time, and it also brings me a, a draw and maybe a whirlwind here. So it's like minus 24 damage or what? Uh, but yeah, defense strike. I guess we don't gamble next time we draw the defense. Gambling this turn is like completely stupid, so let's not do that. It has nice SP. Okay, so we lose, uh, what? We lose 15 here, go to 7. 7 technically means that we can die to 1 times 6 with uh, the Inferno, even with the Incense Burner setup. But the uh, gambling now also makes 0 sets. So, yeah, we just go, go down like that. I'm scared, yeah, me too. Don't worry, you're not alone. Uh, we don't die here. If we pommel strike into a burn, that's a slightly different story. And next turn, yeah, next turn is one times six, but one times six is we still actually need to block. It doesn't make sense to not pommel strike, right? Because um, either we get block cast now, which place, or we get further into the draw pan, then we can block next turn, maybe. Uh, worst case scenario is that we draw a burn and nothing else, even then we're still living on one. If we draw into two burns, we can gain more two burns away with uh, all the other attacks. Oh man, this fight, this fight is actually so freaking harsh. I mean, of course, if we get slightly better draw with the spot weakness, we are, this thing is already dead by this turn, yeah? <laughs> Such a troll fight, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, yeah, that's the max sense to not pommel here, so we play the pommel. Ah, we lose Carnage. But uh, if I play Carnage here, I die, so uh, that's probably a pretty bad idea. If we lose Carnage, I do we have lethal next turn? We only deal 14. Ah, 39, so we cannot kill next turn. Oh, that's really bad. So we actually need to block one times six with um, four burns in the, the the draw power. So potentially have to block up to ten damage, and we are on two. So we need to draw two block cards basically. Blind doesn't block anything, yeah. Game yeah, over for blind, so I can cut it down. Yeah, you need to hit blind, and no burns. Four angle and one spot. Yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, if we draw ideal hand, then maybe maybe uh, we don't have four angles. But uh, yeah, sure, we can do some angles with uh, a bash and then spot weakness also can kill. But I mean, it doesn't make sense to gamble this turn, so we just defend, just play the light. Well, good news, uh, we have gamblers through. We have not wasted this potion. But yeah, very good news that we have not wasted this potion anywhere in this act. Because otherwise, uh, some 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 uh, salty mess would happen this turn. Now there's zero chance to die, right? There's literally a zero chance to die because even if we draw into the last burn and no block, we still block for five and we are only being hit for seven. So with this hand, we gamble for four. We literally can never die this turn. Uh, the real question is whether I would like to gamble for three, but that's 
probably stupid. Like, keeping the blind around just means that I maybe I can block next turn. But, uh, yeah, not really. I would like to, to kill next turn, please. But yeah, good, good stuff that we have not wasted the potion anywhere. Otherwise, I think it would be uh, very sad right now. And here, I'm going to strike deal more damage, and we just do that. We might still die next turn, by the way, yeah? We, we might still actually die next turn. Because that's how this fight is. But uh, we are dealing 23 here, so we need 16. 16 was possible hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we block for 10, and we are being hit for 13. Yeah, we die. If we, if we draw like that, we die next turn. So, how many hands can, can we die with next turn? Uh, this will be double defend only, not triple defend, and we don't have lethal. I'm a defend? What do you mean? I play every card in my hand here, I have 3 energy. And of course I have a mental strike. We are, we are full blocking here. Now, uh, spoiler alert, yeah, we are in that one win and we don't have the pyramid, so this defender doesn't stay in my hand. So how many hands do I die next turn? I can do the match before. And then not after. Uh, this is 9 choose 5. And in order to die, I need to draw 2 defense and not 3. And I don't have lethal. This thing is currently at uh, 18. Yeah? 18. So... Bash Anger is a kill. Bash Strike is a kill. Bash Iron Wave is not a kill. So if it's like Bash Iron Wave, Defend, Spot Weakness, Burn, and I also need to draw the Burn. I need to draw the Burn first, and I also need to miss Lethal. And I only need to draw two Defend. So one, this combination, any combination here is like fine, but I take this combination first. And then the other two cards needs to not give me Lethal, and not have this card. Which is... Um, one, two, three... Um, four. No, this kills. So yeah, one, two, three only. This blocks. Uh, four, five, six. Okay, six hands. The other thing is uh, what? The other thing is uh, one of these combinations. So there are two of them. But then I still need to not draw lethal. With the pass. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 here, but now I have an iron wave here. So this could also kill now. So the hand that fails would be bar spot weakness. One. Spot weakness with a strike also kills. Double strike will not kill, so two. So in total there are um, 10 hands next turn that, that fail to kill. And I also die. Um, 9 to choose 5. 9 choose 5 is like 9 choose 4, so 9, 8, 7, 6 over 1, 2, 3, 4, which is, um, uh, 2, 7, 14 times 9, 126. Yeah, 1 out of 120, no, 10 out of 120. Holy crap, that's so high. Oh, I would not expect it to be this high, but, uh, apparently we have, like, a... 8% chance to die next turn or what? Holy crap, that is way higher than I thought it would be. Like, looking, looking at this draw power. But yeah, there are 10 hands that we die and then... Uh, 126 only, combinations. Oh, that's scary, but... Nothing we can do now. Like, if we die, we die. <laughs> Wait, it only has 16. It doesn't even have 18. Okay, okay. Matt is wrong in the first place, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no big deal. No big deal. It's 16 only. It's not 18. And we kill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, false alarm. False alarm. <laughs> yeah, false alarm, guys. With um, 16, then 4 of those hands will kill. So it's actually only only like 6 hands. So 6 out of 1 out of 21 is like 5%. 5% is still way too close to, to for, for comfort though with like what we have into the fight we, even with the burner set up on the inferno and we fail to kill by that turn are you kidding me but I have a 5% chance to die there that's actually unbelievable right with two potions two potions burner set up and I still have a 5% chance to die at the end like what the hell was that <laughs> yeah never ever underestimate Exegos like no kidding
but uh, yeah, how much can you mitigate really? Like if if that is okay, like we that this deck with the burner set up eight two potions had a five percent chance to die there. Oh, that's crazy. That is fine. We 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 are VI. Uh, barricade plus yeah, it's green. Slightly better than usual with the incense burner, otherwise complete trash. So if we take the barricade, we just carry it around for I don't know when. Oh, more bank ceramic fish. I mean, this gives me less than 100 by choice. This is like 36 at the moment, but uh, this can be 200 right now. If it's 200, uh, we get probably two less relics because um, we farm one less in the act in the first place. And without the two box, maybe we're not strong enough to take the uh, the adventure event. So maybe minus two elites. And I think no, no, the the playing line in that fight was not uh, was not difficult. What? What what was the difficult in this act is just the preparations before the fight itself, because you you, you also see yeah if we wasted the game that rule at some point in this act apparently we would have just died on the nine times two turn, and then if our burner is not set up we die on the inferno. So uh, many many things even with all the preparation we we still <laughs> almost got on there, crazy. Uh, yeah, Exhum's worthless, Barricade's worthless, Limit Break's worthless, so uh, do we skip or what? Man, I hate skipping Red Card. I, I, re I really hate skipping the, the most reward Red Card, but uh, none of these actually help me in Act 2. Yeah, Barricade plus with the Incense Burner. Uh, how bad is it? Kind of a... Almost a champ solution, maybe. I zoom two box, I mean, not incredibly bad, but still, it is not something you really want, right? Because the... Right, sure, you, you sometimes you get Dark Cycle, sometimes you get like Dramatic Entrance, sometimes you get Discovery, but it's still, the Exhum still costs one energy up front, first of all. And, uh, yeah, sometimes you also don't get any cut exhaust, right? For example, you pick Hand of Greed, and then your Exhum just occurs. You pick the, the Panache or like the Blind or like the Swift Strike or Flash of Steel. Basically, you don't pick any Exhaust card unless then the Exhum is a curse. Later on, Exhum is very good. Is the power of Exhum later better than the Barricade? Try enough, actually, obviously good for later. The, the thing, that's a question though. The question we should ask though, is that when when is later? When is the first time that the Barricade actually plays? And then you compare it to the Exhum, because uh, it's not like you, you say that Barricade is very strong Act 4, it's not like Exhum is going to be bad in Act 4 or anything, you know. If Exhum is bad in Act 4, your deck is uh, probably a pretty strange one. Maybe, maybe it is Exhum. Maybe it is Exhum, because I don't really see Barricade like performing... Honestly, the earliest it can perform is probably the... Um... Ah, with the Ancient T-Set, with the Ancient T-Set, maybe it can play a little bit. We don't have Anchor, don't have Horn Cleat, don't have uh, Entrain, and Entrain needs to be plus for me to pick, even with Barricade in the deck. And I mean, if we see Impervious, then Exhum is also freaking Impervious, you know. Exhum often quite good? No, no, it always... I would say that I have not had a run where Exhum is not amazing in your deck in Act 4. That, that is what I would say. Exhum in Act 4, phenomenal card. Like, uh, if it doesn't play, then something has gone wrong. Are we strong enough for Act 2? I mean, I don't know. If we are not strong for Act 2, then maybe we should even pick things for later, you know? If we cannot farm the Act 2 edits. If you say that we can farm maximum elite, then maybe we should skip. Because skip, uh, taking one of these cards makes us weaker at the moment. But potentially stronger later. But if you say we can go like, ultra aggressive, take all elite, then we should skip this card. That is, if we are actually like incredibly strong right now, but fall off later. But not not strong enough to carry a curse around, is what I mean. Yeah, maybe can only play the boss is a champ, is the is a thing. Like automaton, hey, maybe it can play a little bit, but not really. The collector definitely does not play. And uh, but basically, if the barricade plays, like Zoom also plays. Because it means that we get some, some, some impervious or something. 
in the uh, in uh, during the act. I mean, we do go to some question marks here. Yeah? Like we have nothing to speak for fights, and we have five strikes with a ceramic fish. So by straight phenomenal, a completely insane. If we are taking bites, then uh, yeah, maybe we should also think about operations. If we go to question mark and exhume operations, how about that? Pretty good, right? That's not too bad. It's like uh, fifty percent of the time you see operations. Yeah, honestly, I'm pretty sold on the 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 carrying like a pseudo curse around with the the, the exhume. And we also get to an, um, a relatively early shop in Act 2 with a lot of gold. So maybe we can do something to make that Doom stronger. Basically, the, the amount of resources in we need to spend in order to make that Doom stronger is way less than the barricade. Like, yeah, like how, how? <laughs> what would you need to see in order for the barricade to be strong? Exum are so good, needed apparition so good by themselves with the incense burner. It cannot be that bad, right? Like more more intangible. Uh, it, it just basically if we if we see operation with exhum with a sense burner, a block engine for the entire run is so cannot cannot be that bad. <laughs> but it can be strong. If we too, yeah, yeah. If, uh, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Like with the uh, impervious, but it can be good. But then is the exhum bad? Yeah, you just have more impervious. Like it's just so bad. The uh, quickest way for the barricade to be better would be uh, yeah, P-Box with 9 cuts. But uh, that is exactly the same for the Exhum. Like we, we have Exhum in our deck and suddenly we P-Box 9 cuts, maybe we get an offering or something and then everything is good. Yeah, I take the, the Exhum here. I almost misfit the limit break. Oh really? 81 go guys. Oh, 81 gold, guys. And uh, the other card is uh, the, the other relic is uh, Kursky. Kursky is definitely better, in my opinion. So if we if we pick an energy relic, it's Kursky. End up being 9 attacks? Yeah, yeah. It does not. But I'm saying like the fastest way to make the barricade good is P-Box into uh, some, some nutty stuff. Uh, also, we have Frozen Egg. I mean, with Frozen Egg and the fish uh, and 9 base cards, I cannot say no, right? That fish works? Yes. It does, and it's uh, it's very power a very powerful combo. Now, if this rock bricks, <laughs> I see it right now. Yeah, if this box bricks, we are going to have a terrible time. Like, uh, because you, you also see our deck doesn't block, and our damage is high cost. So, if this box bricks and we cannot kill our enemies quickly, we, we fail to block and we take cheap damage and everything will fine. We no sustain, no force, and auto protection. But we are very rich. And surely that, that covers for every case. Okay, it doesn't, but... Uh... <sighs> okay, fine. I guess we have two juggernauts now. <laughs> but, uh... Whatever. Fear no pain first is fine. Fear no pain first is fine. And... Uh, I don't know what the hell these are, but... Uh, two burning pack with a fear no pain, maybe it's okay. Server so... Oh, oh, oh these, these are server so photos. Yeah, yeah, these, these are the, the, the server so photos, guys. Like, uh, these things are here, you think they are dealing damage, but it's not true. They're actually giving us block with your open. Not that much attack, that's good. No, 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 give me attacks, please. <laughs> oh, please give me, uh, please give me, like, Hemokinesis or some crap over this. But yeah, whatever, we, we play with what we have. <laughs> plus, plus 81 gold, so was that worth it? <laughs> We'll never know. Yeah, we'll just buy my fair hand, like no kidding. Uh if we want to go to early shop, we have to take force elite. Hmm. Elite with this deck. Uh, elite with this deck, yeah, interesting. Okay, uh, to 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 be fair though, to be fair. It's not like strikes are doing much in the elite. So yeah, sure you say that you draw to Juggernaut is worthless, but if you draw two strikes, that is like, so much better. <laughs> and yeah, we do get T-Set. Like, full T-Set value, in fact, if we go into this part. Elite number one, T-Set. Elite number two, also T-Set. Like, pretty, pretty sick, right? And uh, I really don't want to see the shop, like, after taking the advance away. That is terrible. 
if we, if we run into Advanced Hole in number one, we need to don't even know how much HP we are going to have in the by the time we get to the shop, and then there's Advanced Hole in number two. Oh, come on. Uh, modified Spirit is waiting room or what? Yeah. I would love to uh, convert this into like, a full heal and 10 max HP. Yeah, early shot, the only reason is just we run into burn early elite, but we can maybe brute force the fight with two potion and the two box. Oh, this fool give us some time to, to set up our powers, guys. Like, double jack or not, we are, we are, we are on the case. Uh, Mother's strategy is probably still better than the others, though. We did not get any additional debuff, so the streaming artifact here doesn't actually matter. Okay. Uh, I guess I still play this. You know, pain blocks for like 8 here. Uh, but it cost me 10 damage. If I don't play the Piano Pain, can we ever kill this? It's like 38. Uh, Burner is also Burner 3, 4, 5, 6. So it actually lines up with the second 11 times 2. Not playing Carnage, is that, is that ever a thing? Unfortunately, we also drew all of Exhausting here. Yeah? So Piano Pain doesn't, doesn't play so much. Um, maybe we can redraw into some of them though. The deck is like actually very small. Yeah, now that I think about it, maybe I don't even play Carnage and we just block this thing. Yeah, maybe we just block this thing. If we cannot kill him on, on turn 3 either way, then actually it makes sense to block. Oh, uh, can we kill? 38, 44. 44, we need to deal uh, 95, so it's 51 extra. 51, this is the 24, 27, impossible. Unless the uh, Infernal Red High rolls. Yeah, so actually I can I can see just formal strike right first, even toss the carnage away in, in some cases. Uh drawing struck this turn is not what I want to see. But uh we have both exhaust steel in the deck, so I can play the funeral pain. Turn three we get completely destroyed though, if I don't continue to draw here. So I can see, yeah yeah, exactly. Exo muscle strategy right now is a, a line I can Maybe see, but honestly, burning pack away something else is, is just better. Right? <laughs> if we play a burning pack right now, we draw one less card, but we keep the exhum in the deck. Exhum is blocking for eight when we we draw into it again. <laughs> it's actually a good card. And it's been some ultimate word best. Yeah, if you watch one fight. I mean, I mean, if you have watched the, the act one, then you cannot say that about this card, you know, like, uh, without this thing, we are probably, uh, I don't know, maybe we are dead in the first Lagavulin fight. <laughs> yeah, we, we are probably dead to burning Lagavulin with, uh, no cards in the deck. So, uh, I don't know, like, I don't know about suboptimal. Of course, if this fight doesn't fight, we, we have freaking uh, three energy, like, what do you expect? Do I want server soul in the redraw? Maybe I do. Server soul draw on this turn with some powers to exhaust is actually quite good. Exhaust whirlwind? Man, I really want to exhaust this smash actually, but uh, we don't have it. Uh, maybe maybe exhaust server soul because otherwise I can still get 8 more damage from this. Otherwise I need to play like double burning pipe. Or compass. Summer Soul is actually a good redraw. It is not that good. Okay, Fear No Pain Anger, yeah. We still have both exhausts in here. And I do one anger to multiply. I mean, at some point we need to do damage. Otherwise, uh... And then also, also multiplying anger gives us more, more burning pack targets. That's actually very good. Burning pack blocks for 4 now. Hello annoying dummy. Yeah, yeah, we block for 8 here. That's uh, actually quite nice. And play Juggernaut number 1. No, we just iron way to full block. I think I just play Juggernaut with the uh, Funeral Pain. It immediately deals 14 damage. It don't be so bad. And get out of the deck. Because next turn maybe we can redraw into some, some, some block here. Oh, we can draw pass one card. That's actually even better. Oh, look what Juggernaut goes, guys. Look what it goes. 
Uh, burning pack for quickness and then continue. Maybe burning pack even pop more strike because of the server so. Then server so can block this 12 and we block 16. <laughs> Juggernaut deck, yeah, yeah, like uh, one need or not, this thing forces it to Juggernaut. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, if I burning pack completely miss, and then I would like to play Formal Strike though. Oh, potentially minus four. Ah, probably just kill the, the Juggernaut. Oh, punish. Oh, heavy, heavily punish, yeah, minus four. Yeah, my problem, yeah, I'm from Vietnam. Oh, yeah, server so. We, we the kill no pain. And the Juggernaut, holy crap, look at that damage, guys. And we just kill this turn. Uh, burn on five for the next fight, perfect. Yeah, yeah, look at Juggernaut go. Like, uh, actually nailed what? One, two, three, four, five, six. 42 damage for two energy is better than Bastion, guys. But yeah, it, with the field of pain, it's actually okay. 50% potion chance. Um, damage, unless you want, like, more because of the field of pain, I don't know. With the spot winners, we have terminal pain, but no relic to actually play with it. Uh, yeah. Not interested. Drop kick, one vulnerable source, unupgraded. Not interested. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I see it, guys. I see it. We have small deck, we have burning pack, and now I pick drop kick. But yeah, no thanks. Uh, we skip, yeah. <laughs> I skip this, and then we see bear marbles here or something, and then drop kick is set. Well, we can get uh, more gold in exchange for shame. You you know what's nice about the shame? Do you do you know what's what's nice about the shame? Yeah, we do not care about frail. Yeah, we actually don't care about frail whatsoever because uh, our deck doesn't have block, <laughs> and the the field of it doesn't care about frail, and then uh, the shame is also a target for server so which gets blocked with the field of it. Uh, real talk though, like it does give us 9 goals, so the curse doesn't actually matter too much yeah. so it's not much worse than the injury. Care about my 1 draw? Yeah, I also care about my uh, 83 gold here, right before the shop. You see, we take this uh, we, we take this 85 gold for the relic and suddenly we don't have enough gold for the red relic. Like all the red relics in the shop right now are suddenly gone. I don't actually hate it, like taking the shame here. It's just an injury, and we already have a server soul in our deck. In the champ fight, the, the fight is long enough that we had double burning effect server soul, it's just gone. We take the curse. Just because it's like one floor before the shop, and now go is exactly at the, at the bad amount. If the, the if we get like 20 more go, I definitely take the, I definitely pay him here. But yeah, we, we, if we have 20 more go here, I definitely pay the, the, the backer. But here we can drop. What kind of curse feedbox? <laughs> well, I mean, you, you can look at our deck. <laughs> so apparently, uh, Zuck will not took what I said in like one person only. And uh, it is here to to uh, show its power. But I mean, you can also see, right? The the, the Exum immediately can perform like way better than the, the Barricade. It's not even close. With what we have in the deck right now. Yeah, what the hell would Barricade do in here? It's a server soul target. But like Zoom actually can gain block. Oh, that is interesting. Oh, that's actually that's actually very interesting. But of course we still go to the shop. Um No long this means that AD is no longer forced. I embrace plus. <laughs> yeah, it changed for the baby kid. <laughs> it changed for a baby kid, guys. Amazing. Uh, Ori Kauka? Good. Uh, yeah, kind of good. Also, safe uh, against cheap with the intense burner. Waffle here is healing 25. <coughs> <laughs> Oracle comes up not free damage, you're free. Uh so remove is good. I don't even I don't even think I'm removing the shape is the is the crazy part. Ah 
that, that's probably still pretty right? Because I actually want to keep the server soul. If I remove a card, it's definitely the shame. But removing the shame is not even important. Yeah, removing shame is actually not even important. Because there are, there are totally things to buy here. Like Eternal Feather, not so bad. It's slightly... It's slightly anti synergy with the Dreamcatcher, but uh, it's still okay. Oracle comes excellent. This year's 25. Bandit up with the Exhum. And the Funeral Pin. Actually, a very strong card. Uh, Dark Embrace Plus. Well, really, Dark Embrace Plus is amazing because the. Uh, I mean. I don't even know, like, does it make a Swicker right now? I don't even know whether that's true or not. Later on, it definitely is, like, insane with, with this deck already. One seeing red, one but letting, and then suddenly Dark Embrace is already playing. Because we get into the, the loop of Dark Embrace, Funeral Pain, Burning Pack, Anger, like, way faster. Reboot on Chuggernaut? Like, why though? Oh, really? Like, why? If we have nothing else to do in the shop, then sure. But uh, there are things to do in the shop. Okay, so what is stronger between Auric Calcum and uh, the Waffle? Do we need enough to, to upgrade as anything? Ammon's upgrade doesn't actually matter so much. Exum upgrade is actually very strong if we take the Diamond Brace. So, maybe I do that. But if I upgrade, it's always positive enough. Okay, so we do have upgrades, which... Um... Which means that these values don't go down that much if we are not full HP. But we can also just buy the Blood Potion. Potion Chain is 50, but Blood Potion can always be used here. That Brace, I think we always buy. Uh, that Brace is like 79 gold. 79 gold. I am also very much looking at this Bandit Shop. I think Bandit Shop is insanely strong here. With the uh, Dark Brace here, no pain, and the Exo. So, this is what, 98? 98 plus 79. 98 plus 79, um, 177. So, we have um, 220, 232. Oh, 232 is exactly enough to do like one relic and a remove. Or we can also just buy the potion. Heaven without Frozen Eye, a little bit weird. But Heaven is honestly not bad. What? Wait, 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 wait. Is Heaven Anger Infinite? We, if we have, we, how many Dark Embrace do we need for that to be infinite? Like, two, right? Yeah, two is enough. Or, or does it run out? Or do we actually have to create angles? The loop is what? We play the Heaven on the Anger and we drop both? Ah, actually, no, yeah, yeah. We, we lose energy because eventually our hand is full. It's, um, like, functionally infinite if we have any sort of strength or vulnerable, but it's it's not too infinite. So we need two down brace for that. So it's not, it's not quite there yet. Evo is still honestly pretty strong. It's a strong upgrade. It's actually an extremely strong upgrade in, in, in this deck. If he's too cocky, even if he's server so I don't really care. And after Pino Pain down brace is now, it's definitely positive. My operation with wing boost, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, wing boost is, I don't know what we are doing with this thing yet, but um, probably want to squeeze out some some edits. Okay, first thing first, I know that might so just just do that first. That's uh, extremely clear. And if I already take the line base, I also take this right. This, this is probably just better than the waffle, like. Uh, it's cheaper and it's functionally almost the same. If not better. Yeah, we take this. And yeah, now we can do... We, we cannot actually remove, but we can buy or recover or waffle. If I take the bandage already, I don't think I would take the, the, the waffle at all. So if we buy a red leg, it's probably our recover and then one potion. Uh, potion chance in the next fight is still 50%. So if I buy one potion, it's probably the blood potion. Or 15 HP. And we can also use the next fight. Even if it drops a potion. 
Oh. Oh man. Okay, I just realized something, guys. <laughs> we have bandage up and the two bow. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Like, uh, good thing that we don't have barricade, though. It's what I would say. Yeah, because you know what happens if we have barricade, right? <laughs> if we actually have barricade and maybe entrain our way to our skill, and we have the toolbox and the bandage up, yeah, you know what happened. Okay, elaborate. Yeah, yeah. The toolbox can give you like magnetism or discovery in order to generate infinite exhumed. And then you have the uh, bandage up, and you exhume the bandage up until you are full HP. You store forever with the barricade and then pull power like feel no pain. Dark Empress. And yeah, discovery minus is enough because we have armaments in the deck, so it's always discovery plus if we can store infinitely. Well, good news though, we don't have a barricade. So, uh, it probably doesn't happen. And I hope it doesn't. Uh, Orichalcum is just strong, right? So we take Orichalcum. And then... Yeah, Havoc on sale. We cannot afford Havoc and the potion, even with the fish. And, and you, you see, yeah, the, 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 the goal difference from the paying for the shame is uh, already coming in here. It gives us either the extra bandage up or the extra Orichalcum here. Whether that's worth it or not, I don't know. But uh, the go play. I just take the rat potion. Right? I just take the rat potion. Mainly because potion chance in here is 50. Oh, nice burner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could have 50% um, of the time. We run into the double tip here. Or the avocado and the burner on fire is perfect. Only one out of four that we run into this fight. Into the bird burner number doesn't matter. They, they don't really care about burner. But uh, unfortunately, we, we run into the one fight that burner on five is quite bad. This fight, however, we have you no pain plus, so we can probably set up burner before the elite fight. That's excellent. I definitely want it on five again. Uh, Fidesz with Orichalcum. <laughs> yeah, very a very sad story, but it's still on plus one card for turn one, and we have like freedom in this fight, so I will still take this. I would really like to draw into my diamond base or my piano queen quickly, so I don't even play the the carnage here. Uh, I burning pack away the combat right. Yeah, I am not playing combat here. And this blocks later, this blocks later, this is blocked, and we can play angle this turn. Okay, we are frail. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> okay, maybe care a little bit with the with the strike, but probably don't care that much. Um so here I can play Inferno Blade immediately and get some damage in. Or I can armament exhum all the infernal bed to to make it a better redraw honestly after funeral pain diamond brace is in play spending one energy on this is honestly whatever upgrading infernal bed also makes the exhum better later yeah maybe i just upgrade the infernal blade yeah, maybe I just armament the Inferno Blade. Over armamenting the, the anger. And yeah, if I upgrade this and then play it. Okay, that's not very good. Really attack on turn 2, but we draw the, the Fear No Pain at least. So I believe this, um, Juggernaut will accidentally kill this thing. We block for 10 this turn, and you also see that the, the fail doesn't matter. Next turn, we might get a little bit on, but uh, this thing block for 4, this block for 4, we are no longer frail, so this block for 8. <coughs> and there's only a 40% um, chance that that is doing the uh, 31 next turn. <laughs> I kind of want to have more control over when I kill, though, because next fight is already the elite. And I cannot actually control this with the, the Juggernaut, so maybe I even just play Sport Weakness. And not even, yeah, not, not even the Bash. 
And I just exhaust this later. Oh, really? Oh, good thing though, that we can burning pack and uh, we can die embrace and burning pack away the juggernaut immediately. And we draw into this, it block for, 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 for. And we can draw into more days, maybe? Yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah, excellent, right? We block uh, already for... 1, 2, 3, 20, 28. So we only take 3 here, at most. If we draw into a day, then we take 0. Yeah, perfect. We actually full block. Now, Chosen certainly, Chosen certainly tried, guys, to screw us over, but uh, we had the counter. And now we can even exhum the bandage up if we if we want to. Uh, frail here, we don't really care. But I can draw first. <coughs> Definitely want to create more days, right? So I guess I do still want to play anger and burning pack away the shame. Shame actually kind of matters next turn. I can go. And next zoom now. This is just positive. They are drawing into the dice. It's just good. Uh, ideally, we also kill this over two turns, maybe. Waiting, waiting the full six is a little bit weird. Maybe it's okay to play war with. Hello, Mask Gang. Thank you for the good luck. Maybe it's okay to play war with. We redraw fast enough into the, the Exhum anyway. Yeah, like here we can just armament the Iron Wave, play double Iron Wave for Anger. And actually kill next turn with this though. Maybe sometimes we can. Sometimes we can. Thank you very much for the red zoo. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, is Juggernaut a kill? Like, if we Juggernaut and we exhum the bandage up, we are dealing 21 damage plus the angle. Yeah, it kills. Oh yeah, it's perfect, right? Now we can play Juggernaut because we, we want, actually want to kill this turn. I know what that. Yeah, easy fight. And unfortunately, we over massively overheal, and this fight also drop a potion, but sure. Oh, Blood for Blood. So if I pick any damage card in my deck, I would like it to be a Blood for Blood. Blood for Blood minus, though. <laughs> blood for Blood minus is that's good enough. We do have a Combust here, so it does get the cost that... Um, and we have Incense Burner, so it... Ah, Incense Burner would with the... the uh, with the Auric Calcum, though. The yeah, Auric can be choices. If we want to take one damage during the burner turn, we cannot. Okay, with a combust. Uh struck we definitely don't need. Like struck struck doesn't block nearly as much as the I, I mean it blocks more than the burning pack, but it doesn't do nearly as much uh, as these things. Because we also want to, to get the powers in play. <coughs> Black for Blood is uh, mostly for, for the chain fight. Maybe you can also say it's for, like, I don't know, my leader? Yeah, the leader is the, the only fight that might go long enough for the blood for blood to matter. Thank you very much uh, again for the... Give the sub to, to Sam. <laughs> Thank you very much, wherever you are. Slaver, Slaver is... Uh, the problem with Slaver is that we don't really get to redraw our blood for blood. Though. The fight lasts... Yeah, actual maybe at most we've played one time. But uh, if you draw it on turn 1, it's already bad. So you need to draw like combust first and then you draw it on turn 2 or turn 3 and then it's like zero cost and it's okay. But slavers, if we run into them with like burn on turn 1, even block of blood on turn 2 is still, we are, it's still 4 cost. It's worthless. But it's true, like if there's one, one attack I would add into this deck, it's, it's the block of blood. And we can even upgrade immediately. Like, I was thinking we do an energy upgrade with like Exhum or maybe a Bandage upgrade. 
or maybe a draw upgrade with the burning pack but taking blood blood into upgrading that is completely fine too we already snapping any bloodletting yeah yeah what a freaking surprise guys and we good snapping a bloodletting in act 2 <laughs> but uh yeah again I'm, I'm, I'm honestly just a broken record at this point you know like uh, oh where's shockwave and where's bloodletting literally every run literally every run middle of act 2 where's my shockwave where's my bloodletting <laughs> But this is true. We uh, but this war is still good. It just guarantees that that this fight we don't really die in. Because otherwise our damage is the uh, our damage in that fight is actually juggernaut. Yeah. Our damage in the chain fight is right now is juggernaut, and that is not actually enough to kill through execute. So unless the burner also lines up, or we can block execute somehow, we are in a little bit of trouble. Like, I don't know how much you want to count on spot weakness, but after the Hexagos fight, I don't really want to depend my... my <laughs> I don't really want my, my life to be uh, dependent on the spot weakness alone. It's okay. Also, 9 go. Cannot be that bad, right? 9 go. Oh, not the 9 go, guys. I guess that is our upgrade. <laughs> We cannot say no to this. We have picking exhum. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, we we have picking exhum and an upgrade immediately. There's no way we say no to this. But uh, that is uh, yeah plus nine. Well, I guess our black one doesn't get upgraded now. Uh, I was lying apparently when I say that this is the only attack I want to add. Apparently, there's another, but it's right here. And this is the real attack. Yeah, I like the feet. The feet is not an attack. <laughs> but this is actually an attack. The wind deck yeah, always happens when you have a P buff, and P buff is not like uh, extremely clear direction or something. <laughs> and yeah, we have wind dagger immediately, like with uh, exhum, that's like pretty clear, right? And we have wind dagger before the buff or buff. We are still healthy with three potion and the burner setup, and the T set. Oh, these fools, guys! I did these freaking fools. Ah, uh, okay, this guy's smart. Oh, these guys are... The, the two other guys are stupid, but this guy is smart. He realized that he cannot deal damage on turn 1, so he weakened us. That's slightly annoying. Now, technically speaking, with Magnetism, we are 4 HP. And we had 3... Maybe... Probably 3 dagger props is too, too optimistic. But we can do 2 dagger props. And we do have 5 energy on turn 1. So the, the value of Magnetism also goes up a little bit. <coughs> or we can just take a wood card. The, the other two cards are also just good. Now Chaco doesn't play this turn, but uh, we can exhum it later, maybe. Or uh, thinking ahead, uh, set up maybe lethal next turn if we draw too much energy to use. Because you have 5 energy, you can use them all, even on turn 1. If we get the thinking ahead, maybe you can also dig for the whirlwind sometimes. Yeah, I think I probably just take the thinking ahead over the Chaco. Well, we can play two Jack or not, see if that's what we like to do. Combo first, yeah. Um, what do we do about this potion? <coughs> Honestly, I would probably just open the show paper. This potion I want to keep. Okay. And I don't mind using it immediately. I don't actually mind using this immediately at all. Yeah, exactly for this. And we just uh, hit them all, right? 32 AOE. <laughs> and thinking, hey, maybe serve or so to guarantee lethal hit. Hand has a uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So thinking, hey, can be played. Wait, hand has 10. <laughs> yeah, little cannot count. I count 9 because I ignored this. Like, what the hell? Uh, okay, it's fine. We, we can anger this first. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we can anger this first. And then thinking ahead. Buffo Bud doesn't play at all. This is uh, 32, so this is one off. And Orichalcum means that I don't actually want the Iron Wave. So yeah, probably Serbo so on top. Uh, maybe Iron Wave on top is fine because then I have energy to play some other things. I lose uh, 1 HP, but 1 is not. Inferno Blade on top gives us the chance to generate a freaking clash. 
So four percent chance that we 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 low roll if we put the infernal blade on top. But we need infernal blade to generate a clash, and we also need to fail to draw every other attack. Why don't I just put burning pack on top because I want to to deck the plus this guy next turn anyway. I think that's better, like the, the burning pack. Yeah, T Sen's pretty huge. Yeah. You said the uh, T Sen actually coming in like super hot. Okay. Well, I guess we kill two of them then, and no, no dark embrace. <coughs> uh, we can exhum deck later. Or recover from full blocks. So now it gets a little bit uh, weird. But um, well, next time we are not weakened, there goes 20 already, so it's actually pretty pretty easy, right? We just play one power, not the combat. Yeah, feel no pain. Feel no pain, bash, and then next turn we just uh, exhume the dagger, kill instantly. And we get two dagger props in this... Um, we get two dagger props in this fight, and in sense burner sets to three. <coughs> um, three on the burner is not the worst for both stopping. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. For the Gwen leader, is a lot more... It, it, it's awkward if it's on 3. 4 is way better for, for the leader, basically. Because you can completely ignore minions on turn 1 and then she always attacks turn 2. But I mean, getting double dagger prop, uh, we don't say no to that, right? Yeah, we don't actually say no to that. And that is the, the only card we play that uh, don't actually do such HP here. Then for book, we are like how? Like, do you not want to to play your dagger plus here? I don't know about you, but that seems pretty insane to me. Oh, minus two. Okay, minus one, minus one, minus one. Not minus two, minus one. One is not, guys. Like, no problem. Fracture plus with the combat and the blood for blood. Now that we have reached your dagger and the blood for blood already, I don't ever see that why we would pick this. What the hell? <laughs> I was even considering Havoc Minus. Now it's plus, but we also have uh, a card that we don't really want to have. Oh. It's good, right? The, the Havoc Plus. Oh, really? It's really good, right? The, there's only one bad target, really. It doesn't reach your dagger. And it's not even terrible if the, the dagger is big enough. Yeah, how, how bad is Havoc Plus anyway? With the deck with the Dark Brace Plus and Fear No Pain Plus. <laughs> and 3 energy. I know really, how bad is this? And it's 9 gold. Uh, everything, everything needs to be accompanied with uh, and it's 9 gold. Like, look at this. Ceramic Fish on an 80 already. And it is also, it's only going up from here. Uh, upgrade now. Blood for Blood. Maybe Vanish. But probably Blood for Blood. Yeah, probably buff for blood. Buff for blood also allow us to because we don't have burn on turn two of the book fight. So immediately buff for blood can be zero cost. <coughs> but that's pretty strong. But yeah, shop was the, the shop was actually like pretty sick. Uh and the ritual dagger. Yeah, shop into ritual dagger with this and then exhum like mega rewarded. Like, holy crap, imagine if this exhum is the freaking berry kit. Yeah, big picking a blind exhum actually ends up like being mega rewarded like with this. Uh, but yeah, upgrade the uh, buff for button. Yeah. I mean, you can can say maybe upgrade armament, but uh, not really. I don't really care about like most of the these upgrades except maybe burning pack and the exhum. Uh, maybe it's still okay, but with the Auric Alchem, there are there are also times I don't even want to play this armament. Yeah, probably not. I mean, I still upgrade it later if I have nothing else, but uh, for now, not really. Oh, man. Did they really spend go on the bandit shop? <coughs> oh, really? <laughs> uh, are we picking key in middle of the board middle of act 2 or what? Or what is going on here? <laughs> no, really? Like, are, we actually, are we actually keying a middle of the board middle of act 2 with 3 energy? <laughs> get Daigo, it's true, it's true. I did get Daigo for my game. Now I mean, take the key and get the next relic. Yes, next relic. 
Man, me and the mode is still so good, right? With with uh, these fights coming up, like, this is already advanced so way. Burners not set up properly for this, and then slippers rematch, and then we don't have burners set up, and then what? Like we we die or what? And Kursky is already seen, yeah. So the uh, the the Kursky argument is not even a thing, and we even have wing boots. So the the path being cringe uh, for whatever reason doesn't matter. Yeah, there, there's no way, not even any reason for the path to be cringe. We are Kursky. My first agent the hard win on silent yesterday. Kikunai thought really had an act to somewhat honestly but by yeah, sometimes it happens, but yeah. Congratulations on the uh, on meeting agent hard on silent. But I mean taking blood by on act two it also means that you don't maybe you don't die in act two and then you are strong enough anyway. So it's a it's a difficult thing to evaluate. Man, I really want to go back to the show and refund this thing. I mean, it has been really good. So, so far, so far, this thing has been uh, amazing, but uh, we no longer need it. So, uh, we can, can go back to refund or what? <laughs> but yeah, I still take this. Like, King, King, this uh, right before going into this path is it probably... I mean, if, if we never use a bit in here already, then are we uh, not already winning this run? So, uh, let's just take for the low roll. Let's just prepare for the low roll. Yeah, the book. Uh, again, we have 5 energy on turn 1, yeah? and it doesn't hit us with the, the bad pattern. So, we can discount the um, buff for butter immediately. Enlightenment. Oh, enlightenment. Oh, enlightenment. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Potentially giving 7 energy. We do have 5 on turn 1 already. Uh, Panas doesn't matter, so it's only between enlightenment or magnetism. <coughs> this thing gives a lot of energy, this thing consumes a lot of energy. <coughs> but colorless cards with the uh, magnetism is also playing better with the, the Funeral Queen Diamond Brace. And third one, we don't need to block in the first place. I do want to finish this fight as soon as possible though, so I draw Jagonauts on turn 1, I play the Jagonauts. 25 gold. No, no, no. We're definitely getting dagger. Like, uh, I, I don't care about head of greed. We are definitely getting dagger every fight here. Yeah, but we take enlightenment. Well, uh, mega punish or what? <laughs> I mean, enlightenment doesn't do anything here. <coughs> but uh, we can go win for four. That's not very. That's honestly not a very good idea. I think I just burning fact. Uh, and what do I burning fact away? <laughs> the, the enlightenment or what? Probably not. Because if I burning fact into a, a two cost and enlightenment place immediately. Definitely not a whirlwind. Whirlwind is our energy dump. So... The armament? I can, I can see it. The burning fact away the armament. Because this is a good redraw after that embrace can open this down. Okay, it gives one energy. Not so bad. This is also a very good redraw after Funeral Queen Dragon Brace is down, so I don't even know whether I should play it for, for one on HP or not. <coughs> Maybe I just play Inferno Blade immediately, like, why would I not? Ah, yeah, yeah, because of this. It deals more damage later, right? It deals more damage later. That's true. And uh, if it breaks this turn, like, the, the Iron Wave is a complete brick. The class is a complete brick, and the whirlwind is a complete brick. So it's just only three attacks out of uh, I don't know, like twenty. No, no, it's like uh, thirty-two or something. Don't remember the exact number, but it's somewhere around thirty attacks. That's already one out of ten, and it's not even a guarantee it rolls more than whirlwind. But yeah, I definitely don't play the bandage up here, yeah. My potentially minus one, but one is not. And it's a much better redraw. Yeah, Havoc. How, how bad is Havoc? Right, right now. Um, Even if he's a dagger, we still have Exhum for, for it. Yeah, how bad is Havoc? Just play it. Oh, now what? Next up we have Incense Burner. 
maximum if we maximum block this turn and just do anger carnage iron wave this turn uh, this thing is down to what we take another eight but uh, eight is fine this is zero cost and then we can maybe kill with this now maybe we should just play it for for one the 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 manage up yeah, we, uh, I guess there there is a chance though. If we yeah, if if I play bash on turn, if I have bash on turn one, yeah. But this turn, let's say I draw like a, a lot of powers and no damage, and then this thing can, we cannot kill this this next cycle. With this draw, we definitely kill it this cycle. So the bandage out is just minus one HP, but uh, could be different. When the bone, no, no, we are we are probably not taking much more after this. Yeah, yeah, one is not, one is not. We have been in the bone, we have managed up, we have burning blood. Like, one is probably not. But I don't see a reason to, to not block this fight. Because I burn the next turn. One more blood first, double dagger is already killing, yeah? Right, I don't want this. We don't have enough energy to double dagger right now, though. So, next turn, can we break? Uh, yes. Hmm. Hmm. Next time we can actually break if I don't draw one. If I draw one right here, this exactly exhum. Then I guess next time we can do we, we can exhum dagger right away, draw one more, and then next time we serve a soul away four cards and draw four. Okay, it's not exhum, so we have guarantee lethal next turn with uh, exhum into dagger. And no need to play this combat. And again, yeah, the shame doesn't do anything. The only reason to play this combat is to redraw into the uh, bandage up, maybe. And that's definitely not worth the, the 1 HP. Uh, there's no, no, no more thing I can do here, right? To draw. Oh, uh, reach your dagger. Very marbles. Uh, well, that's quite strong. That's very strong with the um, ritual dagger with the T set and toolbox, and also give us a uh, secret weapon sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I believe we do the compass. Battle trends. Uh, yeah, not quite blood that thing, but I take it. I still the first battle trends. After that embrace is a little bit annoying, but um, yeah, if after that embrace, we had that embrace in play already, and we we don't, don't actually care that much. And yeah, of course, we, we go uh, more leads. And we are extremely healthy with the meal and the bone. And taking fight also makes the deck a big work. And uh, we probably preserve all three wing boot charts because right here we cannot even get more leads anyway with the wing boot. Ready to come from? Some of a uh, prop. But yeah, the, um, the the question mark right here, right before the shop. Apotheosis, that's pretty useless. Hundred percent answer that on buy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Apotheosis doesn't actually do anything, right? In fact, it is quite bad. Yeah, it, it makes the several cost upgrades, but uh, this thing apparently does not care. Apotheosis later would be good. Apotheosis now a little bit cringe. Probably deep breath. This elite actually, yeah, yeah, it can. We have complete freedom in actually here. No, no blue key in it, and we have all three wing boot charge. Probably breath over blind man. Blind blocks maximum five damage next turn if it's his for for eighteen. And yes, we have exhum. That's why I just dagger right away. <coughs> It would actually buff for five. <coughs> if I serve a soul right now, there's a chance that the, the we draw to exhum and then I don't get to dagger. 
But uh, otherwise, I'm taking. I mean, I'm taking tail regardless, unless it's drawn to like zero cost block. What would be zero cost block? Uh, yeah, only this. I'm probably still okay. It's this zero cost, but uh, Nego is one cost, unfortunately. I mean, we can still do it to, to draw one. And next time, maybe you can. We, we want to store anyway, right? For the burn on five for this fight. I mean, this is definitely play immediately on, on the dagger. Okay, it's one. So we take 12. Um, We can kill it right now. I would not like to. If that is the case, then it's just Fear No Pain Bash. We take uh, another 8. Uh, that's definitely worth because the, the dagger is in the redraw field. And we also advance this thing. And I can play this just to guarantee. Uh, no, no, guaranteeing is, is not guaranteed. If anything is back, it's worse. I always have little next turn with buffle, but no matter what. And if I play the bash here, I cannot play formal strike. <laughs> yeah, the bone with Orichalcum is not that easy to, to set up in this fight. And burner is more important anyway into the, the elite here. I think they cost three. Are you kidding me? I mean, this cost zero though, so we can always kill. But uh, three, 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 three. So we need this to to roll one, and we also need to draw into it right now. I mean, we still play it though. I mean, we can delay one turn and take two damage, but then burner is completely messed up for this. I don't think we wait. I think we just kill right now. So no dagger in here because I played the server so unfortunately. I mean if I did not play the server so then burner is on four. Uh, I see it's not that bad. Not that bad. Missing one dagger prop. Italicized plus. <coughs> with the Oricalcum and with the double juggernaut guys. Like amazing. <coughs> amazing stuff. Probably not right. Pomo strike. Also can be upgraded, but we are so stuffed for energy already, and we have two burning packs and a battle trends. Probably a skip. Metal is only for the the champ fight. If you think that we actually have problems there with uh, blocking, I mean I hope not, but uh, maybe we do. Probably not true. And it doesn't it doesn't actually play here. It mm, is slightly better than usual to the, the metallic size because um it lets us store better for both the burner and the decker, basically. But uh yeah. Probably not for, for these elite fights. Like it's good for whole way fights. We were taking only two elites here and then the boss. In act three hallways. It's positive enough. I create this once again, it falls off. And actually, boss is good. Unless it's Awakened One. Awakened One with no weakness uh, is not neutral. With weakness, it's probably fine. But we, we don't actually have any weakness application. We don't have uh, this arm. We don't have strength reset. Yeah, not really. The, um, be before I draw into Metallic Size, I would draw, like to draw into like Funeral Pain Dragon Priest. Attack? Uh, no attack on turn 1. That's dangerous. And yeah, that's actually dangerous. Uh, Flash of Steel, Secret Weapon, Panacea. <coughs> Panacea is for the battle trends mainly, but the uh, shame can also eat it up. Don't think it's Panacea. So is Secret Technique for something like battle trends better than Flash of Steel? Probably is. Probably is because we're we'll gonna turn one to kill them all with a bear marble is still maybe something I would like to do. Oh, it's already here. Interesting. I get the economic scare spot weakness. If I fail to draw into any attack, I can maybe get the havoc or the um or the uh, 
Or wait, is it even open? Strongest common relic on average? Insect? Mm, yeah, if you get it early in the run, definitely insect. Like, uh, before middle of act 2, really. In, in act 1, before middle of act 2, strongest common relic most likely is the piece of insect. Afterwards is uh, hard to say because it depends a lot on on your deck. Like sometimes it's out of war, sometimes it's uh, a lot of time it's mega prep. Mega prep is insane. <laughs> so if, if you are if you are talking about the entire run, then maybe I would say mega prep is slightly stronger than the insect. But um, just the beginning of the run, the insect is better. And then of course uh, there are some good ones, the like mega marbles, maybe the. Um, Red Skull for the Ironclad is insane. And... Wait, what else? Like this bullet time, yeah, yeah. This deck needs uh, a bunch of things. What would this into going for 1,000 kills? So I don't actually want to burning pack. Oh, my potion bell is uh, the reverse. Yeah, yeah, potion bell is the, the reverse insect. <laughs> the later you get it in the run, the better. Because early game it doesn't actually provide you any value and then uh, you end up using more potions in elite fights anyway because you are weaker. But of course potion bell, if you enter act 4 with a full potion bell, usually you don't lose. Uh, unless your deck is like uh, completely awful or something. All the potions are completely awful but uh, both don't really happen very often. I did actually not draw any attack. Hmm. Okay, so do we want to bet on the Havoc or do we want to play the, the Inferno Blade here? We already have 3 energy worth of cards in our hand, yeah? Combat Spot Goodness and Feel No Pain. We don't draw a single attack on turn 1 with, with this thing. If I get the Inferno Blade, like what, are, what am I giving up? Um, assuming... Yeah, probably not Feel No Pain. Oh, we not feel no pain, like Silver Soul is still in here, Exhum is still in here, and Exhum uh... And now, now I cannot even game this brute, yeah? Skill potion next turn, if she attacks this, like how much? This thing attacks for 10, she attacks for 33, so I'm being hit for... Uh, 43. 43, or Recalcum block 6. Uh, 37, yeah, no problem. 37, we are on 13 HP, losing 1 HP with a combat, so it's like 11 over two turns and then we have been in the board so actually no problem <laughs> not playing combust in this fight extremely weird because we, we have failed our shot of doing uh deck or zoom deck and just instantly killing this <laughs> hello frankly uh up time um two hours uh, 45 minutes Oh, did this draw is actually so bad when, when she doesn't attack on turn 1. Like, it's incredibly awful. Inferno, yeah, yeah. Inferno Blade is my, my, my first line of thought. But then, what do you give up? And then Inferno Blade can still break sometimes. I get if I get the Inferno Blade, I am not playing Feel No Pain. Right? Because the, the half up, uh, if it hits something like Jack or not, it also doesn't really do anything. I mean, it hits a little bit of damage here, a little bit of damage there, but it doesn't kill. Yeah, thank you for the good luck, dude. Even worst case scenario, we cannot kill and we cannot block next turn, we still don't really die. And of course, we have the, the skill potion. Oh, the, the... Yeah, really, now, this thing, we don't draw a single damage card on turn 1. <laughs> really? Okay, how important is the spot weakness? Maybe it's not important at all. If, if the spawn is actually not important, then... If I'm double shock or not, yes. <laughs> like, our P-Box is started uh, from here. Server so all the way until here. So these are the 9 cards. If I know better than Fear No Pain, I would like to block a little bit next turn, though. If Especially if the Fear No Pain... I guess that we can open Infernal Blade first and see. But she still has a 50% chance to attack even if this thing dies turn 1. And yeah, no, really, like, how important is the, the, the spawn weakness anyway? We have combat in place, so this thing is zero cost. 
And then Fear of Pain in play also makes the Juggernaut like a lot stronger. Do we skip on her attack? Probably yes, but we are also fail, yeah? So this time the fail can actually hurt us. By a solar, yeah, yeah, exactly. I skip on Juggernaut plus on turn one while trust talking it, and then uh this is the, the spire's response. <laughs> yeah, I saw Juggernaut plus on in, in deck one. I skip it and then uh this happened. So uh, yeah, karma guys. But sure, I guess we can get the, the Inferno Blade. And this is not that important. Okay, this kills. That's good enough. I can play it now to exhum it next turn to block for, for 8. Uh, yeah, sure. I don't mind. And Diamond Brace is in here, so exhum I also want to play immediately. We can technically exhum for secret technique, but uh, technique can stop in here is not that strong. I guess have always okay. I do can play immediately. No, no need to wait for the second redraw. And then do we kill Wizard? No way, right? If she she attacks next turn, this thing dies on turn three either way. She really attacks. And we really did not draw any any exhaust to go with a funeral pain. Are you kidding me? So uh yeah, big 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 hit coming our way guys. Uh, pretty huge. And uh do not forget yeah, this thing still needs to die next turn. But I can see opening the skill pot. Uh on the armaments. And then yeah, this is exactly why I'm I'm, I'm saying like me on the bone, right? Like if we never use the meat on the bone here, then run is probably fine. So we just take the meat on the bone in case it plays. It plays even once, that's already worth it. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Our skill comes up with it, so Impervious is blocking 30. So we full block. Okay, not quite Impervious, but honestly, not even so bad. It's actually potentially even better. Oh, that is very good, uh, this offering. Uh, we upgrade that, right? Yeah, we, we upgrade that, and we just uh, play the offering plus. Offering discount this immediately too. We can exhume the offering. Uh, and that is exactly what I would do, yes. And then we server so away all of these and just full block. Oh easy guys. I mean I can also exhume the, the bandage up, but uh I'll be exhuming bandage up is better. We still block 1, 2, and then 3, 4, 16 only, 23. But maybe we draw into Havoc and block for a little bit more. Maybe we draw into the Carnage. If I take the offering again, yeah, we lose another 6, so we go to 41, 41 is 40, and then maybe combat for 3 more turns. So actually, this boost is on, on mid to the boat range. So I'm not sure a lot of damage, yeah, yeah, but I can also deal damage with like zero cost but for but, you know, and just exhaust the, 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 all the, the crit juggernaut without playing two energy on that. Yeah, for example, I just bash her and then do this. So zero. That was okay, not, uh, the, the havoc cannot go wrong here. No, wizard is dead, and then now we full block. Easy. Yeah, it's actually easy full block. Uh, but now we need to, to wait for the this thing to, to... We have no other self damage, so we actually need to wait for a few turns. We want burn on 5 anyway, yeah? So when we go down to... Who is minus 1, 3 is minus 2... Ah, uh, 5 is minus 4, but it's end of the turn. So if we want to kill with dagger, we are exactly at like 38 or what? Oh, that's pretty annoying. Hmm. Yeah, that's actually pretty annoying. Okay, whatever. We can we can even rest with Dreamcatcher. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, apparently I need like one, one more self damage. Uh, maybe she resummons or, or something. Play this. Whatever. I uh, don't actually want to play Anger. Oh, 
Oh, she did me something. Right. Good for us. We already have a kill uh, at any point in time, yeah? We would like to. So it doesn't... Just need to be careful not to let Combust accidentally kill her. Dagger 30 damage with the Combust is already killing. Blood for Blood 22... So plus one attack always kills. Okay, so we, we don't actually need to pass. In case we need to play the, the Whirlwind for one energy or something on the minions. I mean, if I had to kill on Windburn on 3, I would also do it. Okay, okay. Can, we, can, we, can we do something here? If we let this thing hit us, we take uh, 4 damage, right? It's perfect. We just kill the Fat Gremlin and leave this thing alive. Uh, if she attacks next turn, we are forced to kill though, so Burner's on 4, which is not very good for Slavers or the boost or the boost stabbing because of Blood for Blood. 3 is better for boost stabbing, 5 is definitely better for Slavers, but we have uh, better marbles and the 2 buff. And the uh, he said energy, so maybe Slave will just die turn one anyway. Yeah, let's just kill Fat Gremlin and then get the um, the dagger next one. Ever on Iron Wave, no matter what it hits, we don't care. Um, it blocks for nine though. It blocks for nine. So we take one damage only. We take two damage. Actually, that's perfect. We have to kill next turn. Uh, unfortunately, it reshuffles. Yeah, it reshuffles. So redrawing into dagger is uh, not so easy. Yeah, playing havoc shuffles immediately, and we have uh, one of six here. We draw into the burning pack. Maybe we can draw. Maybe we draw into the. Almost strike right. plus we can actually hit the Fatal Minion again. Struck can also... Ah, no, 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 no. If we play any of these, we full block. It's, it's only the Pomo Strike or the Battle Trends. Like, Burning Pack we cannot play because we full block. Struck we cannot play because we full block. Server Soul also full blocks. Not Havoc in here... Does it ever give a sense to break next turn? I mean, with this potion, never, but... Uh... Yeah, yeah, it's still better to not attack. It's still better to just not attack you. Yeah, and then we just take this fall. He did attack, so I mean, we draw deck. We had to kill here, so we kill. Do we have to kill? Yeah, we do. We don't exhaust enough to, to block 48 now. So we just kill him. Yeah, we're the bone, plus 12. Oh, is that the bloodletting? Oh, really? Is that the bloodletting, guys? Oh, what is this card? Does it really say bloodletting on it? <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. I take that. Okay, so now the, the burning pack upgrade actually becomes more appealing with the bloodletting in our deck. Uh, and of course, we are very healthy enough. We definitely don't need to rest with the dream catcher. Looking up, I mean, it's already looking up after the first edit fight. After we, we go into this shop, we bought, uh, we spent all our gold, yeah? We could spend all our gold and then we go into this fight with zero damage taken and like two dagger props. Like, we already know that um, this act is probably not a problem. The dangerous part of this act was just at the beginning before we see the shop, like the, the uncertainty. But uh, good events, no forgotten outer. Right, the uh, wing boost right now doesn't play and we get a curse so this event actually makes us worse but doesn't really matter because this is ritual dagger and it's insane elite fight goes well we have sustained shop is good and then yeah now it's definitely we, we are slightly above curve okay maybe not slightly we are very above curve you can still die but um, extremely promising dagger is how much already it's like 35 right yeah it's 35 I upgrade my uh, burning pack. Huh? <laughs> yeah, finally, the energy to play juggle. No, it's not even a, a, a cap. Uh, maybe it's true. Do I upgrade my burning pack or do I upgrade finally upgrade my freaking armaments now? Because I have uh, battle trends. So I can battle trends into the bloodletting or something in the armaments. Also, upgrade everything. Do I finally upgrade this freaking armaments? It's, it's fine, it is better than before. Like, in Act 1, the situation when we, we had the armament was like very cringe to upgrade. And then, early Act 2, it was also not that good because Burning Hair upgrade doesn't play with our energy. But now we have energy. 
Yeah, I'm a man. I, I can see. I can see a moment now. I was burning back up with on three energy. No, no, with blood, I think we are no longer on three energy. That is exactly why I also see the upwitting the armaments gets better. Because otherwise, uh, exact, exactly like that. Before that, yeah, we draw armaments and some burning pack. We upgrade the burning pack and then what? We cannot play this. Because we don't have energy to do anything else. But do not forget, our deck is, uh, our deck exhaust down not too slowly. And then we get into the loop of like maybe bloodletting some, some burning pack. We are infinite as long as our HP allows. Sure. Yeah, Burner is not set up, but uh, Secret Technique. Yeah, Secret Technique is definitely better than, than the other two. I don't really care at all about the Apotheosis. <coughs> this guy, once again, we can just turn one. We can use this, or we don't need to. Oh, they are, they, they are dead, guys. They are, they are so done for. <laughs> dagger number one, Exhum Dagger, Dagger number two, and uh, they die. Yeah, Bear of Marble is definitely coming in hot. And again, two dagger prof. Like, absolutely amazing, amazing outcome. Uh, we can even choose to kill the Taskmaster and leave this guy alone, but I see no reason to actually do that because it, this guy can attack for 13 like, re relatively early on. We can burn impact first to, for a few no pain, maybe? If we never play the Juggle, no? Probably burn impact as a shame is slightly better. I can see that. Absolutely, we we save one HP here, like plus one. Remember, Exum Awaken, which are things better now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It rewarded imme almost immediately. Or honestly, it rewarded almost immediately. The moment we click the key box and we get into this crap, like Barricade is already extremely sad. After after Dagger is, is way better. I was talking about operations, I didn't even think about Dagger, but Dagger was also a major, should have also been a major consideration. Because if you are talking about both Dagger and the Apparition, then suddenly the chance you get one of them is like 30%. It's not even 15 anymore. Okay, it's not exactly 30, but it is somewhere around that. And 30% already the Exum like, plays immediately Act 2. The American earliest again plays early end of Act 2. And uh, only against the champ. And the situations where American is good, but Exum like, is not, is very rare. Because there are any impervious that makes the, the barricade good also makes the exhum very good. But, but we we went over that. But ritual dagger was something I actually did not consider and uh, it, it ends up being like a major thing. But yeah, plus one. Uh, we need two energy for this so Juggernaut does not get played. I uh, don't really care. Can I open this first? <laughs> oh really? I, I mean I don't need this but sure. <laughs> uh, what is the burner number one to be on? Uh, not on two, not 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 on an even number. Basically, we just take it on uh, in in an odd number, like three or five. Okay, one one is okay too. How fast is our damage? Not that fast, right? If it's not that fast, then maybe we try to aim for like maybe turn seven. No, maybe turn eleven. Uh, it's not that slow, right? We are not that fast, but we're not that slow. Because once we exhaust down to yeah now we have bloodletting so so once we exhaust down to like the the burning pack loop bloodletting we just blood for blood it over and over and over and it dies in one turn. In fact we, we in, in fact we probably want to even kill it on the burner turn. <laughs> because of six more HP we just lose one HP per bloodletting play. Yeah, um, so if we set it on three, um. Set on three, then it goes to like turn uh, turn nine. We would say we want to go in on turn seven, so ideally it's on five. Not very easy to, to do it on five though. Yeah, definitely not very easy to do it on five here because we also draw into some some wounds or we risk taking more damage next turn. But uh, yeah, I can try. I mean, I mean five is probably the ideal. If not, I can take it on one. One one is okay. Artifact potion is technically draw pot. No, no, we have the. Uh, and unfortunately, we have a uh, <laughs> discraft. Not in this fight, but but we we do have this. So it doesn't always uh, give us the the battle trans block. 
Yeah, so I guess I still kill this and uh, leave the Taskmaster. Why, Exum is... Oh, what the hell am I doing? Okay, fine, 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 it's fine. We draw into this later. But what, what the hell am I doing, guys? I just play Inferno Blade for one energy because I was thinking my Exum is zero cost. Apparently, it's not. <laughs> it, it's fine, it's fine. We draw into the Exum later, but uh, that, that was bad. Oh, that was actually a pretty... I, it's not a big throw or anything, but when the next turn and this turn with full block, but uh, slightly annoying. <laughs> yeah, slightly annoying. I guess you can get bandage up immediately then. It's fine, guys. It's probably fine. Yeah, yeah, we full block anyway, so like, who cares? And sure, I still kill this thing first. But now we actually need to wait to, to draw into the Exum or what? Okay, we draw into Exum immediately. That's, that's good at least. Uh, let's turn this guy hitting for 8, and we say that we one burn on 1, actually, yeah? We say that we actually one burn on 1. I mean, on 5 is good. Zero cost, yeah. We play uh, Armands and then this is zero cost, but it doesn't change anything, right? If we don't care about the burning pack upgrade. Um, I'm just thinking why the, why the burn on 1 is okay. It's not that easy to block after this. Probably okay to, 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 to keep burn on 1. Not that bad. Burn on 1 just says that we uh, play for like turn 11. It's, it's fine, it's fine. Like, not, no, nothing wrong with playing for turn 11. And if that's the case, then I just uh, never kill this immediately. Because to dealing 5 damage next turn is a lot easier. Prayer wheel. You want a draw potion? Here's your draw potion. Yeah, yeah, garbage. Uh, prayer will probably still get value. We don't have anything that's fixed for question mark in Act 3. Uh, and we have a thing that's fixed for fight, yeah, the ritual dagger. So we probably farm maximum fight in the Act 3 here with the, the, the thing. <laughs> yeah, draw potion is technically a draw potion. <coughs> with the incense burner, the value of artifact potion definitely goes now. Uh, so I, I probably even even if the draw potion and the um, uh, gambler's blue are doing roughly the same thing, I probably still take them. Because usually you want if you take the artifact pot is to save for for the hard fight, but here half of it is already negated. Can even recall or I can upgrade my blood thing or my burning pipe. Uh, yeah, no, my upgrading burning pack. Upgrading draw right now is also getting better with our moments. If we see fusion hammer, yeah, whatever, who cares. Actually, if we see fusion hammer, I should upgrade anyway. <laughs> so if I see... What, what do I need to see for this recall to be better? Like, uh, an apotheosis next act or what? The apotheosis the not win type. Yeah, I upgraded my burning pack, yeah? Or are you saying that maybe Exum upgrade is better? Don't think so, right? Because the uh, boss, our boss solution at the moment, this is solution for like most of the fast fights. Our boss solution at the moment is still exhaust down enough of burning pack server so to, to get into the loop with like maybe promo strike, burning pack, blood letting, and uh, blood for blood. You think Bob, Bob's on turn 1, that's pretty smart of him. <coughs> uh, if you want to exhaust down faster, there's a purity. <coughs> okay, here's a, here's actually a tough question, yeah? Do you think Juggernaut is positive in this fight? <laughs> that playing a Juggernaut is actually... positive. That I actually have no idea because uh, playing Juggernaut might actually force the, the, the split. Like playing Juggernaut might actually force the split too early and then it messes up the burn or something. And if we get into the loop, we do not need the Juggernaut damage ever. 
Oh, we're quite strong over here though. Flash of Steel or Purity? Purity speed the, the exhaust now a little bit. Pretty strong redraw without brace you no pain. <coughs> Flash of Steel is consistently good and with the Flash of Steel being zero cost, it um it basically improves the efficiency of our our loop. It improves the efficiency of our uh, loop. We don't need to play Burnetting as often. How many cards do we need to exhaust anyway? Like uh, in this deck. Self-exhaust, we do let this exhaust here. Yeah, and we probably just burn it back away in anger. So, um... We, we don't count this as extra, really. 27? 1, 2, 3... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9... 17 we exhaust at 3 maybe 5 cups is an angle infinite we need uh, one more dark embrace for the I think we two dark embrace and the flash of steel are we there oh no no angle yeah yeah it is the, the exact same same problem like we just gain one angle in our hand every time we do the loop basically so eventually our hand space runs out it runs into exactly the same problem. Uh, we need two Havoc. Yeah, we... If we have two Havoc, does that work? No. Yeah, Havoc Anger just doesn't... Havoc Anger, put Anger in the draw pile, and then we have another Havoc in hand. We Havoc that, put another Anger in the draw pile, and we draw two. Ah, uh, no, 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 but we draw the, the created Anger immediately. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, it's just that it's just the fact that we always redraw into the the, the angle that we create, so our hand space increase. Otherwise, we can break our draw. So the condition cannot be met. So yeah, take a uh, flash of steel. Yeah. <coughs> Who say relics broken? It's just the uh, server certificate. I am pretty sure the extension is still working. Normally, it's just that the server certificate is uh, expired. So then the... It doesn't run. <coughs> have up, um, how cringe can have up with? If it hits bloodletting, slightly annoying. That on your end? No, no, no. The the like you you know some say relics need to send information to to a remote server and uh, basically the certificate for that thing is down based on the the developers end. So uh, of course it's broken for everybody. But yeah, I uh, yeah, I guess we can probably burning fact at the end. We say that we will do this eventually, so just do it now. <laughs> and yeah, question, yeah? Like, do we uh, do do we actually play the jump or not or not? Because I have a feeling I should just exhaust it, you know. When I fix that, yeah, it's, it's not a bug. Like this thing happens usually it happens once every two months or something. I think two or three months, and it lasts for uh, maybe a week. This time it definitely lasts for, for, for way longer than usual. So I don't know what is uh, happening, but... Can only wait. <laughs> yeah, I, I, honestly, I don't even think I played this. <laughs> and I want to serve a so more cut. Yeah, yeah, I exhaust most of but not right now. That's amazing. Right? Yes, please. And I do want to, to upgrade the blood thing, though. So I uh, don't do it on the other moments yet. If that is the case, then also uh, burning pack a way to have off. I definitely want to keep the burning pack. So what with this? Yeah, irrelevant, right? So we just throw everything away here. Yeah, if we, basically if we have the T set energy and we draw like this, we can set up like really fast. Like you see, like it's turn one and we have already exhausted the uh, six cards and play two powers. So yeah, absolutely, we don't need the damage. Uh, we don't need that damage for anything. 
and uh, I don't really want to pay two energy for that crap while also potentially splitting this thing earlier than I want. So, I zoom probably just to block a little bit. I mean, I guess we can exhume dagger for, for a faster kill, but uh, whatever, we start with this, yeah? For mass is just for the block for block. Um, I mean, the champ can also hit us for a little bit, but with... Yeah, with exhausting down this fast, uh, we have bloodletting, yeah, we have bloodletting, so I don't actually want to play combat. If we, if we can help it. Yeah, I can see even spot the, the, the exhume the bandage up immediately just to draw more. And then also full block this hit. Yeah, but in fact, uh, we, we let this the Carnage exhaust. Uh, and we don't have enough energy to play the server so right now unless I draw into exactly the Bloodletting. So I probably exhaust the shape. Maybe Bloodletting still? Uh, I'm on this whole hand is fine too. Now I always draw, almost always draw into the brother thing. That's very good. And now, yeah, we can burning pack and then server so. Um, these are good cards though. I don't know what I would burning pack away. Maybe, batch. Kind of want the the batch. It's fifty percent. <laughs> I mean, if we, if the fight is going on like this, we probably just kill this thing when murder is on like five or something. But uh, yeah, apparently we are pretty strong. Yeah, who would have thought, guys? Almost strike. Exhum is played already, yeah. So I cannot actually play the dagger. Uh, this is exhausted. This is exhausted. I want this. I want this to be played one time, one time only. Maybe I can play it right now. I play the bash and then burning pack away the um uh... no 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 so server so definitely wants to be played here. Ah uh, maybe yeah burn uh, probably can just exhaust the formal strike. I mean it's it's more damage than the burning pack, but we have enough damage with the flash of steel in Breath of anyway. And D7, a yeah, cool story, man. Uh, Server so now can go, but I guess Iron Wave can go first. And Whirlwind can definitely go after that. And yeah, we are we are we are infinite yeah, this turn. If we would like to kill him, we can. But we probably full block this turn and then kill him next turn with vulnerable down. And Burner's on fire. I mean, we are infinite as long as, as our, <laughs> we have enough HP to play Blood Netting. But uh, that, that's good enough. That, that's good enough. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Eventually, we run out of cast to Burning Pack. Okay, okay, okay. I, I saw the problem. No, 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 not too late though, not too late. Because we have enough damage to just kill this thing. But, uh, okay, apparently I should have keep, should have kept either Pomo Strike or the Strat. Uh, good, good news, so it happens in this fight and not the, the hard fight. If uh, something like this happened in the hard fight and we are only going to this, I just die here. <laughs> but good, good thing that we, <laughs> good, good thing that, that I recognized the, uh, the, the problem like, early on. But with this, no, no, um, because if we want to draw, we want to, to do it with this. So, I mean, I think I have enough damage anyway, but um, it is a little bit dangerous. I guess I can even take this damage. Not that bad. Don't need to, but I can. Next time we just kill this, yeah? 
would be good here. Yeah, power through would be good. Uh, keeping the anger would be good. Keeping the uh, the power the um, formal strike would be good. Keeping the strike and off would be good. Uh, strike and off not enough. We need formal strike. Yeah, it needs to be the formal strike. And it's fine, guys. Right? It's fine. Honestly, you can can even go in this turn, but uh, would like to go next turn. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, taking four it doesn't matter. I should steal, yeah. And I mean, we also have, we, we always have potion. Uh, no other damage, right? Yeah, yeah. No, no combat, no juggernaut. Would be good if juggernaut. It would it? Would it be good? Probably okay. We kill this early. Would probably be good. Actually, it work. Um, it does, it does. We can just exhaust the special steel. Mm, does it? Maybe it doesn't. I mean, we, we don't really. Yeah, I don't have enough energy. Maybe exhausting the, the one more card last turn was also bad just to block for 4. Because apparently I need one more card here to, to do this. It's not quite lethal, right? 69. Actually, maybe it is. Not quite. It's 6 damage off. Do I have another choice? No, no. There's also a, there's always potion. Like, do we want to, to uh, mess up the burner or the potion? I guess burner setup is not that important. So yeah, it's like whatever. Yeah, it's, it's actually whatever. Oh, but why is this turn... Cannot do that though. We have no more energy. We cannot draw this and we have no more energy. Like, but here... 69 plus 34, we are 6 damage off. There's no line here that, that I'm missing, right? The uh, burning pack on the blood for blood is uh, complete nonsense. So, yeah, I guess we mess up the burner then. It's fine, just the burner then. Not, not that important. But right, thing, but what? Yeah, yeah. And then, how do you play deck? <laughs> that, that's the problem. We run out of energy exactly because I exhausted one, one, one card too many last turn. If I keep one more card here, we can play Blood Letting and then exhaust that card, and then we are like completely fine. But uh, I cannot play. I cannot get energy here to play the deck afterwards. Gonna <laughs> have irrelevant. Yeah, probably is. Like, maybe we run into some spiker cam and take a bit of damage, but we have me in the bone, so it doesn't even matter so much. The same wood play, yeah, the same wood play, it's true. I don't want to exhaust anything yet. I want to, to draw all the thing next turn and then do the double. Just like this, then. Yeah, 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 in Sand Fern, who cares? Uh, if one exhum is so good, then the second exhum cannot be that bad. And it's also up against a complete trash. Oh, really? Well, do we want energy or don't we want energy? <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you. I think I would like energy. Yeah, I, I think I, I, I don't know about you, but I think I like energy. And these potions are good. So at least we did not spend a potion for a burner charge. Even form plus, yeah. Did you see how much, how how we deal damage in the last fight that we uh <laughs> that you want? Oh, oh, I see, I see. You want even form plus so that we can uh, serve so one more card to to block a four more. Yes. Like right side here, our patron for Sozu, it's a very good black star. Like not not even kidding. You see like how insane it is, right? We have pre parting and the wing boots. <laughs> that is probably five edits in that three alone, at least five. 
So uh, plus six relics, including the the act four. Uh, T set energy, so not going to work for the hard fight, yeah. But uh, for the first boss fight, our dagger is going to big enough. We just triple dagger kill it. Like it doesn't matter what it is. Dragon boss fight probably can do exactly the same thing. Triple dagger. This deck doesn't have an offering. If it has an offering, it would gladly take the black star right now. If we, but basically when we get down to the loop, like the blood thing alone is enough energy. Like we, we don't need more than that, but uh, energy makes us set up like way faster. Here we also will see an offering. Okay, oh no, no, that's the big friend. Okay, real talk though, I think Sozu is stronger, but uh, Black Star is more fun. I honestly think Sozu is just stronger here because we already... I think we already win this one with Sozu. So, like, why suddenly push us into a risk in, in the hard fight, right? But, uh, yeah, Blackstar, Blackstar can lead to, like, some, some insanely broken stuff too. And maybe it gives us energy relics anyway. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, I, Black Blackstar is probably just plus 5 or plus 6 elite. Like, that's insane value. <laughs> Go for the high win rate. No, no, no. I can take black stars. Like when I die, I can blame. Uh, I can blame this decision. <laughs> but yeah, I do think. I do think. I generally think the Sozu is just stronger here because the these potions are very good act for potions anyway, and we probably don't need to potion anywhere else because of the very big deck, and we also have the uh, million the board. Bad Rattlemans uh, fight need to spend potion, potion for heart? Yeah, yeah, me on the bone, like, already got us covered, like, no problem. Uh, unless you think we die from, from 100 with this deck. And unless, unless we, you think we die in one fight with this deck. That doesn't really happen, right? Because we draw into the dagger two times, the, the Rattlemans is already done for, we have two exhumes here. And now that has zero base cards, like, do not forget, you see some, some random crap in here, yeah? But if these are... If these are not here, they could actually be strikes and defense. So, how much better are they? Well, I think I do a world here without Reaper. I don't think so. Like, two exhum decker is already enough. Yeah, I just like Black Star. I just like the Black Star. I think Sozu is stronger. Okay, okay. If I take Black Star, then the, the act path better not betray me. Yeah, like at least five at least, please. Number one, jump here number two, jump here number three. Okay, exactly five. I get I get what I asked for guys. Oh just yeah yeah from the people. Yeah, I get exactly what I asked for, yeah. I asked for five elites, there's five elites. Cannot get more than five. Go here, jump number one, go here, jump number two, and jump number three, five elites. <coughs> Going to second phase, yeah, yeah, and then I get a setup relic right, like, in here, maybe like ink bottle. You, you, you know, you know, it's actually pretty bad, right? That we get a uh, burn on in phase one, and, and then uh, something like ink bottle in phase two. At some point, at some point, I either forget about one thing or the other, and then it messed me up. I hopefully, not. Uh, don't know, Decker probably the easiest boss for us, so and also two Decker props, so uh, that's that's pretty good. Bad for me, okay, fine, it is good content. I, I would I would agree it's good content. Okay, if we spend all the wing boot charge on release, and we definitely do, then uh, early shop it is then. Early shop this way we also get maximum prayer wheel value, yeah. So um, four fights in a row. Maximum prayer wheel value makes the dagger bigger, and we also get the um early shop. <coughs> if we see old coin or something similar, we can still go to the shop like ultra late here, or we get the two question marks at the end. Oh sure, let's do that. Like uh, avoiding early shop doesn't doesn't make a lot of sense here. With 300 go, it's going to be 300. Um, at least 30 with the fish, maybe slightly more. Also with pay, yeah, yeah, pay we also advance rate chance. I hear, yeah, no, not even kidding. Actually, maybe we do see an offering. Single dagger prop only, slightly cringe. Uh, trip is better. <coughs> and yeah, Beast of the Bone now actually will play we, because we are on 3 energy here. Yeah. 
So probably spawn goodness will win. Take five. We do also have bandage up, so we heal at least ten, and we have double exhum also. Yeah. So in any fight where we don't need to exhum dagger, we can exhum the bandage up, healing even more. We at least in a row, not in a row. Eh? We here, I can jump into. No, no, this is the same node as the fire. So one, two, at least in a row, and then we have a small break, and then one, at least two, at least, yeah, two, at least. Okay, these are in a row. Uh, but yeah, spoilers a lot. Our deck actually doesn't block. <laughs> uh, our, deck, our deck actually doesn't block uh, that well. So yeah, in, in retrospect, like King Middle the Bone makes even less sense, right? If uh, this is the state of the deck in like, Act 3. Yeah, yeah, in, in retrospect, it makes even more sense to, to, to take the Middle and the Bone. I would think we took the Middle and the Bone, guys. Dagger is already one shot here. Oh, Dagger one shot already, so I don't care. Ah, if he's Carnage, it kills. Mm, but otherwise, we're taking so much damage here, though. Oh, that's good. Draw one. Uh, I am willing to. I'm fully willing to take all this damage here. I, I don't really care. With the me and the bone and the bandit tap. I dagger getting dagger proc is way more important here because uh, we are on three energy now. We don't have the soul energy, so the uh, dagger is our freaking lifeline. Madness first? What do you mean madness first? Some of souls are already in here. Like you see, madness second draws is one card. And okay, sure, if it hits the the uh, carnage or the thing, it kills. But then we get out of this fight anyway, so it's not it's not even a bad case scenario. We have kill, yeah, yeah. So if it if it kills, it's still fine. Oh, it's minus four, but we heal up to like seventy two. So potentially minus three, but here it gives us one cut. Like potentially can hit like cut draw as well, you know, and draw into the the diamond braids or the funeral no pain, so it gains more. So what so in here is very bad, yeah, because we don't have energy to play the dagger anymore. We we'll just play this. Yeah, easy. Never question? No, no, definitely you should question. I, uh, if I never make mistakes, like the, uh... <laughs> if I never make mistakes, the score would probably be like, I don't know. At the moment, it's what? 42 and 5. Right? If I don't make any mistake, it's probably something like, uh, uh, 45 and 2. So, they definitely question. Like, they definitely do question whenever I do something like fishy. Because sometimes I'm mistaken. Uh, sometimes you are missing something, but sometimes I am missing something. And it's always good to 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 ask. Uh, ghostly armor plus. How is that? Now I did say that we don't really plow. Does that need to change? That does not actually need to change. Like the fact that we don't block at all, because uh, by the end of this act, by the end of this act, how big is the dagger? It's already fifty five. Yeah. Uh, and. Some of these fights we can even deck multiple times, but uh, let's just count it one, one per fight, once per fight, because maybe sometimes in the elite we also need to kill. Like Nemesis, for example, something we cannot deck. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And if we don't know this shot, probably get like, one more fight here, so maybe 10. Uh, plus 50. 100. 105. So oh, yeah, 105. Um, don't win dagger. Maybe we triple dagger and kill one instantly, but we don't need to. So maybe we can just stop it like double dagger and then block the, the third one with, with what we are doing in the champ fight. <coughs> also, when fast is like much regular combat, yeah. And then also, that's the only part to get the, the five elite, so uh, I'm just doing that. Like, go to the early shop, get all the hallway fights into five elites. And at the end, no more wing wood charge, so we unfortunately had to take two questions, but, but uh, a lot of value here. Yeah, 105, and then maybe 115. 115, second fight is time eater, maybe, and then 120. 120, we definitely do not need to block for... Ah, uh, actually, no, we need to block for screen shield. Because of the deck, uh, because of the burner. 
We can probably kill them instantly, but we would need burner photo heart. We definitely need the burner photo heart if the, the we never find a fit or something similar. So yeah, yeah incense burner uh, definitely need to to be used. So ghostly armor plus, how bad is it? <laughs> Exu must a reason to buy the banish first. Mm, could have yes. There wasn't there wasn't Exu. The second exhum is already in the redraw. But once again, uh, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's okay to play the banish first. Yeah, it's like two, the, the payoff is smaller than the damn price. But the upside is that it has two hits instead of... No, it's not one. It's not one. Like any card draw is also a hit for, for playing banish second. So battle trend is a hit for playing banish second to the two burning pack and then the struck and the damn price. So we actually have... Um, Five hits. Yeah, yeah, we, we actually have five hits to, to play the Havoc first. And then two hits for to, to play the Havoc second. Probably okay to Havoc first. And we do need to block the, the shield basically. We probably one shot the spear. We one shot the spear and then we uh, block the shield. It is still hitting us for like 38 or, or some crap. So, ghostly armor, when we have 3 energy, not too bad if it comes up with it. 1 energy block 13 is, is, uh, is quite a big number. It's okay, it also give us 9 though, going into the shop. How, how big is the fish? <laughs> 216 already. Oh, 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 3 deckers guys, 3 deckers. Oh, I see plus 15. <laughs> Oh, this thing explodes though, so we better draw it to the first dagger uh, somewhat quickly. Otherwise, we actually need to kill them, them on turn 3 or something. Then it's like maximum 2 daggers, maybe. But if, if we draw 2 dagger first, that's amazing. Uh, definitely get plus 1 then. Oh, come on. Um, armor in first. And definitely the armor in first to draw 2 with this. Shuffle in the blood death thing is actually good. Shuffling in the bloody thing is actually good. I don't care about the ghostly ammo being shuffled in, so bloody thing. And then deep breath, yeah. Ah, uh, no dagger. Immediately we can take 4 damage. <coughs> I don't really care about taking 4, four damage. I, uh... We do need to, to, to kill them on turn 3, and Dark Embrace is not in here, but there's this and there's the Steel Blood Light thing. I don't kill one, right? Like, Kill Killing one right now is playing Ultra Mega Safe, and we don't have Sozu, so I can... If we absolutely break, I can easily spend the Sweet Potion. Yeah, 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 play Killing one right now is just... Uh, I don't even know how to, how to describe it. It's probably just a bad play. Uh, Juggernaut is terrible. We absolutely do not play it because Juggernaut, if we draw into Daisy, it accidentally kills this before we draw into the Exhum. And Exhum also deals damage. So Juggernaut is awful. Uh, I do still think that we should bash one of these just in case they explode in turn 2 we have not drawn the dagger yet. So maybe... Yeah, probably this guy. Higher HP. If we draw dagger, we one shot anyway. Of course, I take 4 here. Uh, Havoc with so many things killed with Havoc. Oh, Havoc is so bad guys, it just kills them. <laughs> Record for big, uh, biggest dagger outside, and let's run... I mean, if there is, then it's probably somewhere in like, uh, close to 200. So, we, we are probably not going to get there. My biggest dagger, I think, is like 135 so far. So, maybe there's a chance for this run to, for it to be bigger. But, uh... If, if there's actually a record, I would expect it to be somewhere around the, the 200 mark. So many things kill with the, the Havoc. Havoc is so bad. Um, if I hit Exhum right now, it also doesn't do anything, yeah? Probably just form more first and then see that. Okay, okay, that embrace is good. That embrace is good. That embrace into the Havoc, maybe. <coughs> and if you only have one energy, then even the Whirlwind doesn't kill them. Which is uh, great. It really is Exu. You're kidding me. 
if I play one more card, I have a chance to draw into dagger immediately and then I'm set. So that's already minus one dagger, yeah, which actually tells me I can kill one of them now because we have maximum two daggers and killing one of them now blocks immediately. Yeah, I guess we can open Inferno Blade. This doesn't actually kill, but it draws us into one more day, so we block a little bit more. But yeah, now I just hit them. Oh, we draw Exhumi for half off, but uh, hopefully draw one dagger. Dagger, please. Please. This acting this turn is a little bit annoying, but it's fine. Please? And we had to freaking battle trends before the, the, the thing, are you kidding me? I guess if we have to live with one dagger only in this fight, then uh, we just exhume the bandage up then. Oh, okay, 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 thank god for that. We actually still get two daggers. And we can get out of this fight right now, living burn on five. Uh, burn on five for Zorworms, for... Um, not really transient. Transient, we cannot, we cannot do it. For the, the spiker, if we see spikers again and on 5 is okay. And I mean on 0, uh, after the word there's no risk though. We have Funeral Pain Plus in place and Dark Embrace, so this guy never deals damage to us. We can take our time. Maybe 4 is better than 5, because if we see a fight that deals front load damage on turn 1, we already have the um, the bare marbles and the toolbox. So chances are that the, the, the fights that hit us on turn 1 pretty hard, also... They don't have a lot of HP, so we can probably just kill them turn 1. Yeah, yeah, and then I just double dagger, maybe. Dagger definitely happens here. And we exhume the dagger. And exhume later, I guess. Uh, I have to play anger, it doesn't matter. We, we can... Yeah, we can do that later. We can exhaust this later. We don't need to play blood that thing. Right, we just uh, kill this with echo after. Make this happen. So I'm gonna burn on 4 and I want to armament my bandage shop. I definitely do not want to have off. Uh, the uh, Exhum is instantly killed him, so it doesn't actually matter to chip this down. So I'll shuffle in the, the thing. And get the dagger right away, I guess. Drop one more, but also doesn't matter. Hmm, do I wait with this? Yeah, there's no risk, right? So we can just wait. And definitely don't play the head off. The armor is a good draw, still. <coughs> Can play this twice. Uh, garbage cards, but it's fine. We'll play out a card, Anger purely for exhaust for the other strat, no. Anger is uh, one of the strongest cards in, in early act one. So, I just, you just pick it for, for early act one, basically. Even early act two, like, zero energy attack mm, extremely good when you start with the bash in your deck. So don't think this card in Act 4 usually is quite bad, but uh, don't think about floor 50 when you're on floor 2. That is the that, that is a, a pretty good tip for, for high accession in this game, I would say. Like play play for the short term, not the long term. In if you don't have the short term soap yet. Yeah, yeah, anger is extremely powerful early game. So if you if you skip this card in deck one because you think it's going to clock your deck later, yeah, don't do that. Hmm. What? Oh come on! Missing it again, yeah. It's fine. We can exhaust on more card. Mm. 
Yeah, there's no need for the plus two guys. Like it's uh, it's hard, but we are doing it. And this can be played one more time. The last time. Oh, finally. So now we wait again for the uh, burner to go back to four because we wanted to set it on four. And then we can finally put this thing out with misery. We want to draw into the burning pack to get rid of this. It's still a wood draw because the, the daisies are not coming in like super fast anymore. So now the, the ghost the ammo exhaust but we also don't care. We are probably exhausting fast enough to be extremely consistent when it actually gets to 4. Right? If it gets to 4 we miss the exhum it would be like really sad. Because <laughs> then we need to go another 6 turns but it probably doesn't happen. Because of that Brave will always draw plus 2 anyway so the days it puts extra in the deck doesn't matter. Oh yeah, we only need to kill next turn. Should be fairly easy. Uh, these are... Yeah, these, these guarantees, right? I mean, we can also exhaust the shark, but... Uh, and the armament. But these guarantees. <laughs> Hello, name Panda? Am I? I'm pretty good. Uh, not plus 15, but sure, plus 10. <laughs> yeah, 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 no thanks. I don't, I don't fall for this bet again, yeah? <laughs> oh, that is so smooth. That, that is so, actually, so freaking good. Oh, we clicked this. <coughs> okay, second win waiting room, guys. And we have the prayer wheel. We have the prayer wheel, the so second win, uh, very possible. If we actually get second win, we can block easily. Like, server so not uh, amazing with the power through. We're on only 3 energy. But if we actually see second win with the diamond breath, we can do power through second win, blood letting, and then do that again with the burning pack, maybe. And that blocks a, that, that blocks a ridiculous amount. Hello, ma? Why I don't fall for the second Havoc, right? It, uh, I don't even want to play the first Havoc now. If we don't see a Frozen Eye. We are seeing a Frozen Eye here, right? Surely. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, there's also Potion Bell, but uh, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, okay, I, I don't really care. Of course, we take Frozen Knife. We can still take the Potion Bell, but I think I take um, this arm and card removal over, over the Potion Bell. You have taken the Havoc? Uh, yeah, maybe, yes. Now, now that I actually have the Frozen Knife, maybe I do take the Havoc. What is the, the worst card in this deck? <laughs> no, really, what is the worst card in this deck? Like, is it uh, Iron Wave? Everything else can be exhausted with, with Server Soul. Shame? No, no, uh, we have we have Server Soul with the Shame and we uh, we auto pick second win now. So, like, why is Shame that bad? And yeah, we also have freaking Black Star and 5 and 8 this act. So, uh, Blue Candle, very possible. And if we have Blue Candle, suddenly it's draw one. It draw one and it block three. It not be that bad, right? And it discounts the blood for blood. <coughs> this arm on sale, we take that, yeah? I, I definitely take more than one this arm because it just makes actually bosses a lot easier to set up the burner on. Why is it Bash? Ah, uh, Bash is still useful, right? Bash is, Bash is probably still useful. And uh, if I have a shockwave, I remove Bash immediately. <laughs> but uh, Bash at the moment is still pretty useful. And we have Artifact Strip with the uh, Bear Bubbles already for the, the Echo Edits. 
It's may I not even a consideration over disarm and remove, I don't think so. It's it's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. But uh we also have smiling mask. Let's freaking use smiling mask. And the um remove in this egg is also extremely strong. You you see it once we exhaust down through the bloodletting loop with some uh pombo strike, uh, burning pack, whatever. It's it's very silly. Our damage is like completely through the roof. And now that we have the power too, yeah, we can actually exhaust down to the burning pipe. So our loop can actually be because burning pipe draws four, so we can actually do power through. Bloodletting power through blood for blood burning pipe draw all four, and then we exhaust the wound again. Play the blood for blood again, and then we bloodletting when needed. So we do an insane amount of damage, fully blocking. Uh, and we are basically infinite as long as our HP allows it. Blue candle? No, no, not just blue candle. We already have a server soul in the deck, is the thing. We already have the server soul in the deck. The chance for blue candle right now, if we get, say, we get 10 relics, maybe 12, then uh, it's uh, probably. Total amount of relics is like what? 70. No, 80, right? Around 80. Um, But uh, 60 is shop relics, so it's like 60 something. 60 something minus boss relic. No, 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 no. That's already minus boss relic. No, no. In total, we even with our shop relic, it's also like 80 something. It's like 20, um, 30 something common relic. Like 26, 27 rare relic and uncommon around the same. Maybe it's actually closer to 90. So we see 10 relics. We have like uh, 10 right now. Normal relics. 80. It's like one hour. Of, uh, it's not that low. It's more than 10%. It's somewhere between 10 to 15% and we see a blue candle in this run. It's not, it's not even that low. And yeah, the, the the main thing is just that this thing is here. This thing is already here and we instant pick any second win. So, uh, this is not even that bad. I would definitely prefer to remove an attack. But uh, what is it? It's, is it, it, it? Is it anger's time yet? Because if I see, I, I don't know, with Oricalcum, with Oricalcum, Iron Wave was like extremely rarely placed. Because if, if the head already bricks, then, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe they do need a fun load damage from Angus sometimes, because afterwards they can still exhaust all of them. In Retromancer 5, for example, early Angus draw, I just play the Angus to kill the dagger. Maybe it is Iron Wave, because of Oricalco. Yeah, maybe Iron Wave is actually the worst card in here. I can see that. Like, the next worst card would probably be the Bath. If we see a second vulnerable source, like, uh, yeah, Shockwave. But I probably don't even pick up a card. Maybe I do. First weakness source is, is still good. Like, that like, actually doesn't, doesn't block at all, yeah? So, uh, weakness is a little bit appreciated. Burner cannot do everything on its own. And then also, that is another reason why I want this this up. Like, the deck, yeah, doesn't block. <laughs> if it doesn't block, you better find a way, way to block uh, somehow. Because we cannot, we, we cannot actually just try to kill the heart in four turns, you know? I mean, we can, but uh, we probably don't succeed. Then uh, remove, uh, yeah, Iron Wave. Yeah. And we move on. I don't actually want to buy another Burning Pipe. If I have a second run, I think I would maybe... I, I would maybe don't mind this Burning Pipe. But the goal is still plays fully for the, the shop. Like, we can even go to this shop. For the Echo Shop, I mean. Oh, cringe. Okay, can we can we dagger this fight or not? Like our dagger is pretty big, and technically speaking, we have infinite damage once we exhaust down. Uh, we have to pay a lot of HP for that. We we do have to pay a a, a lot of HP for that to actually for, for us to actually kill this thing here. But uh, maybe I can play, and we have meat on the board, so we'll see. Otherwise, triple dagger even with vulnerable is only three hundred damage, so that's just not enough. Uh, 3 is just better. I mean, we, we know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
Uh, yeah, what do I do? Like burning pack and then for most right, I can draw to the shame and the anger. We'll be for five here. <laughs> burning pack draw two, Pomo Strike draw two, turn ends here, next turn on to the four five. And then I can have out the dive and brace. Uh, and then play the server, so exhaust two cards, draw another two. We have burner, so we, we breaking this turn doesn't actually matter too much. And on turn three, we have these things. It's still vulnerable, and we can draw into the dagger. And then on turn four, we have these. We draw into the butt thing, and then uh, should be good. Mayhem, Mayhem plays the diamond Blade immediately, and then you can have our juggle not. Ah, uh, maybe this is a fight for juggle not. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe this is a fight for juggle not. Juggle not actually deals a lot of damage. What if it is Mayhem? Mayhem is like 2 energy, so this turn... Wait, wait. This, this turn get old or what? If we take the Mayhem. <laughs> oh yeah, we actually need to block this turn, guys. And we don't have T-set energy. So we take the Mayhem, we play it for 2 energy, and then we get completely destroyed. But that's not very good now, is it? Yeah, okay, whatever. We, we can still play one Mayhem, uh, one, one Zog or not next turn. Probably not though, yeah, exhausting with the, the server so it just better and then we just completely miss the juggernaut. We can play it in the, the second next cycle. And she is pretty good anyway, I don't really want to pay go for, for uh, pay energy, two energy to play the bash, if I can help it. What do I burning pack? Empty burning back something to draw into the bomb strike, yeah. So bomb strike on energy, anger, burning back two energy, and then have on energy for something else. How much damage is that? I have on strength. So this is 11, 16, 16, 7 is uh, 10. So 26, 26 is 14, I still need one more energy. So I guess it's a whirlwind. Uh, probably can burning back Inferno Blade. I don't really want to 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 bet my life on this Inferno Blade, uh, and then it gives me a clash or something. When this thing is attacking for ninety, that would not be fun. Manager is just uh, straight up a positive redraw later, so we don't need to play it. And maybe it can be armament. And yeah, you you see right here the angle plays immediately. Yeah, next one we have Burner, yeah. So, um... <coughs> Actually, I can even Shrug. Yeah, if, if I Shrug first, it's better, yeah. If I Shrug first, I play that Blitz, and then I can not serve a soul, but I get to have off the, the, the Juggernaut. Is that good? And then turn after, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, and then I can Battle Trends... Draw 3... Draw 3 is pretty bad. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. Feel no pain. This arm drawn to bloodletting. Then turn stops. Uh, that's terrible. Is there a clean way to do this? I shall do this. Then only one energy left. I cannot play any of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, I zoom immediately to draw one. I kind of want to the this burning fact for later. So better chance in, better chance drawing exactly into this is actually quite cringe. If I don't do anything at all, I get on uh, that turn. So I need to draw into the dagger. What if I draw four? If I draw four, is that is that better? If I draw four, I bet armaments the battle trends, yeah. And then I draw uh, all the way until here. And then I let the ghostly ammo exhaust, so I draw one here. And then one, two, three, four, plus five. And play this arm to draw one more, and we feel no pain. Vulnerable three. So vulnerable two. Vulnerable one, vulnerable zero. On turn four, vulnerable zero is hitting me for uh, 40, 50, 60, 70. 70... that's not very good. There's only 28 here and we, we are going in the next uh, cycle blind. We do deal a little bit of damage with the Juggernaut. Juggernaut number 1 is in play, so we deal... On 2 hits at least, which is uh, 14. 14, 42, and we block for 8. 
maximum we take 20 damage maximum if we completely break in these two doors i don't know what those would need to be for for this to be a break but we have energy to play anything <laughs> maybe it's okay to deploy your jackal dog yeah maybe it's okay to deploy your jackal dog so we just enter here yeah. and then next time we do struck into the the half of the jackal dog cannot do it the other way actually we can but max uh, zero difference Uh, technically speaking, we can get that boy not in play, but not I embrace. That seems <laughs> very stupid. <laughs> I don't know why I would do that, but we can do that. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's just like actually just stupid, right? So let's not. It doesn't draw one, unfortunately. It's fine. Okay, so I do want to draw four here, so armaments and then battle trans plus, yeah. For the high yeah, for the high bulk, for the buy two bulks. I for for that just like extremely strong. This is definitely better later. Uh, one dagger is already enough to full block if we even need to do that, but it's still vulnerable, so I probably want to to just dagger right away. The last card can either be Burning Pack on uh, something, or we just play the Spot Weakness. <laughs> Playing Spot Weakness still maybe give us a chance to kill this. Killing this right now is uh, pretty, pretty optimistic. We probably need to go infinite in uh, like two turns. <laughs> a lot of HP, but maybe that's still worse with uh, the mid. We do deal a lot of damage immediately. Angle, yeah, that's fine. Uh, don't need to actually play this carnage. Do I want to? Draw one and then draw until one, two, three, four, five. Then we can exhume dagger. Shuffling out, yeah, I guess shuffling out blood thing is not going to yeah, bottom decking blood thing probably means that we cannot kill this. Yeah, that, that's probably just it. Like we I'm gonna double angle draw deeper into the deck but creates more angle copies. Is that bad? This draws four. Maybe it's not. Does this take damage though? Um not really, right? We already block one, two, three, so we deal 21 damage and then yeah yeah, definitely don't take more damage. If we do this. Yeah, it's just not happening. Like, no chance. Like, there's actually no chance to kill it next turn. Uh, cannot have up the Zoggonaut either. Fine. I guess we just heal the pool then. Yeah, not really. <laughs> yeah, no, no chance. Right? There's no more draw in here. So just minus five dagger damage. We have full HP. Okay, but whatever reckless charge, you're almost cute. 
with the uh, piano pen dark embrace regular charge is not <laughs> and double juggernaut regular charge is not uh, the worst card uh, ever but it's also not good enough i don't know it's probably still good the second powerful <laughs> if we never see fear ball we'll draw your yeah, why we have frozen eye like why do we need fear ball for what This is a little bit weird before the power through, but it's true. We do still have servers, so it's okay. Um, it's not that good. I guess if we already picked the ghostly arm or the second copy of power through with no med kit, is it's not that amazing. <laughs> you know, what's the damage? Yeah, yeah. How about draw three? With uh, exactly, we know what we draw into, and can be used several turns earlier. <laughs> like, come on. Is this, is this good or is this bad? I actually don't. I actually have no idea. <laughs> yeah, because of the freaking uh, black star. We have a Sozu right now. This is an easy power to pick for me. But we are we are so incredibly reliant on the blood letting at the moment to have big turn. So picking this power to without Mackie is just putting us further away from the the actually important things. Yeah. Don't actually love it. I don't think so. Before the, the second win. Of course, there's a chance that we see the med kit in the next shop, but not really. We have been to what? One, two, three shops so far? You see med kit? No. But the uh, chance to see med kit from here is like one out of uh, 13 or something. I don't I don't play around one out of 13. Uh, just to make this uh, slightly stronger, yeah. So we just skip. Honestly, if we see Mackie this uh, the, the one power two we have in the deck is already good enough. We don't need the two of them. It's not even power two plus. If it's power two plus, it maybe it, maybe it's fine. Yeah, nothing to to pick here. Yeah. Now well, cringe fight uh, coming up, but we do have a huge dagger that maybe we can do it uh, three times. We triple the uh, dagger this time, he's dead. And Burner wants to still be set up on like 4 for Retromancer, right? Or oh, and Nemesis. It's always 4. Don't really want to stay in this fight for too long, though, is the problem. Like this fight for too long, uh, it's just a terrible idea. Dying Blade is absolutely bottom deck. That's not very good. Uh, Exhum relatively early, second Exhum is absolutely bottom deck as well. Mm, so I know that I need to draw into the... I take the blind. I know that I want to play this deck or this turn, basically. Uh, but next time we get completely own. Mm, uh, just kidding, we don't get own because we have burner set up. I don't actually kill afterwards. I want to set up uh, maybe Ammons on the this app. Yeah, the guest play. Then um probably do I want do I want to, to maximum draw? Because we do still need to block this hit a little bit, yeah. If I draw three and then it still play the ritual dagger, next turn is like one, two, three, four, five. So I can have up the Juggernaut, play the second Juggernaut and then Armament. Still 14. If it's curse me, I have no attacks to respawn. That uh yeah, seems bad. <laughs> I mean, I mean, okay, Parasite is like plus 9 go and then we can exhaust it, but uh, yeah, I would like to not do that if possible. So drawing 3 is actually a pretty bad idea then. Drawing 2. Drawing 2 and the next one is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can have off the armament, that's not amazing. Okay here, but it's not, not that good. Because I do want to armor this armor turn 3. <coughs> and we do have Inferno Blade to reroll if we, we cannot take the hit. Turn 3 is going to, to hurt a little bit, yeah? But uh, turn 4, turn 4, maybe we are fine. We can block a lot here. I can even exhum the, the this arm plus. After exhuming this arm plus, we are probably having this fight under control. And then we kill this uh, thing with the second, second dagger here. 
But I don't want to upgrade this is uh, basically means I only want to draw one here and then I just have off the shame next turn. One is also better because I block for more. I do play this so immediately. Yeah, it tries to curse, no problem, we reroll again. And sure, we take this hit. Yeah? <coughs> So, cannot reroll twice, which uh, means we cannot play any attack here. Just juggle not have up the, the shame then. And Carnage Exhaust doesn't matter. I times 3, no problem. I don't actually want to reroll this then. It goes to 6 times 3 and we take like 30 damage, doesn't matter so much. We can kill it next turn already. Don't know where the dust food. If Jungle Knot is on 14. <coughs> if Jungle Knot is on 14. This thing just nice, right? This thing is nice. Like I can I can juggle not first and then deal 14 damage, so that's number one. And then number two, number three, number four, number five. Yeah, it's dead to Jungle Knot. All these exhumes. That is uh, quite bad. So I don't even play the second Jungle Knot. Neiman on 4, yeah, yeah, on, on 3 is fine too, but uh, ideally it's on 4. Because I don't even play the second Jack or not, basically. And we, we deal too much passive damage with the few no pain. And exhum the disarm. Uh, this is a little bit difficult to block. But uh, maybe it's also doing the, the uh, multi hit. <coughs> yeah, yeah, it's only uh, 4 times 3. If it's like this, then I can even take 6 here and then just exhume the dagger next turn to, to kill. Trying to block this turn will just kill the burner, basically. So we are paying 6 HP to put burner to from 3 to 4. Better to exhume bandit? Yeah, then what do you do this turn? You are forced to kill now. As I infinite kill, no, this thing can only curse you once per fight. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly like you, you exhume bandit and what do you do this turn? You have to kill. You don't even have the option to put one on, on 4. Apparently we upgrade the wrong burning pack, because if it's burning pack minus, then I can just burn pack into the power tool and then everyone's happy. But, uh... This draws exactly into here and then we are forced to kill. Otherwise we miss the dagger. Here we got two ones. No, it cannot. Even even if the first curse is blocked with Omamori, it still cannot do it the second time. We can play the, the Pombo Strike, but this is already the best attack it can hit us. Okay, not the best attack. They are... The, the vulnerable debuff again is good and then the... Yeah, the vulnerable debuff again is good and then the... Um, Hit the box is also good, but the problem is that we cannot reroll it again. If we play this formal try and it uh, decides to curse us, like the blood for blood is too much damage. We deal 31 in total, but then we block again with this, so we actually deal 37 and it has, uh, actually it has more than that. So it doesn't kill, but this exhum will kill. Yeah, exhum will kill. Unfortunately, exhum will kill, so we cannot even get that. I just take this 6. I just take this 6. Oh yeah, it's all freaking only Kalkum. We do so much passive damage, man. Kind of iron. Uh, yeah, flex plus. Not interested. Ooh, evolve plus. <coughs> evolve plus with the power through. Evolve plus with uh, late game. Well, now with the evolve plus, I can see picking up a second power through. I don't think we turn this down. I don't actually think we will turn this down at all. Like, this card is just very strong in, in late act 3, act 4. And you cannot say that this card puts one quote unquote brick into our deck because uh, you draw this any in, in any boss fight in uh, late act 3 or act 4, you are just happy. Maybe Awakened One, you are slightly unhappy, but then you can also exhaust it. And the Awakened One doesn't hit you that fast, you have to disarm. I mean, I take this. 
uh, the other is green. Like maybe we'll cry, but we'll cry plus. Yeah, sure. We'll cry minus. Not interested. Kind of iron, pretty strong. Probably not as good as these down there. Frozen eye. Like we with frozen eye, the draw potion value just massively increase. Especially when we can even combine these together in Act Four. You know? If we can preserve both of these and even into the hard fight, we can just uh, do a turn draw three and then we can go for like eight cards. So suddenly we, we gain six draw out of the, the draw potion. So that's very good. And yeah, Black Star, let's see whether Black Star plays off or not. <laughs> yeah, we set up the murder and then it's freaking giant head. Are you kidding me? Uh, blind doesn't matter. Next time we have burner. This turn it doesn't attack, so blind doesn't do anything. So this is nature at least exhaust. It deals a grand total of uh, 10 damage. Maybe a little bit more we can reapply the flash. Good instinct, don't really care about drawing that, so we probably just take this because it exhausts. 5 is good for head, yeah, in what world? <laughs> why is 5 good for head when, when this thing hits you make a turn 4? Like, why would 5 be good? 5 is like one of the, the worst number, like only 4 is is, uh, is met, uh, yeah, yeah, only 4 is worse than 5, right? But I mean, usually you, you don't think about this fight. This fight is not that dangerous, usually. So that's why you also don't set up the burner specifically for it. I mean, we definitely dagger right away. We double X2. And uh, it cannot stay in this fight for too long. Yeah? So so ideally, we also want to kill it when the burner maybe go to 4 again. We can maybe block one turn. That still doesn't have any weakness application. That's saying. Like 5 is 4? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we did say it to 4 though. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like, it's on 5 because it's on turn 1. Okay, sure, it blocks here, but yeah. Uh, this fight I would probably just like to... We, we can wait with the manager. Later on, it just uh, draws one card and it deals damage with the slow. <coughs> Burning back draw 2 and then battle train draw 3 only so we don't get, get to the dark embrace. But we can dark embrace next turn. And then have out the pombo strike maybe and then armor wins next soon. Uh, that's not very good. It's still okay. The bigger turn is doing dark embrace turn 3. Into have out the pombo strike draw until here and then server server away 1, 2, 3, 4 cards. And then we draw until these four, and then goes the ammo exhaust. And then the turn afterwards, we have this, but we are frail. And zoom draws one, we are being hit for 40, but we have beaten the bone, and of course, potion can be killed. Okay. That's fine. I do think we want to get rid of all of these though. <coughs> so can play Inferno Blade? Probably. Okay, anger came back. Uh, treating Anger, I don't actually want to draw Anger here. So I probably don't even play it. Oh, so this is coming in hot guys. Well, yeah, Dime Brace, have out, actually draw 3 until here, and then we server so for 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 0, no. Yeah, 0 energy left. Hmm. That's not very good. But it draws us back faster to the blood lighting. Otherwise, yeah, there's no, there's no other line. Like, uh, there's no better line, I mean. We just have to throw the entire thing away, yeah. 
And this also draws plus one with Lucy Armor, so next one we have six cards. We are frail, but um, if we redraw to Blood Letting, doesn't matter too much. <coughs> we do have Blood Letting. Uh, Blood Letting minus, unfortunately. But we can technically exhume Armament. That seems to be pretty stupid. over just doing double exhum on the dagger here there's no vulnerable so it probably doesn't kill but it deals uh, pretty significant damage i probably want to play one power through though we will probably uh, still trying to block this turn We don't even play the the the, the exhums yet. Maybe really I don't even play the exhums yet. Two, three, four, five, and then have up and up, and then draw one only. It doesn't work. Actually, I need to draw right now. And screw the whirlwind. So we will take the tip, but doesn't matter. We have the the meat. I can uh, of course solve the the issue with the potion, but uh, yeah, not too interested. We can have our sword witness this turn actually. Let's do that. That also blocks a little bit more and get into the bandage up, which blocks again a little bit more. Maybe I can even redraw into the... Yeah, either redraw into like Havoc or the Blood thing maybe, and then we can uh, have a big return. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no luck, but it's fine. Taking only 9 here. Ideally, we want to block uh, one more turn. <coughs> and then, yeah, next side immediately is the, the second elite. So, uh, burn on 4 is still appreciated. Can have all this power through now, yeah? Yeah, I definitely can. Uh, exhume the power tool, and then power tool server soul, and that works. Honestly, I should actually exhume this. Do I have enough block? One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, I do. And that's just way better. I mean, okay, say way better is that first four. It's still better. We can kill it right now, of course we don't want to. <coughs> so, um... Here, can burning back the server so away now. And next turn, the dagger is guaranteed lethal. Unfortunately, we had to burn one more HP with the combat, but that's perfect, yeah? Uh, no jog or not in play, right? Yeah, no jog or not in play. Okay, over not a bad fight. Mortal Lightning. Strawberry is a garbage, but Mortal Lightning... On uh, this arm is a thing. On Burning Pack is a thing. We don't have Lantern, but we have the T-Set. So, um... Mortal Link, the Burning Pack Plus give us a very strong option in any fight where we have T-Set in. Which is uh, how many of them? Uh, zero for the elites, but don't neck and the spear and shield, so two fights. 
Uh, we probably skip this crap, yeah? We don't care about Spock Weakness, we don't care about Thunderclap, we don't care about Limit Break. If it's not the Burning Pack, then it's just the Disarm. Or uh, for the hard fight, basically. So that we can guarantee we don't bottom deck Disarm, and then if we win 50-50, we take zero damage per cycle. But again, bottom deck Disarm, 50% of the time doesn't even do anything in the hard fight itself. Bottling Battle Chain is probably not as strong as Bottling the Burning Pipe. Because maybe sometimes we want to do Burning Pipe into the Battle Trends. And if there's Falling, I honestly would prefer to lose Battle Trends over this Burning Pipe plus. I mean, most likely Falling is uh, we, we can give a bad power. <laughs> yeah, Bottling Burning Pipe is fine. Over over this arm because this arm in the elite fight bottle is, is not even good. In the boss fight, we know the boss number one it is also not good. We don't really have any upgrade in this act, yeah. Uh act four upgrade, I can see it being on the no no. This upgrade is for for act, act three only. So the upgrade in act four is most likely bad letting then. There's no way to go to, to, to fire from here, right? Yeah, no way. There's only one way to get fire at least. And of course, we are taking fire at least. Yeah, bottle the... Uh, I see nothing wrong with it. Bottling the burning pack plus. Get the man, sir. Burn the setup. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And yeah, Dark Embrace top deck. Burning pack top deck. Rather thing top deck. Rather thing upgrade is actually pretty massive. <coughs> now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here, with the Dark Embrace, and if we take Violence, uh, we can draw exactly into Havoc, and then we can draw until here, and then we Burning Pack, we can draw until 4 more. And play this. Where is the Ritual Dagger? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> okay, so we definitely need to draw then, if that is the case. Uh, but, but we can Violence the Dagger. If we can Violence the Dagger, then where's the Exu? This is not so bad, we can draw it on turn 3. Next fight is not elite yet, and it cannot be transient, so we can set up the burner again here for the, the fight after. Probably still 1A on 4 for Nemesis. Yeah, I'm raised first. Uh, violence draw 1, then burning pack draw 4. We can burning pack draw 4 first, and then... Can pop the Evo. Probably want to have up some something different. Probably want to have up something different. That's good, Jack or not? Like ghostly armor, uh, maybe okay. Have up cannon is okay too. Can uh, have up cannon um, also increase the chance that I violence into deck. No, no, I cannot have a carnage before the, the violence. I need to play violence first. Ah, so I guess whatever then. And we can have a ghostly armor. Blocking a little bit here is fine. And then still I play violence after the, the thing, yeah. Okay, we did get Mishu Deku. That's uh, very good. So I just let Karnis exhaust this turn. I play the ritual dagger here, we draw one immediately. I let the Karnis exhaust and let this exhaust, so I draw three. One, two, three. Next turn, one, two, three, four, five. So I draw until here. And the turn three, I have uh, I bash on Rectoman, so next turn, and then turn three, I have the exhum on the ritual dagger again. If I'm weakened, is that still killing? Uh, it absolutely is. So we just do that, yes. It absolutely is still killing, so we do that. I mean, we are taking 5 this turn if I don't do anything else, so is that uh, is that good? I can draw 2 more cards, but then I cannot play the Bash. I need the Bash for... to reapply Vulnerable. I can play Carnage. Yeah, but I play Carnage on one of the daggers, I draw 1. Draw an only, so it's here. So then next turn is like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I can still do... Yeah? Like, yeah, I can still do the Bash. And uh, Dagger with Wicked Vulnerable is still dealing, yeah, it's more than 80 damage, so, so it's definitely lethal. 
No reason to take this fight. And yeah, gonna set up place. Um, okay, place half. Uh, I was saying that this place full, but it only plays half. Because she doesn't attack. We kill her next turn. <coughs> I didn't hang around here too much and go in top four. Watch it, Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's see. Oh, Mega Prep. Mega Prep is so sick. Now, Mega Prep makes the Mortal Burning Pack Plus slightly worse, but I mean, they cannot complain about the, the freaking Mega Prep in, in Act 3, right? Uh, garbage, so we skip. Blessing of the Forge again. Garbage, it gives us some energy sometimes. I don't really care over, over draw potions. Do I not care? Like, upgrading on the Burning Pack is pretty big, and upgrading on like Zoom. No, no, not burning pack, like the blood lighting. We are going to have this upgraded in Act 4, yeah? So if we take the upgrade potion, we say that we spend one potion in Act 3. Uh, we, we, we can do battle, right? Dagger is already freaking 80 damage. Like, we have this arm for the second boss already. Dagger is 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105. 105, we one shot one of them, and then we block the second one easily with the dice. And the potion die. Yeah, 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 I don't need to, to take this. Oh, oh, triple dagger, triple dagger, triple dagger. Where is dagger? Oh, dagger top deck, guys, finally. <coughs> oh, oh, finally, guys, we can uh, actually get triple dagger here. Now, these are both spikers, uh, and they both attack on turn one, so that's slightly rude. We can unshot this thing on turn one, though, if we probably should. Uh, for Thought Panacea, Sadistic Nature, probably just take the Panacea, I guess. It blocks shame. Okay. You can take Thought. Uh, too much trouble to think about. Uh, bottom deck both exhum. So can we draw into this in two turns? Probably can. On 2 7 3 energy only. So I reach your dagger, one of them. And maybe block with two cards and then turn two is one, two, three, four, five here. We can again burning pack draw until here. We cannot promo strike because they are both spikers. <coughs> so we end turn. And then turn three, one, two, three, four, five, the attack will get on. Turn four, one, two, three, four, five, and then battle chance can be drawn. Mm. Yeah, it's a little bit. This fight is a little bit weird. If we don't kill a spiker on turn one. Epic Black Star with Sozu, I still think Sozu makes our, our job like a lot easier. Of course, the relics so far are not so bad. Like, this is very good and this is okay. Uh, but but I, I think playing lights are just way simpler with the Sozu. Let's see, because we have uh, Frozen Eye now. And this, this deck with energy and Frozen Eye, you, you get like way faster. And you can, uh, you, you never draw, accidentally draw into something important, so you can always draw. But yeah, we have six more to go. So far, Black Star is not so bad, but uh, if we if we had the Sozu, this one might actually <laughs> be over already. And then not over because we die or anything, but maybe maybe we already win. But with the with the Black Star, I actually need to think like almost every fight. Uh, blocking double Spiker is so actually so difficult, but we do have Ori Kalkum. Maybe this is a fight for Ori Kalkum to shine. For uh, makes, uh, yeah, zero sense. So, don't do that. Damn Blaze also at the absolute bottom of the deck, so, uh, we... Have a good thing, yeah, pretty cringe, right? <clears throat> I do, definitely do want to play the Burning Pack, though. They go on energy, Burning Pack on energy, and then I guess I spend less energy on, like, power tool. Lock 15. <coughs> if we unshot the spiker here, we are getting owned by, by this thing in the next two turns, right? So let's not. Just kill it. Power cut, yeah, power cut and uh, finisher. <laughs> they are all bottom deck. So if we actually get a draw like this in the heart, um... oh, that, that would be very bad. 
Unfortunately, we don't need to think about that yet. Yeah, the death is not drawn in the hard fight. That's actually terrible. I take three, right, to, to draw through because we also heal nine now. And there's also a cost of beat. Uh, we do have Evo, which we will put in play. So, and we one shot the Twin Dagger anyway, yeah. So, Bash is completely worthless. Yeah, I get blocked by the stream. I think they get chambers, they cannot. So, uh, Burning Pack, Evo cannot play the thing. But next time we can block a little bit. Juggernaut is terrible, yes. Even if we can never play this, we can also never play Juggernaut. And we don't play Super Soul in this fight anyway, so it doesn't, doesn't matter too much. Oh, they both attack again, really. So we actually have to take a hit here. Because we, we roll both attack at the same time. We block for 8 though, so it's not so bad. Block for a little bit more than 8. They are both 9, so it doesn't matter where I put this out. Ow. Uh, they definitely want to kill one of them right now. How would I embrace this? Fine, completely free. I do play Inferno Blade to gain uh, more block. And we just one shot this because the other one is this arm. So take one more. <coughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, yeah, let's start. And have out Juggernaut, I don't think that's a good idea. Like, we just accidentally kill it for no good reason. Burner again wants to be on 4, um, just because of Nemesis. Giant Head is most definitely the better fight for us anyway. So... We do want to put it on 4 again. The problem with putting on 4 for Nemesis or Giant Head is that uh, we again, we basically we got it on 4 on every fight because we can, we have a Red Tormentor rematch. But um, it doesn't matter so much. We have to eat it, yeah. Very prep now. Evoke is uh, Exhum right now. I don't really want to play Exhum. I want to save Exhum for the turn we're actually killing. Because it blocks off 4. So we just don't do anything here. This thing only hit about 7 maximum, yeah? And we have the uh, this arm already. So it cannot... Mm, it, it hits for one, one damage per attack at most. And so it's not so bad. Four... Two... Three... Okay, this turn we can kill. For 4, block for tail, so we're taking a little bit, um, unless we spend blood lighting, but if we, uh, yeah, blood lighting just good. So, so we take like 3 more and then get out of here, that's fine. Yeah, yeah we just play blood lighting next turn. Maybe we can do armaments. Armament is into exhum. 2 energy, 3 energy, maybe we can have up away a block card. Can can maybe have our way block next turn. Need to block seventeen, but yeah, shouldn't be a huge problem. I went first. Zoom back. Have our the armament again. If we draw four, it would hit the server. So getting armaments again is fine, I guess. And yeah, it already has enough block. So we're not on four, and we don't take damage. Cartex Potion Omega Crins, Fire Breathing, yeah, yeah, cool. In Flame Plus, you're also uh, bad. That was already 95. <coughs> the only power I picked from here, I don't even think I picked Berry Kid. So I would pick a second Dark Embrace, I would pick a second Feel No Pain. I would pick a Corruption. Yeah, I, I would definitely still pick the Corruption. We have enough damage to just. Uh, Kill the heart quickly. 
But other than that, I don't think I pick any more powers. Uh, maybe brutality plus I can see because we have the we we have the backup prep and the bottle lightning. But not these. And these are garbage. And counter spots definitely not better than what we have. So we take me and the bone over this. Let's see what this is. Oh, we not as good as we in the bone, right? Maybe it's better in the heart by itself. But uh, take a lead, some number one, some number two. Okay, we did get Nemesis. It's not attacking on turn one. <coughs> um, can we get to the dagger turn one here? We can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I can burn impact into the ritual dagger, play the ritual dagger right away. And technique into Havoc? Yeah, technique into Havoc, then we Havoc to this arm. Next turn we have Incense Burn on 2, 3, 4, 5 here. Don't do anything. Turn 3 we exhume the thing and kill. Because we did have couple burns in on turn 1, yeah? And we bottom deck all of these cards. I think we just kill this on turn 3. So Burner is going to be on 1 for the next fight. If it's Giant Head, 1 is actually perfect. But if it's Retoman, so we need to be a little bit careful. But Dagger is big enough to one shot now. Now is it to exhum turn one? Mm, no, yeah. I mean, we we can. Ah, no, no, we 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 can just get the blood that thing from the secret technique, but uh, killing this on turn three is just better. Because burn on five doesn't even play for right or so you know. And uh, burn on on one is burn on one is actually good for giant head. So yeah, I stack uh, secret techniques. We uh, need to burning pack, but I guess burning pack away is fine. Yeah, burning pack is fine. Yeah. Burning pack, we draw three havoc to this arm, and yeah, next turn one, two, three, four, five. We don't draw with the battle trends. We have incense burner next turn, so cannot take damage, and then we exhume dagger and turn three kill. But yeah, let's just do that. One forty-four. Yeah, we can easily kill it with the uh, burning back. Hello, MJ. Run seems to be doing well. Yeah, pretty good. It in fact even fixed the uh, suboptimal black star. I mean, I say suboptimal is a five elite black star with the uh, wing boots. But um, I think the one was winning with Sozu. So these are exactly the same potions we we leave and back to with. With the Sozu, we are way faster. But uh, I have the wing boost fully charged, and I think we are over curve enough to for me to do this. So I picked the black star. They got so fast by uh, 95. After this fight, it's 100. And we have two X zoom. But boss relic, it was an astral lift. Uh, yeah, definitely not the astral lift. Yeah, we. I mean, we don't even need to disarm it, but sure. Can, can do it. Like, why not? I can just do it, like, why not? And even that time, also, why not? <laughs> Make the exhum? Yeah, exhum, exhum, uh, super time. Hey, I don't know, it doesn't even do the 45. Uh, next time we just exhum dagger and dice. I don't need to do anything here. Oh. Oh, that embrace bottom deck, you say? I I mean, I did say that this is the only power I might pick. <laughs> so, do I pick it? Because if I, if I pick this in a bottom deck embrace, yeah? <coughs> it's a little bit weird, right? It's a, it's a little bit weird with the brutality plus now that we have the diamond embrace bottom as well. Like, uh, how much draw is too much draw? It is okay. It is, it's not that much draw. Bottom deck embrace is, is an insane amount of draw already, though. Know? And we are like again we are bottom we, we we are restricted by energy here. Not not cut raw, especially with bottle diamond brace. And we definitely bottle diamond brace over funeral paint. That is like uh, not even a question. Yeah, maybe I just should just take the second power tool, you know, because I, I was already saying like uh, of course, the time to get second win is going downwards, yeah, but again, it's still uh, like 6% uh, 
8% chance to, to get a medkit. And now that we have both of them raised, medkit power 2 is like completely nuts. These guns won't actually break us anymore if we have both both of them breaks. Both of them breaks so there's, there's so many problems that uh, you you might actually have. And it's definitely yeah, it's definitely damn breaks over feel no pain or evil. Like yeah, sure, both of evil kind of cool, actually kind of cool. But both of evil is actually kind of good, but it cannot be better than this one. Right? <laughs> and uh, I guess the mood is also here. So the trend continues. The trend continues. Yeah? We just get one good rally <laughs> and one. Uh, Relic that, that comes together with it. <laughs> like, motor landing was good. And strawberry, okay, well, whatever. Bear prep is good. And then blood of well, okay, sure. And then we have motor turn those instant. And then uh, there's the boot. <laughs> yeah, the boot from Nemesis. I thought we cannot get the, the scroll bar here because we already got the blue, yeah, the, the, the green key. Come on, so. Okay, we uh, better one shot this thing then. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, and we don't have the, the the thing. Okay, how how fast can we draw? Because we also freaking bottom deck a blood dead thing. So this is actually kind of dangerous. Oh, this is actually kind of dangerous. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We cannot use impatience here. Impatience plays? No, it doesn't. Because we draw... We need to play formal strike and then it draws into the platform blood. We have Bagger Prep, don't forget. We draw 7. Uh, we can get into World with next turn now. So, maximum we take this at 28. Uh, how bad is taking 28? Honestly, not at all. We heal... 8. We heal 6 with this. We heal 8 with this. We heal 12 with the bandage up. So, yeah. like How, how bad is taking this damage? It's not even so bad. Yeah, we probably just one shot them next turn with like whirlwind. <laughs> we can technically draw into whirlwind this turn, but we have no energy. So drawing into whirlwind this turn would actually uh would actually ruin the the, the fight. One chip, uh, yeah, probably one chip. Yeah. Impatience doesn't play, and then my blast is worthless. We can draw one right now and draw into whirlwind immediately. Is that good? Maybe we can actually have up the the uh, no no we can actually dark and brace into bandage huh? because they both roll twenty four whirlwind this turn is actually killing them. So we draw exactly into whirlwind in here and then next time we draw into three four five we can have up this arm draw two, no draw one. Into the power two so we can play double power two if she attacks if she resummons again. To get old on turn 3 or what? A little bit. We actually kind of get old on turn 3 if we, if we take that line. So maybe we should not take that line then. And uh, then, then we should stop exactly here. We draw exactly until here and then we stop. Next turn, uh, we'll win for 3 energy, kill all of them. We draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then we even have out the power tool to block a little bit. If the new daggers are having like 25 HP, then this doesn't... Actually, no, no, it kills, it kills. You have the Vazra. It's 27 AoE. Okay, that it kills all of them. And then we even block 15. Block 15, draw 1 until here, and then we end turn, mostly ammo exhaust, so we draw plus 1 here, and then we draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, this is our turn, we are not fail yet. She has no dagger. Yeah, she has no dagger. So, maximum here we take 21, and then maybe we take a little bit more here. Exum can go on the bandage up to draw a little bit. Okay, where do we draw into? On 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah? In Havoc. Draw until here. We go in for 3. We let this thing exhaust. So we draw 1 here and draw until 6. Like Zoom draw 1. Bandit Shop draw 2. The turn afterwards, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We might be weakened, though. So if we are weakened on this turn, Bash into Dagger will not kill it. We will, we will not kill the Retromancer. But uh, we also have some stray damage. Yeah, yeah, maybe we kill anyway with the, the random damage from like uh, Anger and maybe Inferno Blade. Yeah, 
that. Okay, so the most important thing is I don't draw to win this turn. Of course, that immediately means I take 18, yeah? Um, uh, yeah, I do, I do, I do take 18. Yeah, taking 18, not... No, 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 not 18, 12. So I take 12 this turn, and the next turn she attacks maybe 36, I block 15, I take 21. So 21, 12, 33. Or yeah, 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 So, uh, 33, not quite mid-range yet, but, hmm, yeah, it's fine. It's still fine. <laughs> and you also see, like, how much the energy plays with the Sozu, right? Like, we have Sozu, this fight is actually so simple. No, no, really, we have, we have the Sozu energy here, this fight is actually, like, incredibly simple. Hmm, 30-something damage is uh, actually not a very good fight. Okay, so let's let's try drawing into the Ruin right now and killing all of them. Uh, what, what would that happen? What, what would happen then? We do still exhaust one with Ascender's Spin. Oh yeah, we draw plus on anyway. We actually draw plus on anyway, so we, we cannot even have up the, the Disarm. Hmm, oh. No, no, we, we don't have up the Power 2, so we have up this Disarm next turn. Which is not that bad because we only block for nine less, but uh, this arm can also block her for like four. Because we play whirlwind first. Uh, but uh, then yeah, we draw one card further and then goes to more exhaust, so it's actually one, two, three, five, six. This turn we get completely owned, no? If she attacks again, and this, this turn is the, the turn where we we get like completely destroyed. Because uh, now we, we draw one card extra that we don't really get to power through. Ah, so it actually means I need to draw until here then. If I, if I got to go in next turn, I can only draw until here. I cannot draw until here. Drawing until here is... Uh, is <laughs> it's just terrible. And we can do that. We can just play Burning Effect Minus before... Or just the Pomo Strike. We Pomo Strike on the Retro Mancer and then play the Diamond Brace last. That's very possible. But okay, let's go to the, the other line that uh, we just will win this turn. We need two energy for the whirlwind to kill. And we definitely want Diamond Brace in play. So the only line is Diamond Brace into Bandage Up, draw one. And then uh, Battle Train draw until here. And then we will win for, for two kill them. So after, with the um, Ascendant Main exhausted, we draw one, two, three, four, five, six. We can have all this power to draw one more. Uh, that is where the turn effectively stops though. Still have 3 energy still, yeah? So 1, 2, maybe 3. Or maybe this arm. And afterwards, if we don't play the Ghost the Armor with Exhaust, we draw until 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we cannot kill the second wave of Dagger. So we get old. Oh yeah, okay, that's bad then. The, the uh, Anger Spogonet alone is not enough. We have the combat for 40 damage on the, the second wave. But we can only kill one of them. So the other one hitting us for 25 and then Retro Mancer also attacks. Yeah, we can also play this arm for, for an extra draw, but we don't still don't really reach Lethal on the, the new batch of deck. So yeah, I guess we just go with next turn and accept the whatever crap this is. So the line is actually almost right on Retro Mancer. Pomus try into Retro Mancer, probably trip on Retro Mancer as well. Uh, and then Dark Embrace and then Anton. And turn after we draw on to T456. Can have up uh, the power through draw until the disarm, play the whirlwind for three energy, kill all of them, maybe even play combust, depending, but probably just play whirlwind for three. This thing exhaust. <clears throat> this thing exhaust, so we draw uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. The daggers are dead, so if she resummon, it's perfect. If she resummon, it's fine, because the turn afterwards, we draw into Bast, the ritual dagger, she's dead. If she attacks, then we block for 23 minimum. Uh, this time is not in play, unfortunately, and there's nothing to exude. Um, which actually means I should play Bandage up this turn, because the, the redraw never happens. If I play Bandage up this turn, I do have something to exude on this turn, so it's just plus 4 HP. Because we only spend 2 energy on blocking anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that is what we do, yeah. 
Um, but I need to remember to play Bandage up before the target price. Not after. Uh, almost try? Right? Play Bandage up. <coughs> play Bandage up, play Trip, play uh, Dark Breast. Trip on Retro Mango. And Dark Breast and Enter. Man, I love Frozen Eye. Like, it just leads you to, to, to these, like, really weird lines, you know, that uh, actually are, are up people. Uh, order doesn't matter here. So, we just hit. And we, of course, we need to play this for all three. So, we take a 17 here. Uh, she attacks again, so we take another like uh, 11. Oh, 11 is exactly bad. <coughs> For the beat. Uh, if I don't play strong, if I don't play strong, I still exhume instead. I just take 19 here, yeah? But I heal for 4. So 57, and then I take 19. I go to 38, that's, uh, yeah, that's good, right? Yeah, that's good. And next turn, Bash Dagger is, uh, is lethal, but we are not quick. We can also full block this hit. No, we, we cannot full block, we take 4 regardless, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Get, getting mid range is, is... Is it better? Actually, it's not. Yeah, okay, whatever, I should have, uh, I should have exhumed the power tool. It's fine, guys. Maybe, maybe losing the one or two HP there. Like, who cares? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Oh. Okay, okay. I, I actually need to, 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 to take more time in actually dangerous fights. Man, I spent like uh, half a minute talking about how I, I don't play strong and then I just play strong. Okay, whatever. It's fine, it's middle of the board, like, uh, steel protector here. Cannot be, cannot be so bad. I cannot be, cannot be so bad. Oh, it's even worse now, because I draw bloodletting. So if I did not play the bandage up, I can still get into mid-range here, because I play bloodletting. Okay, this fight is messy. This fight was nice the uh, first few turns, and it, was, it became really messy. But whatever, we still take the kill. <laughs> Mule time, thank you very much for the summon the hotel fund. So make sure you're not. And then just on pool here, that's uh, really cool. Okay, anchor is nice. Uh, oh, whooping can be. Ooh. Oh, well, of course, we click, click that. Oh really? Our oh, first weakness source and uh, the only other vulnerable source except from the past. Can even be upgraded. I don't mind Shockwave being upgraded, yeah? which is why I also picked the card first. Oh that's oh that's super sick. <coughs> oh that's insane. To be fair, our deck doesn't have any base card, but uh, so, so the chance of hitting something relevant is uh, much higher than usual, but uh, I was saying that our upgrade in Act 4 is the brush lifting. So it gives us a, a different upgrade now, and the energy upgrade on the Exhum with both of them right, is completely huge. Oh, that's super sick. Hello, Contessa Fortuna? How made of Black Star <laughs> on both time? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, at least no setup relics yet. And now I get a setup relic in phase 2 or what? Oh, it burns me on turn 1, but I can see good weapon. <coughs> well, uh, this this Nemesis thing is smart, guys, but it dies on turn 1 here. Do we care about burner? I don't know if you stream for, for for now, like one run only, because you also see <laughs> one run is uh, <laughs> one run is long enough. This run is way, way, way longer than it should be, though, I, I would say that, because the... Uh, Slightly with Act 2 first of all, and then I also pick the option that consumes more time. 
Like Sozu, Sozu, we just speed to Act 3. But uh, in Black Star, we actually need to, to play the fights. By playing the fights, I mean I kill Nemesis on turn 1 here. So uh, we do that. And Exum upgrade plays immediately. Yeah, goodbye, my friend. Wow, oh, singing bow, amazing. Uh, for 46, incredible. Okay, plus two. <coughs> Maybe it can be almost a strawberry by the time we get to the hut. Uh, we, we can see a fight in question mark. Maybe. So I did not see old coin, yeah, which uh, probably suggests that I don't mm, go to this shop. Uh, okay, I speak too soon. Speak too soon. This can be old coin. Oh really? Well, we are forced to lose on burning fight. Uh, so that's the that's the thing. Uh, I I said right. I said that falling. We can probably lose on bad power, and you can also see. We have one two good powers. This potion power is also good. So three good powers and three bad powers. So that's fifty fifty. <laughs> Attack wise, literally anything over reach record. Honestly, I give everything else. Like yeah, sure, blood for blood, whatever. Promo strike plus yeah, okay, can go. Master uh, goes now. Anger goes. Whirlwind goes. Silver soul can go. Tarnish can go. Uh, blood for blood can go. Everything can go. So it asks for exactly reach record. Have you seen the one game? I have seen several people play it. I have not played it myself, but uh looks, looks pretty good. I might give it a try once it uh well, once it's like uh further into development, basically. But I have watched like several people play it. And yeah, the skills. Uh, how many skills we can give away? This can go. This can go. This can go. I guess our skills is a higher chance to, to low roll because our skills are actually quite good. Missing a year from now at the latest, okay. Yeah, definitely looking forward to that. But uh, it's fast losing burning pack. There's no way we lose uh, anything else here. And yeah, Strong still queens, right? And uh, Falling is gone already. So if this is a normal fight, excellent. If it's Rare Relic, excellent. If it's the Sensory Stone, excellent. If it's Madness, yeah, okay. Minus Max HP, who cares? Um, there is a consideration to pick the Madness, though. It's plus 18 gold and we have Mortal Diamond Brace. Now that we lose the second Burning Pack, we don't exhaust now, actually. We don't actually exhaust now that fast. It's the annoying part. <coughs> Going to two shots to get the smiling mask value is also a thing. <coughs> Wait, sorry, excuse me. Give me a second. Yeah, we'll talk about how bad is Madness. Uh, if we remove two cards, we can still buy a shop relic, common relic, and we we can see one more one more shop relic basically for the maybe the med kit. Med kit right now is like insane. So um, eighteen. That's like seventeen. We saw three already, so it's like three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we say it's like 1 out of um, 14, yeah? 1 out of 14, so now we can make it like 2 out of 14. 1 out of 7. At the cost of one, one question mark. <coughs> Sensory Stone with a Singing Bow, yeah, probably still very much above average. And then like Dark Cycle with like Zoom, uh, yeah, kind of nuts. 
Stick with technique, master of strategy, or phenomenal. <coughs> uh, my bloom is free but intense burn the setup and dagger damage. Potentially even 15 dagger damage because it's slime boss. Or oh, Walker is uh, probably also pretty free. It's only the, the man is at 1 out of 4. Over a remove, but not always a remove because if we remove in two shots, we also. If we remove in the first shot, we also cannot buy rare Uh, All the rare relic I would probably would consider is like. I don't know, maybe the branch. Ah, uh, Mum Fat Hand, I would buy though. I would, I would actually buy Mum Fat Hand. Yeah, question mark's not too bad. Question mark's not too bad. Oh yeah, this is so freaking red mass. This red mass, so it's like uh, 60, 40 or what. <coughs> but maybe we take madness. Do we take madness? Maybe we do take madness. Red uh, beyond anchor is just the uh, this. So not very good. I mean, war pain was very good, but uh, it doesn't do anything now. Yeah, question mark is fine. Yeah. Red Red again and then uh Dago damage, right? Free damage. Oh it is the slime boss guy. Oh plus 15. What part of the run most fun for me? Definitely act one. It is uh it's definitely act one. Which is also why I, I like silent the most. Partially. To be fair though, like, I Clan Act 1 is, uh... I Clan Act 1 is actually very complicated, but it's complicated in a different way. Like, you you are not trying to survive here. I Clan Act 1 is trying to, uh... Like, get as much late game as possible, basically. While, while still not conceding anything. So you are, you are extending your greed in I Clan Act 1. 15 crystal leaf back to deeper. Yeah, okay, fine. It can be 20. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I have one die embrace. I can play vanish up. Shockwave. We can one shot on turn 2, but uh, we don't do that, yeah? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Real talk, though. Real talk, though. <laughs> if we don't nego this thing first, then uh, how do we deal damage? <laughs> Yeah, real, real, real talk though. How do we actually deal damage here if we don't, uh, we, we never play this dagger? <coughs> because the very dagger is like half of our next damage, the other half is not for but we draw a turn one here. <coughs> Maybe we can play compass. Yeah, this dagger is like drawn too early. We can, we can get the uh, two dagger props instead of three. If we just split it with the dagger, and then the turn afterwards, we exhume the dagger again, kill one of them, and the turn afterwards, we exhume dagger again, kill one of them. Burn the side on four, good number for Don Rekka still. And we get two dagger props. Is it a final run? Yes. So, so far, yes. <coughs> if I pick the crystal list, we draw seven. If I also play the crystal list, I don't want to play Shockwave in case I actually have to split next turn. Then, um, maybe 10 dagger damage is fine. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe 10 is fine. It doesn't mess up burner, it gets out of the fight cleanly. And we, we don't concede anything. I want the sample to be quick, yeah, yeah, but the, after the first 5 hour run, like, that, that was probably not, not going to happen. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of realized when the the first difficult run came, you know, like is that uh, whenever the run feels difficult and then I can actually die at some point, uh, I would just slow down. <laughs> because honestly, to me, the the difficult runs are the more interesting ones to play. So uh, of course, I would slow down. Like why would why would I not? <laughs> and then yeah, it's just a pipe dream to. Uh, if, if I, basically, if I care about the, 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 the runs at all, I definitely will slow down whenever I see a difficult run. And then it just doesn't make sense. To we'll say that the, the sample will be fast. 
<laughs> because it's just not going to be. We're going to be going on for pretty long now. The the first eight runs were relatively free, so I play like yeah, just uh, click some cards like two hours. But uh, yeah, it didn't last forever. Yeah, ten damage damage the burn on four cannot be so bad. At twenty seven, we play damn brace, play uh, maybe manage up draw one. Then after one twenty four five, play ritual dagger draw until here stop. One two three four five. Play exhum on the dagger. Draw one. Ah, uh, that's bad. What if I don't play that and brace? Brace draws two, but oh, uh, maybe I play manage up before that and brace. When I match runs a lot longer, depends on the type of runs, you know. Like just imagine, like if I pick Sozu here with Black Star, the the frozen ice actually makes things faster for sure. Because yeah, we see uh, the line. We we just see we have four energy. We can draw two dagger, one shot with dagger, and but the setup for elite not as important because of the uh, the the speed we have. But uh, here like the but basically like when when you actually need to play fights properly, the frozen high max runs longer. Absolutely. Like we with the black star, we don't actually have uh, a lot of freedom to mess up. Yeah, if I just do uh, bandage up first and then that embrace and then what? Seven, next one, one, two, three, four, five. I play Richard Dagger, draw one. Uh, split, the turn afterwards. One, two, three, four, five. Play Exhum, play Dagger again, draw exactly until here, play double power through. Who blow? Turn afterwards, Exhum kill the other one. Okay, that's good then. So I, I bandage up first and then that embrace. And yeah, we don't care about any of these. Uh, cannot play Shockwave, yeah? If we play Shockwave, nice next one to this deck. Uh. So let's not do that. Could have tried with the Crystal List, maybe, but... Uh, yeah, it's just like 5 damage. Yeah, it's just like 5 damage. Yeah, we here and do nothing else. I guess we can play this. This guy doesn't attack, so he's dead next turn. Take a number one, we don't draw anything else and we cannot anyway. If we attack, so we can always block four. Take a number on four. Take a dagger. Oh. Okay, so Ravely was actually old coin, but uh, slightly unfortunate timing because he can no longer go to this shop. It's fine though, it still plays like 4 probably. I mean, I don't know how much it plays because we also have the smarting mask. So after removing, we have 600 gold to buy the Bradley. <clears throat> uh, this is just good. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> There's like nothing negative about this. Except uh, for the fact that it, it, it... Yeah, it's minus 2. But we have both Tonai and Brace Plus. So, yeah, like, <laughs> this is just amazing. This is actually just good. I give it that, please. Plus 9 gold. So, the fish, uh, almost a no coin. 270. Uh, we want to deck both, so I don't really care about headwit. We have too much gold already. Okay, so, uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, top deck still no pain. That's good. <coughs> we have five energy, yeah? Don't forget. Still need to kill one of them relatively fast, so where's the deck? Uh, be far down. This is still 240, and we can apply vulnerable on them, so this is already one shotting this. And then afterwards, we probably can store a little bit for this. <laughs> this is not too bad. Uh, think ahead is just draw two because we play that brace immediately. So seven, one, two, three energy, four energy. <coughs> Thinking ahead, draw uh, four energy already, so we cannot play crystal list anyway, right? 
And this draws four into Havoc. We can draw two with the thing ahead until here and then Havoc away the power through, which uh, is not that good. But we can draw, oh, we can draw into Bloodletting plus. Yeah, we can Havoc the power two and then draw into Bloodletting plus and then be struck and then play the other powers. Or Server Soul. Okay, okay, that, that's fine, that's fine. We can even keep the thing ahead around, yeah, if we would like to. Play armaments. I don't think I would like to. Uh, burning pack the Inferno Blade, probably. Or thing ahead first, and then burning pack away the whirlwind. Probably stronger. <coughs> yeah, that's definitely stronger. So, um, yeah. Intimidate. Intimidate draws into the power through. Next turn, we can have Brother Thing. We can continue with Brother Thing this turn. Brother Thing next turn, we cannot really draw after this. So, uh, probably not. But I think this turn allows me to play server so immediately. That's very strong. Let's do that. Actually, have our way to power through. <coughs> Street artifacts. We can play Dragon Knot. I don't think I want to. Um, Burning Pack. This thing is already green. This thing is already green. Nothing else to our moments on. So we just uh, server so immediately. And yeah, you, you see immediately, right, how much a, a little of energy, a little bit of energy is doing in us for first turn, turn 1. Okay, to be fair though, it's two, three, 2 energy instead of 1. But you also see like just a little bit of energy and we draw the entire deck on turn 1 here. And then our deck is also uh, basically nothing because we also exhaust everything else. Okay, apparently this thing dies next turn. Because we just dagger into a zoom dagger kill it. Uh, I mean, I'm not complaining. Can play this now. We already exhausted armaments. Uh, that's maybe minus two. It's okay. I don't want to to redraw anger. Yeah, whatever. Draw plus one. Next turn, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, goes the ammo exhaust. So actually, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We shuffle this. It's okay to to shuffle these things out. How to is this? Good to play, but days are just positive. Ah, we can play this later. Yeah, we can play this later. We draw two anyway with the, the both the Carnage and the Ghost League. <coughs> mm, yeah, this thing's dead. And no, we cannot shuffle in the power through. But also doesn't really matter. Next turn, completely fine. And next turn, we are we are super super fine. So don't need to have on the server, so we can, but we very much don't need to. Because of the the evil, get the dagger back. Because I do, I don't know. Probably I I don't even care about playing server so this turn. We have not fireworks because this is also free to play. And we are still only missing 6. Dragon or yeah, whatever can be played. It doesn't, doesn't hurt. <coughs> Minus 2. And play this, uh, I guess. One burner on. Now the more difficult fight is we have Evo plus and a uh, server soul. So the time meter even if it's slimers, it doesn't matter too much. And we have double this up. We only play two powers against the Wicked One though. In the Wicked One fight, we don't need to play Evo. 
So it's only like Funeral Queen and Empress plus four, but then we debuff one shot. No, 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 no. One, one, one shot doesn't happen. I do not forget. Do do not get drunk on power here. I know, I know. Time to get one shot, but uh, <laughs> we need to block. We need to block until the the we we are actually ready to kill. Now, if you are really optimistic, you can say um, we set burn round three. We set burn round three and we kill Tommy to on turn one. So how about that? That does not actually work. Tommy has like what uh, 480. That doesn't quite work, right? We probably need uh, at least two turns to kill Tommy. So this is on the this one thirty is 195. Yeah, 195, we need 3 deckers to, to kill Tamito on turn 1. It just doesn't happen. Um, Anchor, so I probably would still do it on 4 then. Anchor blocks turn 1 and then the uh, burner blocks turn 2. Turn kill, no, no, I only count the vulnerable damage. It's 195. 195, so we, we do need 3 deckers. Probably put it on 4 is still good. 4, four is good. <coughs> and then so like this. So we just block this and we kill next turn. Uh should be very easy. I got to bash. It's already full block, and the next time we exhume dagger and it dies. <coughs> and this is such a. This is probably the biggest dagger that I have, so. Yeah, yeah. This is definitely the, the biggest dagger I have. 130 now, and it's still growing. So, Awakened One is probably better because it's more stallable, first of all. And uh, it's also 15 dagger damage potentially. Okay, okay, 15 dagger damage. And secret weapon as well, yeah? With secret weapon, we always get dagger on turn 1 so we can exhum it. <laughs> we are talking about exhuming, exhuming this arm back this fight like, a lot easier. On the other thing, yeah, it's going to be on 45 after this, maybe though. On 45, and then with the uh, Elise, maybe it's going to be 155. Oh, then, then we see mirror. Oh, oh, we see a freaking mirror in the actual shop. <laughs> yeah, so so Mackie is a hit, and mirror is a major hit. <laughs> On seventy, yeah, I don't, I don't actually play Ironclad that much. It's uh, unfortunate, but if you want the huge dagger, it probably has to be Ironclad. Yeah, you you cannot get uh, the other other characters. You actually can only get one dagger per fight. Yeah, it has to be Ironclad. Um, secret weapon, right? I uh, we don't have energy this turn. Maybe not secret weapon because I kind of want to do dark and raise uh, armaments and disarm and just disarm plus this thing. If I do that, my magic no, no, it doesn't. Omniscience, yeah, omniscience works. Uh, sometimes it, it needs to kill both. Nightmare definitely does not work. Nightmare creates the... It creates the same copy, but you only get the damage on the original copy. It doesn't destroy it like the dual wheel. <coughs> but only one of them actually give you damage. Okay, so if we only do... Um, Dark Embrace into Armor when do this Arm Plus. We draw plus one with into the Spot Weakness. Can play Inferno Blade to draw on 2 plus 2, yeah? So next turn we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We are frail. But we can draw number 1 with the bandage up. We have Incense Burner. So number 1 with bandage up, number 2 with the Shockwave, and then we draw into the Ritual Dagger. We one shot the Cultist. And we draw until here. Uh, turn 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, we get on. <coughs> That's not very good. I mean, getting old a little bit here is okay. It's, it's not that bad. As long as we don't die, whatever. And of course, there's still potions. 
violence draw three if it misses a dagger if it hits a black or black it still draw one card further if it's whirlwind i don't want whirlwind now for the other we have no energy to play so and i'm not interested anyway we have armor plus maybe it is violent over the the secret weapon it probably is violent I, it's weird though because I do want to play both Armament and this arm this turn. <laughs> oh, are we are we settling with like this arm minus or what? Yeah, it could be good here. Like not playing Diamond Blaze is uh, complete nonsense. Yeah, so we definitely don't do that. Yeah, but I think but I think would be good here. Hmm. Mm, how much damage are we taking on turn 3 if we don't um, do this? Like, turn 1 is already hitting us for 22, it's 24. <coughs> if we don't play the armaments into the disarm, only the disarm minus is um, 22 again. So we are taking 12 on turn 1. Turn 2 we take 0. Hello, choose. Yeah, turn 2 we take 0 and then we exhume the dagger, we kill the second cultist. And then we face the wicked one alone. Oh yeah, we draw. We know that we draw. If we don't play Amun on the the disarm, we draw two. So we draw seven until here. We draw two until here. Um, next turn is one, two, three, four, five. We exhume the dagger, draw one. Play the dagger again, draw two. Um, play the shockwave, draw three. We can play bandage up to draw four, and then we miss the field no pain. Oh, we just stop and then turn 3 we play Funeral Pain double power through. Without the Evo in play, that is a little bit dangerous, but uh, it's, just, it's okay. And now turn 4, and next turn we have that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in here. Still slightly bad, but uh, second deck cycle should be much better. Shuffling out the server, so when we put 4 goons into our deck, is not amazing though. Now, if, if we if we accept only ten deck of damage here, then it's, uh, the fight is very easy. <laughs> so the fight is only difficult if I got to get fifteen. We already considered in the slime boss, right? Do do we do it again here or what? Uh, maybe I do. Maybe I do do it again. If I only accept 10 damage, then, then what would be the like? I don't take secret weapon this turn and arm the, the the disarm. And maybe I even exhume or disarm later. It depends on, on how bad the second draw is. But uh, let's say I don't deck with this turn, yeah? And let's play again Diamond Brace Arm and Disarm. Diamond Brace Arm and Disarm. We draw plus 1 until here. I can see good weapon for a bad attack, for example, the, the bash. Yeah, the, the bash or the, the carnage, so it, it exhausts, so it, I draw one more. So we can manipulate the draw power quite, quite a lot, actually. <laughs> okay, okay, let's actually calculate that. Draw one with the disarm, draw two with secret weapon. Turn, if we secret weapon for the carnage, for example, turn afterwards we draw six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> I can um, manage that. Mm, then I cannot play Shockwave. And then it's quite bad. Yeah, if I cannot play Shockwave for turn 3 and it multi hits for turn 3, it's going to be what? I do have this arm plus, so it's only plus 1 strength. Plus 1 strength, 7 times, so it's only 28. Yeah, Shockwave Victor's only block for 8. It's not, it's not that important. Okay, okay, so, so maybe I get in. Uh, no, no, I get in win places like 9 times 4. 30. 36, so we can block for 30 here. Actually, 44, because I also play Funeral Pain. Taking 14 or what? Is 14 non or is 14 a problem? Maybe 14 is not. Yeah, maybe 14 is not. And uh, maybe even multi is not 2 anyway, who knows? But, but I like that, like secret weapon for the carnage and draw extra. Yeah, I like that. 
Just need to make sure to play it before the uh, armament, so otherwise it doesn't even exhaust. Make it? No. Now after this is a uh, normal uh, normal relics. We can draw plus one with Inferno Blade as well, but keeping it for later is probably also better. And we, do, we don't need to draw one extra anyway. But yeah, I embrace first. Then uh, take the weapon for the carnage and just let it exhaust. This and then this arm. <coughs> it, it doesn't matter if we um <coughs> if we're in fact if we're right now is bad. Sanayo no. Sanayo is uh, potentially still in the Act 4 elites or the Act 4 shop. Yeah, yeah, playing Infernal Blade here is just bad, right? We we want to draw this exhum next turn. Oh, it doesn't multi-hit. So we get a little bit old next turn. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, I, guess, I, I guess I do play Evo and not the Funeral Pain. I can choose one of them. I do draw into exactly here with the... with, with the... Uh, Dagger Exo. Yeah, if I can only choose one of them, then... Maybe Evo first. Maybe because I'm playing Double Power Tool next turn. <coughs> yeah, yeah, 9 times 4. Uh, we do get to Intimidate though. Now, if we want this fight to be easy, we exhume this arm plus and then fight over, but uh, that's not how it goes, guys. Unfortunately, the we can exhume Dagger right away and then have up away the battle trends. That is a possible line. And then we exhaust the ghostly armor to we'll draw two extra on next turn. That's pretty good actually. Let's do that. Yeah, we we, we do not exhume deck. Uh, we do not exhume this arm here. Like, why would we do that? <coughs> and then we just let ghostly armor go, right? We can't even serve a soul right now. Uh, it doesn't make sense with the Evo plus. It's only to get rid of the compass. Well, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's okay. It's minus two draw. Ah, it's minus. Yeah, minus two draw next turn. Yeah, pretty bad. A terrible idea. And we also play Funeral Pain. Yeah, of course, we play Funeral Pain. So this thing has five strength and no recurring weight. Do we care? Probably not. I uh, don't actually want to, to play Shockwave, because Shockwave draws immediately into this. I want this next turn. Actually. <clears throat> Definitely do not have Aquaway Blood, I think. That's a completely awful idea. We can have our way blood for blood. That's um, not a huge problem. I would prefer not to, but it's okay. Or we can draw one more card, and then we have our way to wound or something. <coughs> Keeping blood for blood is very convenient. Yeah, it's very convenient for later. So I guess it's fine. Oh. I mean, I mean, not complaining. This is actually a good attack. And it saves us two energy immediately. Yeah, that's actually quite good. And just so everything away, right? Do I care about armaments? Uh, a little bit, but not really. Mainly on the, the software. But I probably don't care. I probably don't care.
And our turn, our turn keeps going, guys. It doesn't stop. <coughs> now I can shockwave. So wait, now it's fine. Got to apply witness next turn. Forty-eight times four should not be a problem. Yeah, definitely not a problem. An exhaust answer was so. Uh, Bash, I guess, is good. Yeah, World Win is, uh, that doesn't do anything. Mm, yeah, Burner is a little bit annoying to, to set up here, but we do have Evolve, so it's not that bad to store a little bit next place. Maybe we, we just store this place. Um, we need. We can kill this in one turn, right? So when we get this back to three, we can we can kill it, and then the turn afterwards we just do maybe bash into ritual deck uh, with some like blood for blood or something with a blood letting. That's probably good. Or, or we can kill next turn and use the burner turn to block the forty five hit. But then every multi hit for a bit later is also going to be forty five, and then we also get void shuffle for it. That's not really <laughs> very nice. Oh, so, yeah, uh, probably not. Uh, but, but yeah, this time, this time we don't. I don't make the mistake of uh, <laughs> exhausting the pomo strike. We we do need. Ah, no, no, we have the, the power two. Yeah, we have the power two. So uh, power two burning pack is still fine. That's a loop. Wait, why did I play... Why did I play better thing over here? Yeah, I guess we can do this. If I only played better thing, they might as well do that. And I guess we can spot witness this multiple times. To kill the, the second half faster. But yeah, we want to, to wait until 3 yeah, and then we kill. Drop to a wound, as long as we don't do a wound, we know we are fine. Eleven times 4, no problem. Cannot play server so this turn now, so do need to be a little bit uh, cautious. Oh, I cannot actually play Pomo Strike. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I did not think that through. <coughs> I guess we can kill right now and just block a little bit next turn and then kill when, when Murder is 4, I guess. So Murder goes to 2 when the, the hits are for like 40 something. We block that easily. Uh, and then Burner goes to 3, and then Burner goes to 4. So 3 turns to kill, and we only need to block one attack. That's okay. That, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, then I guess we can kill right now. So we just power through server, so... Yeah, very easily full block. I think I do want to apply the bash. <clears throat> yeah, I need to need, uh, just need to block one hit, and then next turn we kill. Now, unfortunately, <coughs> I think it's fine to to do this. Yeah. Pay a little bit more, but it's less than it. Uh, 
Uh, three wounds. I don't actually want more than three wounds, right? With the void already drawing two. Server soul. Server soul sucks. Always oh, with killing, so I actually don't care about the bass. We draw whatsoever, so I just exhaust the bass. And I can exhaust it once more. Exhaust the uh, the, the server soul now, but. Sure. No, 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 Black Brother doesn't draw. Black Brother doesn't draw. Exhaust that. And this is good, yeah? Uh, I mean, to, to guarantee, I can also just bloodletting and then exhaust the, the other's cards. Like the power through and then exhaust the bloodletting itself. But this is good enough. Oh, yeah, how big is Dagger? Uh, 145. I don't even know where the burner on 4 is actually correct by the way, compared to like burner on, on 3 for example, because we most likely just one shot the spear, and then we stole the shield to set burner to 4 again. But yeah, sometimes we cannot actually draw into dagger in time to one shot, so uh, in that case of course we would appreciate burner on 4. Uh, the summer wood doesn't matter. Shockwave upgrade has some merit, but now that we have the intimidate as well, the, the value goes down. Exhum upgrade, uh, definitely plays with the right base bottle. The energy, the, the energy plays for sure. We are probably just exhuming dagger against the heart rate. So three daggers is six hundred damage, and then we kill one more time with the uh, blood for blood, which uh, yeah, two cycles. We never we never do it in three cycles. So is five weakness enough? <coughs> five weakness actually means that we have to deal with um, one attack. If we if we draw intimidate or the shockwave on turn one. Yeah, if we, if we draw Intimidate or Shockwave on turn 1, then uh, second attack of the second cycle, we run out of weakness. And that, that's actually a problem. So yeah, I don't mind. Uh, printing Shockwave just to cover for that case. Third cycle, if it lasts until third cycle, we can still block one hit because of the, the incense burner. <coughs> okay, big shot. What do we have? It actually has a freaking mirror. I mean, we, we cannot, uh, we, we can't not do it, guys. Like, of course we buy it. But uh, it actually is here. <laughs> 145, you say. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, holy indeed. And why, why is my game lagging? I did not boot with uh, Slade Radix. Oh, I did. <laughs> oh, I, I see, I see, I see. I, I open, uh, okay. I opened the game before uh, I started the stream to, to see whether the Slayer Relic is working or not, but then I forgot to, to disable the option when I reboot the game after closing. Yeah, yeah, no no wonder why I was feeling like lag here and there. <laughs> but apparently it, it is here, like I did open the game with Slayer Relic. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, so far no, no bit trick, so uh, probably it's fine. Uh, these potions are definitely not better than what we have here, and these cards are extremely cringe. So we just take two relics. We have enough go to, to buy both relics, and... Do I really want to subject myself to this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Drop, drop uh, would definitely know what I'm talking about. But do I really want to subject myself to the uh, page 2 ink bottle here? What's Miro Dagger better Miro Exum? I draw it faster. Yeah, I draw into dagger faster because before I draw into dagger, like you you draw in zoom, you want to one shot spear and shield, and what do you do? <laughs> yeah, do I really want to subject myself to this? It's positive, and I guess the only thing I need to watch out for is in the sense burn on page one, and this is easier to remember, so I can just keep my relic in in page two. Okay, what is the remove? Uh, anger. Yeah, definitely anger, right? Anger, anger is literally never play. Bass can be still be used to strip artifact. The skills, the curse, or whatever can be exhausted with server soul. Anger is just uh, never play. 
Don't have much, yeah, yeah. The, the only thing I have is the sense burner. So, uh, not a lot of self relics. My Juggernaut? No, no. Uh, anything can be exhausted with server soul. Like, before I remove Juggernaut, I definitely remove the shape. But I think I think anger is just worse than, than all of this. So let's do that. And then yeah, we buy two relics. Yay, egg bottle and gun paste two. Master strategy, so most likely they are dead. Yeah, yes they are. <coughs> Uh, we have ancient tea set, so we, we can immediately kill this on turn 1. I would probably just do that. You think attacking on turn 1, really? I mean, I don't really care that much. But we can maybe say we can one shot this guy, but uh, and burst doesn't actually matter so much yet because of the, the evil plus. But blocking this is not, it's not that easy. It's like 48 the second time, and this is maximum only 38. With witness, 28 only. <laughs> what the hell? The game, yeah, yeah, sure, it's not fine. Right now. But yeah, um, just die embrace, yeah? I mean, I also don't really want to, to think too much here. If our, our line is just a dagger into exhum dagger. Overdraw anyway, energy wise. I guess we can use some energy because we are taking 4 damage at the moment. We can one shot this, by the way. <laughs> yeah, and take uh, only 2. Mm -hmm. Intimidate and draw into the Evo and then. Shockway also plays here. Uh, we never draw into block card. We can draw into the blood red thing. Yeah, we can. Uh, can we withdraw only two cards? So no, we actually cannot reach the blood red thing. <coughs> so that's just minus four. Uh, but sure, minus four, whatever. We heal by three. As long as we full block turn three, this this doesn't matter. Evolve, I guess it's still okay to play because um, power 2 on turn 3 is played, right? Yeah, we do play this power 2 on turn 3. Not really full blocking though. We don't have energy on this turn. And we don't have Funeral Pain yet, yeah. So this is only blocking. Try right, and defense, yeah, yeah. We, we first relic, most relic is Pandora's Box. Like it transforms all your strike and defense. Normally in the run, you don't really get uh, enough removes to, to get all your, your base cards. Mm, maybe I drew already drew too far. Uh, with the... Um, that break, we do draw plus one more. Wait, stop here, we already draw six. Yeah, seems like a bad idea. Right? We just prefer to just play Shockwave in turn two. And then we have up on turn three and then do something else. I just continue to draw then. And Bash, yeah, Bash is giga cringe. Draw plus one. Do that because I want to see the reshuffle. And getting to the field no pain faster is better too. Ow. Yeah, great bonus setup, guys. It's actually it's actually saving HP because I can play better thing now for uh, for for only uh, one HP cost. And we can kill right now, Burner is on zero, but uh, we need to block next turn. And exhume the disarm. So I get to feel the pain right now. Do that. Evo is not in play yet, so I don't, don't play this power through. Of course, we have the, the second dagger here, so we don't need to exhume the dagger. And then, can have out the fear no pain. I should do that. 
Uh, ghostly, I'm uh, probably good exhausted actually. I, I want to drop this one here. Combust, um, ideally we end this fight when burners on 4. So we lose 1, 2, 3 more HP. If we full block every hit, then the combust doesn't actually cost any HP. So can we pull up every hit? Hopefully, hopefully yes. Uh, definitely want to keep out of war so I don't really play any of these, yeah? I play this to make it happy. And Immortal advance a little bit. Yeah, it's only 25. Should be not too difficult to block. Yeah, it is not. Yeah, create the Twin Shrine to exhausting immediately. Oh, I cannot play Blood thing, but also we, we don't need to, I guess. Yeah, I guess we don't need to. Now we're on one. If I was not in play yet, so I just played this. Burner on uh, 2. So we, we definitely can kill it. <coughs> burner on 3 here is pretty easy, right? We uh, have up. Play 1 card, play 2 cards, burner on 7. And then turn afterwards, we draw into the Ritual Dagger. We can do Bluff of Blood, Ritual Dagger, go to 9 4. So that's perfect, yeah. We just do, do nothing and next time we kill. And yeah, you see, the uh, combat actually does the lowest ADHP because we have the uh, blood vial, so we heal perfectly. But yeah, double check, 7-4. Okay, perfect. Duplication potion, now that's very unnecessary. And Pandip is also... I, I guess it's okay. We still need to deal 200 damage after Deckers. We have four daggers now, though. Wait, we have four daggers. Four daggers are 200 for each. <laughs> and it's just dead because we are not even weakened. We have ginger. We can do it immediately first cycle. And you're going to be in horn uh, first useless. Uh, this is useless, so plus two. <laughs> Duplication potion, not nearly as good, right? We we already have vulnerable. In turn one, we have the, the ginger. Any of the daggers with vulnerable is dealing 200. So duplication potion on that embrace of feel no pain. Ah, it's it, it's it's good. I only losers need to block right. Yeah, no, no, really, only losers need to block right. We just kill this in four turns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. Only losers need to block. We skip. Okay, we should go on turn one. So we do the over two hundred immediately. And we also get shockwave on turn one. Yeah? Unfortunately, we don't have energy. Uh, madness can give us energy sometimes, but uh, we don't have enough energy to do dark embrace shockwave free show dagger. So do we not play dark embrace? Like honestly, that seem stupid, but maybe we do it anyway. You know. Oh, I just don't hit it, it at all on turn 1. Unfortunately, yeah, it was a freaking setup, so I always draw to this ritual dagger. <laughs> yeah, so so energy could be good here. <laughs> so if I just do shockwave ritual dagger ignoring the dark embrace, what would happen? Is that is that throwing or is it not? Uh this ends our turn, yeah? And then one, two, three, four, five. Uh we have to. Potions here, so we can do Fear No Pain. 
Without evil, without Dragon Brace, we probably don't draw into this Exum on the, the, the turn. Not playing Shockwave. How bad is not playing Shockwave? Because we do have Intimidate and the Bash is also coming up. So if our turn, this turn is something like uh, Ritual Dagger first. <laughs> yeah, I cannot draw into Bloodletting, right? It's like way, way, way down here. This arm is also way down here, so uh, yeah, I actually cannot be be, be that uh, cannot be that cocky, right? To to not play that embrace here, it's just probably just stupid. Like I, I really don't want to believe it, but the best card to not play until turn one is a freaking dagger. <laughs> Minus two hundred damage or what? Yeah, the, the best card to not play on turn 1 is actually Dagger. I, I want to, the more important cards are actually Dagger Brace and Shockwave. And if I do that, if I do Dagger Brace Shockwave, we draw until again or until here. Uh, this is irrelevant now. Next turn, we draw until T4 a little bit and then feel no pain. We can do Intimidate, draw a little bit more. But then turn 2 again, we don't deal damage. So is that, is that a problem? Like turn 1 we don't deal damage, turn 2 we don't deal damage, yeah. So we deal, we max out on like turn 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, 1, 2, 3, first attack cycle, 4, 5, 6, second attack cycle. So we never see third cycle, we don't care about third cycle anyway with the thing. But we need to block two full cycles. And with dagger, zoom dagger, yeah, problem with that is that dagger alone is already maxing out. So we don't need the, the second one, we are just wasting a second one in that line. With no weakness, we actually have weakness, so it's only for, for vulnerable. Maybe it's not the, the, the worst idea to skip our shockwave. Like, we know that we draw this on turn 2, so first cycle weakness, no problem. It's just second cycle, if we don't kill, we can die. Oh, and then that's like very stupid. But uh, putting the dagger in the exhum immediately gives me another 150 here, and then another the 150 here, so the video you already like 600. Because the badge is also play. But yeah, the safest line is probably just doing uh, that very shockwave and not the dagger. This way we also get up our energy a little bit for next turn, but... Uh... Yeah, lantern would be good here, guys. Lantern would be good. <laughs> Secret technique would be good. Unfortunately, we don't have it. 150 highest? Yeah, for, for me, yes. For me, 150 is the, the highest I have. So yeah, if we just do that break shockwave and nothing else, we definitely don't take the thing, yeah? Oh, unfortunately, the combat is here, so I cannot even do the the, the madness line. Madness can, can actually hit something bad, so I cannot even draw... If it hits exactly combat, we are pretty sad. If we hit exactly combust, then I guess we just do Dark Embrace Dagger and then no Shockwave. Uh, no Shockwave, two potions, weakness only first cycle, this arm doesn't work, and then second cycle we are being hit for 100 something. If we lose the 50-50... Then we can die second cycle, and then it's very stupid. If I don't deploy weakness. Yeah, I guess we just block. Like, uh, I guess we just block. This draw, this draw doesn't work out. I don't really see a way, guys, to... I don't actually see a way to, to, to do what I want to do here. We can draw a little bit more with purity. What about that? What about drawing a little bit more with purity? Like, I do damn by shockwave still. So I draw until here, but um, but but then I purity away three cards, so I can do shame combust bash and draw plus two and three until here. Uh, it is no longer necessary, yeah, because shockwave is already played. Draw three again, draw yeah, yeah. But this turn we are we we are brick by the energy and not not card draw. So these things are probably used in a different turn. I just want to see like, how far I can draw into so that I can actually land this dagger on the second turn. Because I do want to deal 200 damage like uh, at some point, you know. 
But yeah, draw, draw until here, and then uh, exhaust three cards, draw until here. We don't care about the Intimidate, but we don't play it, so we stop here exactly. And then turn two, one, two, three, four, five, maybe. Some say to shuffle in, doesn't matter. We always draw into Fear No Pain, and then Fear No Pain, we have Incense Burner, yeah? So Fear No Pain, and then Bandage up, and so draws one. With some potions, we can get to, to have off the dagger, maybe. Yeah, we will definitely draw into this dagger next turn. And if we win the 50-50 and make it his first, we can also draw into the disarm and then play disarm right away. Okay, I like that, I like that. Actually, yeah, yeah, purity is just way better. So, yeah, that embrace the uh, shockwave and then purity three cards. It's the, it's the line here. And it's definitely Combust, Shame, and Bash, yeah? In fact, we can even exhum the Purity, but this is mostly for the, the dagger. <coughs> yeah, drawing... Uh, wait, wait, this draws 4, this draws 4, so, so I can only exhaust 2 cards. <laughs> wait, wait, yeah, 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 that, that, was, that was almost bad. This actually draws 4 because uh, Purity is self-exhaust. <laughs> okay, that was almost bad. It's still okay, but first cycle we don't take really take any damage, but uh, could, could it be annoying? Okay, so what kind of way I keep between uh, these two, uh, among these three? Maybe bus? Yeah, probably combus. Probably combus. So we only exhaust 2 and then draw 3 and then stop. And next time we have your nuclear. Okay, okay, 50-50 time guys. Yo, we actually won the 50-50. Oh, that's very good. Yeah, that, that's actually very, very nice. Like, uh, you don't, probably don't need it, but it makes the fight like, a lot more convenient. So, if you know pain first. <coughs> now I can draw a pot, yeah? Definitely just use the, the draw pot over spending energy. I want to lose AP anyway because Black Blood also becomes zero. I don't know why I want Black Blood to be zero because we are killing this with like four daggers, but I guess it can become zero. <laughs> Never lost 50 50 in my life. Uh, actually, true. This draw only one, so we can have up the Blood for Blood and then draw another one until the days, but then it stops. But we can also game the blue right now. If I gamble's rule is for um oh, how much is this for? I want to let Kanes exhaust, I want to let Ghostly exhaust, so it's probably for like four cards. Gamble for four cards and then I can have up the dagger and then still play to this arm afterwards. That's uh then I don't play Evo. Gamble three? No, gamble three is bad. Yeah, gamble four I I guess gamble four then. I guess I do gamble for. Bandage jump is a good one. It it play. It would have played a lot more if. Uh, it, I, I mean, I guess build the only prop one, so I guess it, the the bandage jump did its work. But uh, bandage jump at the time was the. Uh, it was very good. We have feel no pain, dark embrace plus, and uh, an exu. And we are on 3 energy, with Auric Calcum and also Armaments in the deck. <laughs> yeah, sure, we uh, have out the dagger, yeah? 200. And I guess we play this arm of Evolve then. Like, this arm is just good next turn and it draws on immediately. Ah, we can play both, what am I talking about? Yeah, yeah, have got zero energy. Of course we can play both. What, what the hell am I talking about? I suppose like, exciting? Yeah, yeah, if exciting you mean that uh, we, we suddenly have a chance to die out of nowhere, then that's <laughs> exciting. On the shuffle in not letting for sure. Uh, Evo is in play already, so Slime is honestly not a bad draw. But uh, I want to shuffle all of these out. 
And yeah, 200 damage. Another 200 for us, guys. Next time we draw to the next dagger and then we 200 again and then we redraw to the last dagger and then another 200. That is the... <laughs> that is what's happening here. Uh, and so I guess we can play the combat, like, whatever. Okay, get it out of the deck. Uh, wounds in the deck, probably positive. Advance the this thing a little bit. Don't know why I care. Next turn we only, I guess we play two cards. We can play armaments into ritual decker. <laughs> so, on seven is fine, yeah? and then wound redraw is uh, fine too. We do draw plus one with this, uh, so we only draw until here, so it's, it's fine, it's fine. You'll have that thing for the turn afterwards. Yeah, sure. I mean, you can also play this. Oh, maybe this is fine. Combat? No, no, no! Like, what would you mean? What do you mean 100% will not be from the decker? Oh, what? Like, what? The combat has zero damage. Yeah, the, the combat doesn't do anything here. Like, we are, we are, we are still home free, guys. Like, do not worry. Uh, I guess drawing one right now is... Fine. This draws two. We do need to draw into the exhum, but this only costs one energy. I want to immediately. How bad is it? Draw one, draw two, and then next time we go in blind. But uh, that's okay. We go in blind. This is also draw two. This is better to, to play next turn. Yeah, I'll probably keeping it like this is fine. <laughs> 801 HP, yeah sure. Oh, it's here right here, so we can do it. <laughs> oh, excellent guys. We, we actually just play 4 daggers this fight and then no, uh, no other damage. <laughs> we actually just play 4 daggers. <laughs> Wait, how did this get so long? Yeah, that's what we get for, for getting dagger when we don't need to, but uh, sure, like... It, it's worth it, right? Panish dagger, I mean, sure, but uh, don't need to. I mean, this, this one is way longer than it should be regarding the strength, but uh, I, I made it long, basically. <laughs> I made it long by, first of all, picking the black star, and secondly, also... Uh, yeah, getting multiple daggers when this is not even necessary. <laughs> so long, because I'm opposite. How, how long did we even take here? Okay, pretty long. 52 minutes. But it is true. Like, with the Black Star and the Frozen 9, and of course, actually, fights will be long. With Sozu, this number would be a little bit shorter. I, I, don't, think, I, I don't say that it's like going to be like 2 minutes or something, but uh, we definitely need to be much less if uh, this is energy. And you're setting Burner up a lot before every Elite as well, because of the, the freaking Black Star or 3 energy. Oh yeah, I slightly unfortunate draw the man that we could not kill in three, four turns with four daggers. But five turns kill with four daggers is still is still good enough. <laughs> Lobby and service just in time. Yeah, yeah, you are you are six hours late. <laughs> we just had a six hour six hour run, not really below curve. In fact, we are like extremely over curve. After after I would say like maybe floor four back two. But uh, I took the quote-unquote fun choices. Like Black Star here and then uh, this hard fight was just 4 ritual daggers in, in this phase. Because ritual daggers was 150 damage. Yeah, you, you can see it uh, here. Oh, it okay. even shows you the different values of the two. 
Because I look at draw power a lot. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. But uh, I, I do not map out uh, the entire fight. If it's the if it's only the, uh, an elite and I'm not in no danger of dying, I don't actually do that. If without the poison knight. And even I mean, one of them need to kill the heart. Unfortunately, we will keep them even if we kill uh, one elite each with with both daggers, and then uh, yeah, one of them need to to, to kill the heart. Unlucky. Watching horse shooting out strat, yeah. This was interesting, though, that that we actually just uh, should have just dropped this guy when we have four hundred gold. Yeah, yeah, curse, like, uh, please, please come to me, please come to me, the curse. And uh, go play, like, you, you see right here. Because we drop this thing, we buy like, maybe an extra recalcum, maybe extra blood potion. Uh, no, no, blood potion. Yeah, yeah, we, we get like 94 gold here. So we actually gain uh, one of the more important things, either bandage up or the, the oricalcum. We can afford blood potion either way. They, they play like very nicely, eh? and you you see also see the curse. Like how often does the shame actually cause us any issue like whatsoever? <laughs> yeah, never. Our, our deck doesn't block with uh, dexterity, so like who cares about shame? And it gets exhausted anyway with the thing. <laughs> yeah, of course I have to act to uh, like black star, just insanely overkill. Okay, so uh, <laughs> definitely no second run. I, I was thinking maybe I do a second run today, you know, but then it's like six hours. <laughs> yeah, let's go to bed though. Do we not even mark more vacuum? Yeah, no, no, seriously. <laughs> if you cannot play the, the guy, yeah, and your run is not like extremely overcooked already, and you are not winning just by re removing your base cast or something, then you drop. Of course, you drop over you taking an empty node in Act 2. Red Licks are good, guys. Remove is also good, but removes are good way later. Of course, it depends on the deck, but usually that is the case. Trigger current Trigger is, uh, is, I think, at 5 right now. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, as always. And uh, yeah, see you later.